Halo uh, 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 uh. pagi-pagi bro bro <coughs> Apa kabarnya semuanya uh, 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 uh. Langsung aja di bed bro bro Tiwan NRG ya eh. pagi-pagi bro Wah NRG dapat ban guys Mapnya krisis banget itu Aduh anjir kalau habis kerabas lepek Pak. Mm, mm, mm. bro ya. Gua nulis ini dulu. Apakah Nightbot sudah hadir? Saya mau edit kom. Eh, kopas saya kopas. Eh, uh, konyol aja. Udah gua gua edit manual aja. Uh, 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 uh. Aduh, tar dulu dah. Jangan pakai lagu dulu dah. Anjing lagunya PCT merah, Bro. Gak makan gua anjing. Habisin Bang, tar dulu ya, diem ya, diem. Jangan baik ngomong. Gua lagi ganti map. Nah, udah. Ya, halo adik-adik, selamat pagi, balik lagi di PCT Master Tokyo Watch Party Day 3 Seperti biasa, jangan lupa di like dulu ya, biar kita FYP Halo Jeroin, halo ada Andre, halo Ilham, halo Winda, halo Basudara, halo Cendi, halo Lutfi, halo Limawan, halo Nunggi Darmawan, halo Rapli, halo Jaini Halo Miau Auk, halo The Jomers, ya halo Kopetra, halo Pengski, halo Akbar apa tuh? Halo Mas Aris, halo Mas Nugi, halo Mas Jero, makasih tujuh bulannya. Halo Gogogoy, halo Black Digit, makasih udah join member. Ya. Siapa lagi tuh? Oh, halo halo Bang. Oh ini youtuber baru, halo Seno Muhammad. Aku kali ini streamer pagi ya makasih ya itu siapa tuh namanya Cookies and Cream makasih tujuh bulannya. Aku alo Ipan makasih makasih udah aku aku. Ah laki masih tiga tujuh. Nah lihat lobby lagi aja ya. Nah nonton muka aku aja aku nonton sendiri. BTR bubar aku mau keluar diam lagi nggak bahas BTR gue lagi sedih Shush, diam jangan dibahas ini lagi fokus PCT Master Tokyo ya tunggu like nya seribu ya baru dibuka cing orang salon tuh berin rambut hmm how the story would shift dramatically and maybe just maybe people look at the name T1 when farewell iya tut farewell ya mau gimana udah sebenarnya udah bisa ditebak sih Ancut di boom Ih siapa yang bilang di BTR Kita nunggu lagi 100 ya Wow T1 pake Oh masih sama ya jenah Sky Jet Harbor Viper Kinder Joy Energi juga masih sama Victor pake Neon Pikannya pikan Lotus kemarin guys Nama potongannya apa Kuma AA Marah mulu Apaan sih orang teriak dibilang marah Sekolah 12 tahun buat apa, Dek? Sedih kenapa? Apa? Eh, masih gua tungguin. Judul lagu tadi apa? Judulnya itu 1416 Original Song. 
Pakai angka ya 14 16. Ayo masih gue tungguin. Like 69 oke okay, gue tungguin sampai 100 ya. Oh bentar guys. Aduh lupa gua anjir. Oh enggak ada yang oh enggak pada mau nonton ini mau udah TTD guys lah. Matanya ngantuk banget baru bangun tidur kagak. Gue bangun jam subuh. Gue baru mandi baru berak. Benar ini enggak ada yang mau nonton apa gimana guys? Oh? Sekarang di sini pemaksaan biar channel yang gak mati soalnya. Apaan tetenya deh? Oh, masih gua tungguin. NLG dropped that and Navi struggled regionally massively. Straight massively on this. Abu malas ya, Ijo juga malas sama aja. Aku malas ya, bagus bagus. Dere. Banyak ini kan gua menonton gak rugi. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 Siap-siap ya, bet ditutup ya Cuma 89 orang yang bet 3, 2, 1 Close betting Nyaw Anjas Let's go Dicek gak ya boxnya? Eh kelihatan. Jadi ini kita harus dukung Tiwan apa NRG bro? Idol ada di NRG. Tapi Tiwan apa? Gimana guys? Ini Idol nih. RX ya nggak nyambung si Ijo liatnya. NRG FTW oh iya. Oh nggak nyala ya? Anjir, Arbis Gaming. Overdelivering and trying to keep their attention towards B. He can cause them so many problems now. Trying to, I guess, hit that rotation back from the C site. But again, we look at what could stop them. This. Do they still think that Sire? Selamat pagi warga Instagram kita sudah live. Ya, Vijay Master Tokyo day tiga sudah live langsung aja ke YouTube di tab dengan seperti biasa. Ting, gerakan baru. Yes, tidak ada buat cerita TTD yang terekam, aman. Allow NRG to set up very comfortably. Look at Ardis's disconnected position. These players on site just need to buy time for him. Paranoia is going to help. That should have connected at least towards one, maybe two. Pop flash goes in, and FNS can't do a thing. Now Crash is still going to find value, though. Could be a third not to be. Here we go. Whoa! Now we look towards Ardis. Whoa! He was the final. You want his guard? The guard? The final boss in this note. No one is on that. Apakah Ardis bisa menyelamatkan Ron ini? Second time of asking. He's got a nice little line of sight on this. It was chip damage. Oh, the spacing on that was a little off there. Ardis gets away. Wow! Ardis. Wah, kelas bro, dia bro. Beautifully done by NRG to recover that round into that position, but like I said, everything they needed to on site here. Nah, biasanya sih nggak terlalu ini sih dia naik turun gitu loh kalau si Ardis. Alhamdulillah. 
could do well to facilitate that first pick in the first round, but it's going to be hard yeah. to do it now. Yeah, it's bad, right? Let's see how clean NRG can keep this, though. They do obviously have to <coughs> the weapon. <laughs> Marshall out for Sire player, so that's the one you want to be seeing potentially find connection. But for NRG, they're going to start feeling all of this pressure. So, so many bodies now oh, kind of identified bad. towards Whoa. the side that I wonder if they continue on this track. Well, you obviously heard the Marshall <coughs> off here for Sire. No tags coming through just yet. Looking for a blind spam, but Victor Whoa. explodes onto Sire. We'll find two. Victor. Such a little animal like this. Does so well on the Neon. I know he had a little bit of a shaky performance last time, but it's beautiful to see him get that little confidence building. Venice about again, Mati. Venice. Yeah, it's Venice. Sire player did connect towards Artis, so not as clean as you'd imagine, but there is a recovery. Oh, dapat niya kayo. Kaya nga dapat. Can they make anything of it now? Carpe. Really wants to try and tee up Zane to do something. That's gonna do it. Now Victor's gone down. This is a problem. What's up? Getting a little bit more dicey here. Two more seconds on the flash. Cove's gone up. But Crashies is just body blocking that spike. He's gonna keep himself on this. Just put his life literally on the line. Oh, toyed with. Whoa! Grakane, okay, you guys hit Whoa! Has he got the time on this one? I think he does. Anti Eco, Jaman. That's a tragedy for NRG and T1 turning those tables around. Back to back rounds where this post one yeah, holder that. should be fairly comfortable crumbles for NRG. This time around, get, yeah. capitalize. get the defuse on top of that. But the flip here in round two. Massive boom to the T1 economy. And Zeta's upgrade from finesse dropping that Spectre at the top of the ropes makes all the difference. <coughs> you see the engagement <coughs> Stinger versus Spectre there from the ropes and Zeta able to punish. Dari Victor aja udah aneh tuh. Oh, just gonna throw a Guardian in here. Victor back on Stinger once again. Actually, Sheriff's in a frenzy here, so to find an opening pick, actually could make something of this. Victor's gonna be overwhelmed with the three players on his Yeah, team. miskin there. Crashy's gonna go down first and foremostly. The rest of NRG open for a favorable outcome, but Ardis already taken long. Dapat aja si Ardis. Arpe still just standing. Joined by Sire player here. They're willing to show <coughs> this challenge. I mean, they've got the Vandals. If you start losing out, you do feel a little silly. Oop. FNS actually making something with Sire player now. Got a deliver and he knows. Match 2 bakalan ngantuk. Lah, kenapa ngantuk? FUT, bro. Absolutely. Sama AS. Nice and early for Sire. So, a little offset to the economy if they do want to try and get an operator in his hands. Bagi Ben, bagi bro. He's going to try and spread the funds potentially. No, band down at 150, so... Aku pemain sudah kill lima. In the next, if NRG are able to strike back here, lockdown available, seekers available here for crashes as well. That's our T1 reckoning seekers and the blade storm. Curious really if this early trend will continue because I, I was talking about T1 potentially being conditioned by that EDG matchup in terms of being ready for aggression, <coughs> being re ready for very explosive early rounds. Finesse. Potentially going to be tested here. Ardis alongside him. Yeah, they got caught in the flash. So they, they do want to know that there's players here. Ooh. Oh, Carpe just couldn't capitalize on the swing side player. Gets out of there. But NRG now given a chance in this. Hey, Carpe's the one to swing wider on that. I don't know if Sire was expecting to maybe bait off the back of that. But Crash is looking to pull through the Trailblazer here. And potentially even throw the Seekers in here. Big damage. Yeah, and with Carpe falling, Sire's going to have to play this out at 21 HP. <laughs> Do they continue on this track though? NRG have options. They still have points. Dana sepuluh k. Ah, Dana. Belinya ke gua bang. Tapi beli ke Piwer. Piwer tu dagang Piwer. Piwer dagang point ni. Buat gua. Beli dah. Sire player goes looking for information. He finds all too much. Forced out by the utility perfectly. Some capital. Pada kapan main apa? As well, NRG want to get this round on the board. How much can one man do? He's got to stand and fight, and he takes no one with him. Life up for grabs here, and NRG just storming Ooh. the site, gorgeous from some, expecting the positioning from Munchkin. E e e e e e e he doesn't need to overdo it now. NRG have basically got this round on wraps. Man, not even gonna look for an exit. Do have the chance, obviously, with the blade storm being available, but down at 150 credits, maybe just wants to protect a full purchase here. Oh, just slipping up. Yeah, he is jumping up towards the other side. Okay. Isolate the band will find one. Good damage, ban. Isolation at least. Mas satu. LG on the other hand with kata Kester, apa? credits remaining. Consolidation kill. Probably yeah. not wanting to hunt this down too desperately. Something gak ikut master ya? Huh? Chasing the rifle. So, taking pause for thought here. 
NRG course correcting quite quickly. Coming back on track here, tying this up at two apiece. Now, again, kind of rolling it back. Ban, I don't think in this one <coughs> in the same light, but we saw in that previous matchup against CDG, for example, wanted to see him confident. And I think this round is a perfect indicator for the so well coaches, but NLG with having a second stack up on this extremity. The awareness needs to be there from T1 that that is a possibility after that EDG matchup and then being, like I said, forced into a position where T1 had to be the aggressors in a lot of their defensive rounds. Perex kapan? Perex kapan? Oh, lu kasar gitu bang? Masuk masuk channel bang? Ready to go. Obviously, Munchkin and Ban a little further away, but similar scenes at the start. We've, we've seen this kind of almost consistently. Sire so player willing to take an early fight here, look for an early challenge, but mostly just take space. Now, first time we're really seeing NLG though with bodies behind it, exploring this B option. Zeta taking a ton of damage there. The other side, actually, Victor gets tagged up as well. Some exchange, but doesn't amount to anything. Rujuta bingung buat apaan, bentar lagi reset juga. Lah, buat Plexi. Outside B here. So Victor was one away, slowed down by the Nano Swarm now, but T1 have relinquished a little bit of control for the time being. But big information off the Trailblazer. Munchkin actually capitalizes. I, I was a little nervous that Victor has the spike there. That, that could have been so much worse. <coughs> Luckily for him, Crashies is able to grab it, didn't fall too far away. So now I'm looking across the map. Finesse. Boleh Sultan, oh, kalau moderator enggak ya? Skip moderator itu minimal 100k, guys. They previously had. Losing out on players on towards B. Losing out. Skip dulu kalau moderator ya. Minimal 100. No, Som's gone down one by one. This is just individual work. Unless Artis can deliver, and he absolutely can't. T1 holding the ground there. Artis actually got two in that situation. Entirely sure how he found the second there, but T1 find their third. You noted these ultimates aren't being relied upon here. Di polif ya, bagus tidur tidur sana. Itu emang kalau dah jadi moderator tidur dah kerja nih. It was just a blind spam. Perex kapan main? Tanggal 16 harusnya. Di playoff dia kan juara. Jadi playoff mainnya ya adik-adik. Ini dari dua minggu lalu nih gue ditanyain terus nih. Making quick work here though. We can see Sai player exploring towards middle this time. On the other side is Ardis. And the adjustment not quick enough for that one. Ardis too prepared. Having quite a nice game already, Ardis. Miscasting games that he's in, but NRG gonna fall away from this. They've had that early win in this round, right? So with one minute fifteen, they've got. Jangan dijawab lah. Kalau orang nanya nggak dijawab. Ntar kalau orang nanya ke lu, eh kalau lu nanya ke orang nggak dijawab gimana? Oh, NRG this time around, I haven't really seen them comfortably take an opening duel. Tamal, eh kocak. Kobe actually bouncing. I'm not sure if that will leave a gap. No, we'll still cover the choke point. Yeah, but Victor's just straight to work, straight to business. He does fight. Di mana nyepre lo? Damage taken. Yes, down to 15 HP, but he's still alive and still a threat. Carpe gonna try and catch him across the wall. Let's see, let's see, Carpe. Victor, and they take back the side control. They're not giving it up just yet, though. As Som takes that critical kill towards the site, that could facilitate the plant now. 30 seconds left. And a munchkin. Still got side control to. Maybe wait for some smoke. Oh, ini malik sendal, eh, Birjan. Hey, bang Samuan itu sendalnya di maling ternyata masih Birjan. Wah. Oh, si kalau kata gua mah. Ayo pukul aku. Jepanya makasih dari jen member. Welcome back. This is another example where Sai has given one up, and there's there's no possibility of a trade. Absolutely, and and they don't gain anything. Som dulunya di tim mana? Energy. Then a slight overcommitment from Zeta as well. I mean, he's got the reckoning. He can potentially slow down a hit, but it just comes so late on. There's no pressure on Energy. I think even actually the AOE. Tidur cukup kan semalam? Ah, sama aja. Gua udah tidur cepet juga cuma empat jam, majik. Potensi here if we see Sire pick up the operator. Maybe that's an indicator to slow things down. Maybe look to. It's just comfortable for Artis there. Yeah, these do feel a little bit individual, even just the fights alone. Yeah, obviously, kind of 
signified very clearly at the start by Sire player. But let's see if he can maybe get his head back in the game here. You can't be giving NLG those opportunities. Doknya jam berapa? Ya kurangin aja 14 jam coba jam berapa? I'll see neither team fully break away just yet. NLG back to this early lean towards eight. Oh, boleh Sultan, oh, Ali Akmal catat dulu ya, catat Ali Akmal ya. Pesan, boleh Sultan. Eh, catat dulu Ali Akmal ya, ntar beres match. <coughs> The headshot. I, I'm amazed the band got Gap's getting closer here. Crash, he says, no idea. Biasanya komen pakai tanda seru, Pom. Lu nggak usah ngajarin. Ijo gratisan. Similar setup as the pistol as well. Ardis disconnected initially. There to greet the pressure outside mound. Just holding on to that C-lobby position. This was huge. Yeah, ban does go huge for T1 here. To find the second as well. And I think even a lot of chip damage done onto Crashies with that Nano Swarm at his feet. LG will pump the brakes a little bit here. Looking at what we've seen so far, it feels like... Mulai Jumper sama jam 10 juga. Ah, kalau playoff belum tahu ya. Harusnya sih sama. Emang udah ada jadwal aja ya? Oh sama guys. Eh anjing. Mulai hari Jumat jam 10 pagi. Kan Jumatan ya. Gue tinggalin nih streaming sumpah. So far, it's yes, it's very value dependent, but this mount control isn't really amounting to too much. And then RG are greeting it perfectly. Eh, nyampah naik bot ni, gua hapus, gua hapus, anjing. Banyak kan komen gua, tau nggak? Udah ada sepuluh patch. I mean, if this is an attempt from T1 to almost condition NRG into focusing more towards aim, relying on ban as that heavy anchor towards three, and obviously having the the, the complement of, of Munchkin's utility there, then sure. But I do want to see them start disconnecting a little bit. Yeah, because you, you set that conditioning in hope that you get that additional benefit down the line. So maybe that's what we start <laughs> seeing them lean towards going forward. But I also got to say here, ban being a nice safe pair of hands on towards A. We kind of credit the anchors as to how well they handle this. Let's see what we see this round though, because does that conditioning continue? For now though, NRG actually testing it over towards C. Yeah, first time actually we haven't seen T1 with a couple of bodies stacked up here, but Sire's on that solo exploration outside of B. Other side of the door right now. Potential to be played in with maybe a wall up from Zeta and a, a flash from Carpe. Try and catch them in the choke point here. There's the flash. When see if side player does much with this. Ooh. Actually, Carpe to find Wrong Sol. Where did he just get him? Just on the back side of the mound. Wow, okay. Yeah, Carpe. <coughs> Better to back himself. Start to this, and that's frustrating. Some going down does remove some of those later round options. Hey. Side player one for one trade, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you take that in this situation after Storm's already see, fallen. Aku. Now you want to see T1, like I said, disengage from this. Use the numbers advantage here and... Minimize the risk on the way in. Well, the, the options for NLG are looking dreary, aren't they? Yeah. Slim. It's, what are you meant to do with this? How are you meant to take towards this site? I guess you could take a gamble. Hope that maybe Ban's in an uncomfortable position over towards A. Where is Ban? Oh, he's just jump spotting. Okay, so he should be able to get the information early. There it is. Whoa, oh, okay. Yeah. Didn't spot okay, initially. hold on. Mm. Ban's made a meal a of it. Fumble. That's tragic. <coughs> spotted on the first jump spot yes. there, but didn't react you at all. I don't think it's actually ahead of that first jump spot. Though this has given them such an opportunity, it shouldn't have happened. Lockdown on either side as well. 3v3 now in the post plant. Can NRG make up for those lost rounds they've been struggling with here? They don't have to go too far away from this. They do have to kind of go back towards tree, slip back a little deeper. Oh, this still has a little bit of kit to play with too, but 
Devines mah nyaman ini Tapi kayaknya ketahuan Devines Gak ketahuan kan Wocok Sampai munculnya begitu aja Oh Ardis Ardis masih menjadi player tertua di Master kah? Hah? Angel dong gimana sih lu? You just wait for that to Ardis sama dua empat. Close out from Ardis is. I feel like they can invest this much smarter. I think it's finesse falls here, but he gets a crucial snake bite to stop Carpe and Zeta from actually flooding back. Pajar, oh skip dulu pajar ya, bab. Even though he goes down there. Ini buat yang straight aja yang straight. I think actually the vulnerable taking effect on Munchkin on that initial swing into mid site. Kan kalau lu kan penyuka itu kan. Gua gak ada masalah, cuman ini dulu ya yang yang temenan sama gua dulu. Kok oh, gitu lah? Lu yang kenapa gitu? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, awas terus sepan lu. Sepan terus. Gak gua baca, bodoh. Awas pagi-pagi. And they've been doing well at that before. That's the crazy part of this. Oh shit! Okay, Victor caught in no man's land. Nice soul spray again. This wow, wow, yeah, got up and did ya. Heads up work from him. Lovely little round. NRG starting to string together. Okay, Akmal. Yang baru jadi depan lekar kadi. Need to see recovery from T1. Well, it looked like he operates out. You kind of consider that earlier on in this game. This is the round they're going to invest in. Is this going to be a little more passive hold here from Sire? Alhamdulillah, Prediksi Ben, apa? Gua nggak punya motor bang, nggak bisa join prediksi. Wah kamu sudah sarapan, hah apa itu sarapan? Some sort of, I guess, safety net with the Vipers pick going up and an operator on the other side of the map. Wah, bangkornya tidak fokus, guys. NRG. Look as if they were, I guess, posturing towards a B split here. The crashes with the spike, drifting towards the back side of the pit here. The alarm bot's got so again, Munchkin is wary of any sort of lurking towards spawn, but a little bit of a gap here for NRG to. Potentially makes him something happen. Do they let Slom, Slom slip deeper? That's what I'm hoping they do, and they have. They've got him just posted up towards CT, not going too far away, but they've done this quietly, right? They're working in the shadows. Tahun nggak tuh ya masih Munchkin, King. Oh, King. Wah, di ulti di Sono, bro. Oke, King Munchkin. Ultinya kocak juga ya. Buat tutup atas doang. A couple of brave explorers towards that pit might be happening as well. Let's see if they hold on towards that for finesse. As Crash, he's looking to maybe remove the band from this one. Themselves a little bit of a corner of comfort. Crash has got shorty. Oh Lord, the drop! Oh, Crash is going to take down Bam, but is Munchkin having a round here? Three already. Crash is burning both. Oh, da, but King Munchkin ace. Oh, just a NRG and a no easy feat. And a totally new look to the A side post bomb with this pit up towards spawn and. T1 once again come out on top of it. <laughs> what a strange round. Si King, eh? And what's even stranger is that a member of T1 comes out with an ace here. I mean, Crash, he sends both flashes in here and Munchkin so. stands his ground. I mean, this goes completely differently. If there's still a poison orb and a couple of snake bites for Finesse to work with, NRG can potentially commit to a much looser, more passive hold here. You can see Crash is desperate to try and negate that pit towards Treat. Sial banget si Wigdor. Saw nothing. I'm pretty sure that Victor going down instantaneously just caught on the cross. 
That's going to be frustrating. And then note that there's been some deeper progress made from NRG, but they've been sent on their way. They can't make it towards the site just yet. T1, this is much nicer. I mean, yes, off the back of Munchkin, but still. Oops, si aku, si aku, ma OP. He doesn't have to go Wait, too what? far here. Yeah. Oops, siap nih, si aku dapat nih. Bisa dapat Ardis. Emang rejeki si aku. Aku. That's a shot you want to be hitting, but they they now know that the map is indeed very small. I mean, that's the green light to hit all day. There's so many questions elsewhere. Song will open things up. Ban will fall. The Seekers invested here. Lockdown to potentially counter, but the plant will come through. An opportunity to reset here for NRG. goes up, trade comes in, they're going to get back towards the site now. That flank is still something that's going to be weighing heavily in NRG's mind. You can see already the T1 trying to toy with the timing, it crashes, Boom. he's not going to fall Idol for the flash. Susah. As well against Carpe. There's the flank though, Sire player going to answer back in. With the tap on the spike, they have to respond, they have okay. to check. And Zeta was all too ready. And now it's on oh. Sire player to try and do that damage. And what the Zeta! Yeah, yeah, get that. Oh, this look good for it. Gila P1 nek, boleh-boleh ya Position as the pistol Yeah This time around Zeta lands the shot Bagi bad, bagi bro Operator retrieved Si Manskin udah ulti lagi ya, udah dua kali ya, ini gara-gara ace tadi tuh We're coming to the final round, one up NLG, two guardians and then Bulldog on the board earlier We'll see how the purchase actually ends up Beautiful adjustment here Anjing, mantap mantap King. Taunting taunting. So impressed to their work. Si saya masih nggak OP di A terus nih. Berarti memang mereka si Tiwan ni PD ngasih side A nya ya. PD retake dia. Mereka nggak PD ngasih C kayaknya dah. Ini berani si King lihat nih, onjing. And this time, NLG, I don't know if they feel as if they've done enough work to force him out of that mindset, but we see otherwise. Cek bang, hah? Does he get checked? Does. Okay, okay. Tries to swing ahead of it. Tries to make something of it. But ah, this just balik bang. Hah? And Munchkin. That's a B side looking so vulnerable. Yes, I played took some space, but who cares at this point? That should be a plan if they need it. Lu ngomongnya OP di A. Kenapa sih saya nggak OP di A ya? Oh di C. Tadi gue bilang kan berarti mereka PD ngasih side A nya biar di retake. Mereka nggak PD ngasih side C nya makanya di OP in. Anjing. Wow blog. Bener bener bengong lu pun bagi bagi. Des. Wah. Balik bang, kebalik. Ku balikin di monitor nih. Lu tahu nggak bisa kebalik dong. Reinforcing that back line and allowing actually NRG to explore the map with relative fleet freedom. This is uh, NRG and T1 tied up at six apiece. Des, what do you make of the first half? Personally, big fan. I like what I'm seeing from both okay. teams here. I think we're getting <coughs> the matchup that I was hoping Load. that we would get a T1 that's coming into this one. Really competitive and showing energy that they are simply not meant to be trifled with. Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. member, welcome back. would get consistently punished by energy, but instead this high risk, high reward style has been working for them thus far. Normally the strengths of this comp are in kind of playing back, maybe pushing one side with a cascade flash to get early space, and then playing retake with your harbor. But T1 has been taking a lot of aggressive fights and we're actually committing to hard anchoring in a lot of these rounds and energy was exploiting that but the thing is as we got later into this half while t1 were still taking those risks that might not be quite as optimal with their composition they were finding those early advantages and converting so many of these late rounds exactly we were talking about the harbor how predictable the utility was becoming when they're being uh, aggressive at the later half we see a side player that is just pushing with that operator i think that also the utility dumping that they were doing so many times was wah kebanyakan pakai kayak Slok itu kan naik botnya ngambek, eh, goblok, goblok dah tu.
into energy's game yeah. just just dumping all of that for them it was tough but, but now uh, in the second half the question is has energy improved their defense against navi this was the big issue 44% win rate terhilang ore naik bot on this map and uh, dapat apa dalam pertandingan derek sama ege kemarin gimana ya memang ege lagi strong bro derek sudah sulit sudah susah payah tapi emang kayaknya lagi kalah aim juga dah dereknya dah kemarin banyak yang nggak kena Yeah, it, it is going to be quite fascinating to see how this one actually plays out here. Granted, we saw what happened with NRG. Taksnya Ben bau. Ya kalau stack mah enggak masalah anjir ya. Jump right back into the action as we get into that second half. Panzi, Hypok, over to you. Yeah, the second half was quite a few questions, Mike. Yes, it was uncomfortable for NRG. Kita kapan eh air bulan? 26 24 gue lupa. Resist Victor number 1 duo. Yeah, definitely. And this is where I lean back toward the point I made before this map starts if how do you want to go to approach this? Wah, like a setak konyol. I do want to see them build around Sire here on the attacking half, but might even be an early exchange here. Some will fall immediately. So, aku aku main. Aku pemain. Hmm, ditibek dulu ya kan. Tembak mayatnya. Kasih saya, ah, biar ulti. Anjay, ngeplan. Ronde dua ulti, let's go. The prime gaming flawless to open up the pistol round. And one of the quickest we'll probably see. Yeah, what a what a start. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, 135, basically first blood, fully confirmed, drawn. Sire player, man, so clean with it. Beautifully done. Sebaran kemana ke si Mas? Now build upon this. Ngapain? And set the tone here for their attacking half. That's it. Sire, two away from the blade storm already. A very early blade storm in the first half. After that round two flip. So it's gonna be the best feeling that pressure over towards the sea side. Couple of shots coming his way. And a heavy lean towards A for NRG. Yeah. Yeah. For I mean, three players, yes, dedicated four almost. If you want to throw maybe some into that mix too. But now, what can FNS do with this? He's got support on the way, but there's there's a gap and it's closing. Yep. Caught by it. Bye bye. You can already see the hunters coming on downside. A player though, the counter flash wasn't bad. That could have been maybe a little more to it. Maybe they can get something a little bit. Wow, the double peak, Aji. Starting to become a threat, being a problem. Down to now three. They've lost out on the rifles. Just pander, not the angle, do la, baba. They have side control. Spike back to hand. They should be able to secure here. Can energy cause any more mayhem? It's okay. They're gonna want to get the plant down though. NRG are gonna be in a position to set up. Oh, they're gonna do that. And the flash to come through immediately. Yeah, they've fallen away from the site though. That allows a little bit of room for T1 to re-engage. Nicely handled here by T1. Konyol mahal kia. Ton of damage done though. Yes, yes. Tapi ton ada nggak? Nggak ada. Kau gua takut PC gua meledak. Gua juga kayak nggak akan kurban tahun ini bro. Mau bayar kuliah? I think Ban and Munchkin actually came out with 2k on that. So not the worst, but the timing on the swings here. NRG just so slippery to pin down. Enables Victor to find two with the classic. Make this interesting, yes, but T1, like you said, perfect time to cancel the plan and commit to that engagement. NRG make absolutely the right decision there. You can see the utility was on point to try and fly back onto site. And this is when that benefit of having Sire player having those big impactful rounds early on, those first two, he's been able to farm up towards Blades. Munchkin finding a finesse again <coughs> for that solo fight towards Sia. Why is Victor in the middle of No Man's Land? What's going mm. on, Mike? But that. I mean, just absolute collapses. Outside rubble here. It's a wide open A site for T1 to capitalize. Some making his way back over towards stairs, but another one that's just it's it's over in the first 15 seconds was it the timing that finesse fell that suddenly victor and crashes were vulnerable i want to see the timing of how those kills came in but at this point this round's wrapped anyway somenard is the saving there's no questioning that here and considering the buy can they bolster this much i'm, I'm trying to see if they can get any more I, i think they'll be happy what they got the upgrades on anyway they've been able to kind of fill out the buy well this is a little unorthodox oh, yeah. if artis is going to commit his utility over towards c or towards b and finesse not be that typical buy anchor towards Pesan. tree then Ya, terima kasih dua puluh ribunya bang Samban. Semoga bisa nonton ya. Master Tokyo 2034, Amin. 
they're looking to punish, they're looking to try and potentially remove these weapons, but still a big gap. I think there's, I mean, Som's the only one that looks like he might be caught, but Munchkin hesitant. To maybe reconsider this setup. Yeah, I want to see the timing on this again. Yeah, finding Finesse, that's not ideal. Finesse gets found, he's gonna drop, and then, yeah, you just... 2034 di Tokyo lagi ya, tapi Master Ogwe. Cindah dia. Yeah, like I said, if you're gonna switch up like this, then your anchor can't die like that. It has to be post-contact. You know, yes, you can take a little risk and maybe spot for information, but... T1 looking to continue with this pace. Asensian kapan akhir bulan Asensian harusnya. Yeah, Alice tucked up a little bit deeper towards C, kind of off the back of Finesse. So that's going to be those two dealing with that. But they pulled the plug on Victor as well, bringing him back towards B, sitting super deep on this A side. Crash is just jump spotting this if anything. So is this NRG leaning towards a retake setup on A consistently here? Crash is with the drop down semi committed towards this site hold. What does he have? Okay. It's not much. It's been seen. Flash can be sent. Nah, no, no, no opportunities off the back of that either. Oh, this has slipped through. I don't think Munchkin's in range of that turret. It could be. Yeah, he is. Actually, does spy out Ardis. They're, they're trying to fold. They're trying to fold through towards me, but Som, he's there. He's even ahead of the mm. flash. Great work from Som. Three massive kills. And now 3v2. FNS Victor and Crash is still not ideally equipped. Yeah, still kena tu dogi. With their lives, 28 seconds and T1 are struggling. The spike is down in such a precarious position. You can have to see Carpe go huge. Here. Still has a flash, gets the spike, waits to see anyone swing. No one does. Victor takes the spike. Anjir di tutep klasik tu sakit hati banget dah. Victor is just nuts with that gun. Finding another kill here. Finesse gonna wait things out. Okay, po Lupin. Ten seconds left. Munchkin, an awful lot left to do here. Dimainin bro sama Venice. Going in the highlight reel. T1 desperate to play this out and and almost react based on something at NRG show. As soon as Alice is spotted on the flank, they look for this split through link. They look to pop the door, but Som digs his heels in. Massive bailout round from him. This is on the back of what? West Rimmer. Andy. I think it was one of the only rifles they had. Almost made it a fourth there. Hampir empat. Izin mantau hala, lu mau mantau juga ikut betting lu Intel. Nine to seven though, RNG themselves back on the board in this half. First one they've been able to post here. Victor going to the operator. I don't think confirmed on the other side of this, but Munskin has to be on red alert now. While this is happening, you can see T1 taking a lot of space towards B. There is a massive amount of utility set up there though. Oh, this littering it on the floor. Side player's gone down as well. So it's a little bit of room, but Victor has to get away from this. Oh, gorgeous. Just dips away from there. Find a new angle to play from as T1 looked to try and explore that option on the C site. Four of them now standing. And the lockdown invested. This will force the hand of NRG. Victor desperate to try and still make something happen with this operation. Hey, T1 wait out the timing on the lockdown perfectly. It might just catch one. Yeah, finesse. We'll have to wait this out. Oh, but NRG surely can't make it back to B. Som's got Odin as well, so... He can get back there. Okay. So now this is when there could be a little bit of danger on this one. The Seekers, it's all headed one way. Straight towards him. On towards CT. Plant gonna come in. Does he get denied? No. Okay. Plant's in. Time on Huge. the side of T1. He's aiming. Get that down there. Uh. Bam, we'll find one onto Ardis as well. So it brings it to a 4v4. I do like the way they kind of fought for that connector side of things rather than trying to face towards CT, but where are the options now for NRG? Brought back to 4-4, to four, it's tricky to make this work. Operator in play, Odin play, it's not going to be as easy to try and find those next steps, but Victor desperately looking for that pick, has to switch up to the rifle. Flash goes in, notes the player on the right, Carpe should be seen here, and he's dealt with Victor, lovely. Victor. Steps, gonna get a move on here. Got the oh my god, Victor! And Victor is running it back perfectly! Anyone else to find him? It's Munchkin waiting. The fuse started. Buset di klasik lagi, bro, bro, Victor, Victor. Gelo.
One insane retake by NRG. It feels like the time has almost passed here. That window of opportunity had closed, but... Wah, like-nya udah seribu, guys. Gila, makasih ya. Gokil. The finest of margins in this round. NRG will double down now. Two rounds <coughs> for the name in the second half. Haven't broken the economy just yet of T1. But we'll force the timeout. Yeah, I want to see what they do in these early rounds now. Okay, man, bang it right, yeah. Life in NRG kind of forcing unfavorable situations to T1. Losing an entire player on that B take, for example, and pivot towards C. Okay, Arden. Again, we saw what happened there. That retake was down to literally like a second. Hello, Kak Ade. They pull it off, so you have to kind of give credit where it's due. Now about to tie things up, though, for T1, is there an easy adjustment you see in this, or is it beyond some simple adjustment? I think if they <coughs> if they can identify that, actually it's Ardis and Finesse, majority of the time committing towards holding C, then they actually commit to this rubble engagement. <coughs> yeah, kalian langsung pulang, enggak ada loh. He's kind of the one that's, that's in us, the safest position, I'll say, inside Link. But uh, again, for me, the, the, the weak links in terms of On paper, when you look at how NRG are playing here, oh, kadang it drop has FPS to be Victor dari, and dari Now, observer. That's a different discussion altogether. Calling Victor and Crashies the weaker side yeah, the of the yeah, yeah, exactly, of a defensive setup from NRG. But I don't think T1 have, have clocked onto that just yet. No, maybe with that timeout, they've been able to kind of find it, talk through it, see if that becomes something now. <coughs> I don't know why. Oh, he ran away. Oh, they're spreading the wealth of the utility as Munchkin trying to find that fair fight on FNS. Already a little bit of damage done to him. Let's both break. So can we manage it? Let's say, was that a spam for the jump spot potentially? Finesse itu sudah biarkan saja jangan strat strat ya guys. Dia nggak perlu ngekill. Lebih penting otaknya. Artist this time for the operator towards B. That's a little interesting. Trying to imply pressure on the A site though. And T1 starting to drift away from this. That's a little bit of a different look now for T1 to try and navigate through. Is that contact also hitting on the C site? Well, that's some utility, but it comes on very late in this round. And the problem being, these indicators are going to force them towards Ardis' operator. Trailblazer will force him back a little deeper. But lots of question marks across the map here for T1. Yeah, T1 taking the tour, right? They start out towards A, kind of split towards C a little bit now, leaning heavier this way. Can they get that lurk to be activated? Can Ban find value? Som's been wow, wow. standing at this roll, and he's done it again. This guy just holding it down. Now there's really, well, shouldn't be as much doubt as there is. Ardis, this is everything, and the shot's missed. Unfortunate, yes. But it's the way it goes. And now T1 have full sight control. Wow, attacking Munchkin. Munchkin. It's deleted Over a hit. Who's trying to really hit here? Bring it to a 4v3, favorable towards NRG, but the time now is on their side. They have the plant down. Crashies and Victor have to play damage control here. Prevent any further progress from T1 into spawn. Messiah force back by the paranoia. Carpe will bail him out though. Oh, Ooh. shots from Carpe. 1v2, Sonic's been good. Oh, you can see the oh, paranoia. Zeta's still though, focused on the wall. So I'm looking for an opportunity, a chance. Anyone out of place, the wall's gonna drop. He's timing. No one disappeared. Spotted oh, now, Zayn's got him. Carpe. I'm a little antor, yeah. Some of the antor is bang buda. I thought would force them all the way back onto site, but it's actually a re-swing here. Oh, ada Viper lagi. And then they double down. Massive value found. Slight adjustment on the plant as well enabled them to be more aggressive towards spawn. It's unfortunate. Oh, the artist yeah. is yeah. He's even oh, looking there to pop the nano swarm potentially. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah, a rough timing moment for him. But a different look from T1 though, kind of taking the tour of the entire map. Yes, kind of leaving a player posted on every extremity, trying to get that lurk going, but... And it's interesting as well, because obviously without this Killjoy utility, it commits Crashies and Victor towards staying here very late. They have to prevent a lurk. Pendek banget kursinya, salah. Yang tinggi mejanya! Gonna know the crash is nearby, gotta be careful, there are still pistols out. Guardian as well for Som. Gimana nih Wota? Katanya penonton PCT. But Bansom very well here, mitigating all of that threat that could have come through towards A. And NRG, not finding the start they'd want here. BO berapa itu bisa dilihat di sana. Bisa dilihat di sana. This buy not gonna find any value so far. BO 3. Finesse does concede that space.
Yang kalau ketemu Derek beda grup dong ganteng. Round outside C but T1 will pause waiting for maybe an information peak. Stacked up now and they've cut noise. Yang kata Bu Derek mah antara abis ini pokoknya FUT sama apa AC. ASEAN. Uh, mantap dia. Not too much to write home about, at least in that round. But we have to talk bigger picture here, because that's T1 making it up to 11. That's big, and that's why NRG just hit the point. Kirain bel satu kayak ni. Hah? Apa tu? Kirain bel satu kayak ni. I mean, the stars aligned. Aduh, nggak bisa kebaca lagi. Sorry ya. This feels like a must win. What? I mean, call it 1,500 credits across the board for NRG behind this purchase. With a prime gaming flawless, actually puts T1 in a position where they can play out a few more risky engagements here. The benefit of the scoreline as well. I don't know T1 why. In the driving seat away. here. They have a Viper's pit of their own. The reckoning as well. Yeah. Di sini cuma kenal Valoran, elu doang, elu doang kaj. Something to play with. Well, one away from the Blade Storm as well, I think, for side player. Yep. Okay. This is when the game gets fun, right? Because the fact that we came onto this map and T1 clearly identifying a vulnerability with NRG, right? Maybe from that Na'Vi game, maybe even beyond that, but regardless, identifying something. This half was always okay, the ben, yeah. as well. Okay, Ben, yeah. Bagus. Yeah, I mean, the game... Go but till get there, soalnya, bang. Go but till get there. Defensively, <laughs> you don't want to see finesse I don't or know, artists why. really overcommit to these jewels or really yes. denying any space from T1 because like I said Crashies and Victor have to stay in position with no kills or utility there to, to prevent a lurk from rubble through towards stairs or onto a site they're, they're already leaning heavily towards a retake on, on B and C I mean B is the only one that potentially they can stop a push or be there to greet the push yeah. and actually fight for it mungkin kah? Ada yang there's, mungkin. there's two weak extremities deep breaths now one of the odds invested so far. That's towards B, so Viper Pit gonna be committed. We see a three play walk <coughs> over towards mound as well. Crashies, Victor. Kalau kita mau apak pride parah mah ya. Iwan menang, terus NRG uh, apa namanya ngalahin yang orang lower. Kan mantap. Tatik yang enak apa? Gak tau gue gak pake salat mic, ngab. Ya kan om? I don't know why. Baru bangun kelihatan. Commit on this. I want to see if they fully go for this. They've drawn out a lot of utility. 35 seconds. They can't pivot too far away. Flash goes in. Som goes up. 21 HP though. He ain't got much to play with. The adjustments there. Aku player. Crashies. Yeah. Yeah. They denied the cross. Sika sama Victor. With 24 seconds, we need more. Wah. Abis bro, bro sisa si King ni. Oh King. King. Ah. 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 So much space and Crashies wants him dead. So does Victor. Crashies the one to get him, but. Talk to you about that round, Mike, because that felt. Anggur bat ini udah kau terima kerja, cuma belum dipanggil buat training lah. Yeah, I was gonna say that. There's no information from T1 of numbers on the other side here. Big question marks, and it almost feels like. Kawan kita di rumah tu, ya anjing mantap. Wait half a second to make. Hari-hari jadi pure telat. Malmer udah nganggur telat mulu Malmer. Again, Som takes so much damage, but as soon as he falls, there's no second layer to this from T1. Nobody, nobody sweeps around towards waterfall. It's, it's all one-dimensional towards some. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. Oh, yeah. Try and run it again. Yeah. So, if you push towards B, uh, towards A, this time, you know, obviously, that builder utility is there. Berapa ya? Sejam locker ya? Gak tau, bukan ntar lu nyewa, dikasih kunci dah. And now you can already see the hunt coming out from Victor, though. He wants to close that gap. He's found the target. He's got a victim. That's Munchkin gone, and now the back line is not secure, but you got to go towards Ardis. In between, literally a rock and a hard place. How do you get past this? Kok kalo di tempat renang, biasanya sepuluh ribu lah. Uy, 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 uy. Ardis! Ay, ay, ay! This guy! Okay, ini momen clutch by Carpe. 
Ah, je Des bons nids de. Pixel out of place. No, FNS keeps himself way deeper. Ash again confirms no presence. Maybe feeling he's got a little bit of space for a plant, but they're so close by Mike. This is going to be brutal for Carpe. Beda, bebe, nastaga, nastaga. Ya udah, intinya gue salah nggak? No flash. No way to play. Vulnerable. Closed off. Oh, gorgeous. NRG. Nakar sebelah sini, bro. Artist goes huge to anchor here. Slows things down with the nano swarm and isolates every single member of T1 that swings onto him. Goes absolutely huge here. Get this adjustment of putting Artist towards A site now. Feeling as if NRG have a little more freedom to take the initiative, be decisive here. On the defensive side, that's where I get the mana. That's where I get to show in that T1 economy that looks so healthy. When the scoreline was 11-8, and RG, like I said, that was a must-win round, and look what position it's put them in now. A chance to tie things up. I love the switch up again, though. Look at the variety we're seeing coming out from NRG. We're going to have this time around Artis towards that C site, littering the utility over towards there. A little deeper, though. Not going to be putting it towards that early contact. We've got the three-play stack almost kind of working through B early on, leaving Som the solo towards A. But how far can they get towards this? You can already see T1 trying to continue their options, trying to go through the protocol list. It's going to spot a little bit of attention there. And T1 have to go through such a long list to try and figure out where players are. Uh, right. thing, if you think about uh, earlier uh, on this uh, round as well, T1 didn't have many fact-finding rounds. So we almost happened to re-explore the map. NRG have made beautiful adaptations here. Tampak Fine salah membaca ngap. Right call so far towards heading on A. Look at the difference in terms of how deep this utility is invested from T1. And they gain nothing off this. I think Munchkin might have heard the rotation from FNS at the very least, but there's still two players here and there's still all that Killjoy utility. The adjustment's just right. Anjir. Ken, this is all an information game. Yes, I think he did. FNS comes back around. Gasa, 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 gasa. Is that enough of an indicator to keep them committed towards this? It's Som this time. Aduh, bahaya Westreamer ini one tap. Bailed him out last round. This time, Som's got to go huge. Paranoia sent in should catch Sire player, but does he get out with his life? Yes. Keeps himself standing. That's all you got to say. That's all he's got to do so far. Really well navigated by Som actually. Not to see that first. Anjir, terima kasih dari jen member. Five v five retake situation. Artist does have the lockdown as well. So they're invested here, but the pick goes down and it does spread across Whoop. the spike. This becomes very useful Inese. now. FNS going to find Carpe though. Apply that pressure through a link. Sire player trying to look towards it. Tricky to see with the lockdown in play, but still has to respect it, has to fall away. Sire now going to be tested. Munchkin mm. tries to get aggressive, and FNS not having any push on itself. A tap of the spike will draw the player. Yeah. To their death. Crash is going to find Sebelah sama, bro, bro. Wah, gila di tag-nya. Takes back his sight as NRG gets Finesse stands his ground here in Link. Goes huge to deny that second wave of aggression from T1. And he's commanding so much respect. He's keeping three members of T1 fixated on this door. Unfortunately, then, the pit amounts to nothing on, on site. NRG able to just stack numbers up here and play trades inside it. Didn't even need to play trades. Oh. It's only artist that falls here. Pressure time now, 11-11, all tied up, map one. T1 hitting the panic button a little now. This is again, when we kind of talk about these teams, when we go bigger picture, depth, capability, you always Ooh. give a little nod to that man there as well. Always able to give them something you know else to work with, a little bit of adaptation, you know, all of that experience coming through. They have that backlog of capability. T1, that's a little bit of a different level. Yeah, emang si Dren cocoknya sama Fajar, emang yeah, udah jodoh. Oh, gimana? Well to 11, 11. Do they have adjustments now? Look at the contrast in the first six or seven rounds now to NRG really, I guess, Sampai spinning the si wheel yang some itu of these defensive kan? setups. And, and T1, like I said, there's so many question marks. As soon as they see an indicator previously, the pit outside B, yeah. they then have to explore who's where on the side of NRG. Everything they learn in the first few rounds, oh. out the window now. Yeah, this is the beauty of NRG, that they can do that. It's a very impressive skill to have alone and be so good at it. Yes, you could, I guess, technically adjust things, but being able to be so diligent still is... is, is it deserves praise. Map 3 gak nih? Wah, gak tau nih ya. What is the, the, the plan here? They have the lockdown. Kalau Tiwan menang Lotus, kayak bisa map 3. Data 3 away from his ult, but that's about <coughs> it. You have the Seekers for Crashies too. This is this is crunch time, isn't it? This is when... Uh, this has to be a big round from Tiwan. I'm not Udah, sure kan? what they're gonna go for here. Terbukti. Munchkin's been finding value in this lurk. Trying to slip his way onto 
finesse his site previously, but switch up here. Let's have Ban in support, and NRG actually resorting back to basics. That original setup we saw with Crashies and Victor over towards eight. Liquid number on my lap is about a party. Some in good one, good one. As well, if they feel the heat a little bit. <coughs> I'm just trying to hedge their bets a little bit. Unsure if T1 were going to do something a little different, but it's just a pace change so far, at least this very slow approach. Maybe looking for a B crunch. Maybe just looking for early success somewhere. Oh, one so far, Munchkin. No one being given that chance. Slipping a little deeper though, Munchkin does get pretty far up on this. Resmoke comes through. I'm not sure if Munchkin's looking to actually find a lurk. All the way up in towards spawn. Trouble is a burn early. That's the uh, first contact at 30 seconds. Yeah. The song they do it all. Try and deal with the lockdown. Gonna send the paranoia. Here's his chance. Door goes. And this is the lockdown. Song gets away. Oh, tak juga ni si Munchkin apa sih? Yes. That's the next goal for T1 here. Arlis oh, trying to hold them back as well. You've got some pretty close by, but T1 are in on the site. We're down to 14 seconds. If anything denies this plant, we get put into problems. For now though, T1, 5v5, post plant on B. This is oh, going to be a little real, real up, yeah. Already Munchkin going to find Victor. He's been holding them back towards LA site. Even the reckoning to throw in on top. Some here with a shorty. He's waiting for somebody to come through. Ban on the other side with one in his hand. Some able to wait this out. But where, where do they find that next bit of success from? Just holding these choke points with the shorty. So difficult to find a way in on Munchkin. All too aware that someone could be looking from that A. They noted that flash coming out there earlier. They're running low on it. Carpe's going to find Finesse. Yes, Crashies finds one, but he needs to find a whole lot more. And he ain't got many seconds to do it in. He's got down the T1. Dua blast, bro. Dua blast, dua blast, dua blast. Looking to fold. Looking to find Sulit that burn towards B. And they do exactly Dapat that. Match point. NRG had no answers there. Slow burn pays off for T1. I'm looking at this. Uh, there's no pinch onto Som. Som's able to throw a paranoia, remove this lockdown for free. Ooh. Yes, Ardis had a little bit of utility here scattered across B site, but there was numbers for T1. I and mean, when you've drawn the attention of Som, that should be good. Ardis has to go huge there. And yeah. even it's just a little bit late with the Cove. You think NRG are going to be able to recover there, but so much time passes before NRG make a move. Yes, they have to weigh out the reckoning, but. Okay lah, yang tahu ni Marjuki, maka si dua belanda Marjuki gaming. To get back into B site. Ooh, okay. Commitment toward A though. First time we're seeing deep exploration coming out from Victor, coming out from Crashies. Now T1 have been playing these patient defaults. This is gonna be quite telling. They spot. I'm not sure if they spotted one or two. Maybe just one. There are three players here. On towards mound is the other two. So, how far does energy go on this? It should at least cost T1 a little bit of utility on the way back, having to clear close. Should burn it up, make it a little easier to hold on to. I don't know why. And they have cleared that. So now where does T1 go? Again, they're not finding much of this info, Mike. Looking to run the clock down once again. Oh. NRG relinquish some of this control towards Rubble early on. Victor and Crash is now back towards a more traditional position. It's just hardest in FNS to hold this. They have to go huge here. How much can these two do? Nice stall for one, but Sire player reads through it. Catches aku. FNS looking a little out of sword, so it's just Ardis and the support still alive. Trying to play cool, probably oh, calm, he's going down. Gege gak sih bro, T1 nih. And this map's theirs. Kalo bisa 2-0 sih go kill, sumpah dah. Apa on top, let's go. Eh, satu lagi aku. Eats his maker in the form of Victor, but is going to be just the last two. Som and Victor try and turn any of this. Can they take it to OT on map one? Barjan lu gege guys, ini bisa OT ni. Look at this. First contact on towards the turret. There's the swing. Oh, gege ban, mata ban. This map one, T one, digging deep there to be out NLG. SK Telekom T satu ya. Eh, buat adik-adik yang lagi nonton, yang berjoin, jangan lupa di like dari VIP nih streamingnya ya, mantap. Dari dulu bro. Beh, cair ini yang BT1. Map 2, bayan. Ah, matiin dulu suaranya, ah. Buset, kemarin sih video gue merah ya, full. Udah kah? Udah, tidur aja ya. Set baru satu map udahan kah bang?
Baru sa map nga ta 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 Besok ini dan ini. Jum uh, hari Kamis itu nggak ada guys ya berarti ya. 15 itu libur. 16 mulai lagi. Oke. Okay. Kemudian cari 300 k mantap. Ntar gue mau ngelis yang tadi dulu ya. Tetetet. Ali Akmal. Tetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
Sebelah gitu ya Malmer ya Skip gak minat Iya kan buat yang ini aja bang Buat yang mau aja bang Gak maksa gua mah Gak perlu dijawab juga skip gak minat Ben kok sepuluh ribu Rewel rewel Gua rifan aja deh sepuluh ribu dulu Niko Mana mana rekening lu sini Gua rifan gua rifan Oh ini, ini email lu ya Gua email lu ya Sulit nih Tidak mengikuti rules nih Gua mau member Ben Tapi jangan kodok Ada member itu yang di pin komen Nah itu boleh tuh Sabar gua email dulu uh... Ntar gua emailnya pakai ini aja deh Diki, pakai email Diki Diko itu email lu kan? Nih gua email lu ya Niko saja Minta nomor dana GoPay atau rekening Biar di refund 10 k nya Kalau gue member di OSE kan monyet tuh Itu monyetnya bisa gue bawa ke sini gak Buat bantai-bantai nih kodok Masalahnya Monyetnya ke bantai duluan kak Gitu Ya Poin aja poin aja Ben asli itu lo namanya nggak ngikutin terus Niko nih gua udah mulai gak enak nih sama yang lain kalau kayak gitu ya udah mending gua refund sepuluh ribu lo kalau emang emang ini mah bro udah udah gua email lo ya Ben sehat sehat bro Drama pagi udah mending balikin aja daripada ini bro Gak enak sama yang lain Kan tadi yang dagang si Sultan Sarapan men sok sarapan Reset pen kapan? Ntar pas champion ini kan cuman tes tes anterior doang. Habis champion jadi tahun depan sudah seret ya. Harus mengumpulkan dari nol. Reading lagi, oi. Top satu bakal dapat hadiah enggak sebelum riset ya? Insya Allah nanti gua kasih ada ya. Cara masuk DC gimana? Tanda seru Discord aja, ada linknya itu. Point bet buat apa? Buat seru-seru doang. You've done it before, Chair. Thank you very much for joining me and best of luck. Wih, udah masuk nih, Bain, bro. 
uh, we're a T1 team. Uh, even though they're called T1, not T1. But uh, we'll, we'll win. Adanya Umroh. Huh? Buat time out lu Sultan ya, satu. Minta maaf gak lu? Gila. Ini gua bunuh diri. Coba spill yang bet T1. Nih, tuh. Pada PD map 3 nih, adik-adik. Gekko Harbor, okay. Wow, Nebula, makasih udah join member. Ini udah penuh HP gue. Tiwan banget, tiwan banget ah. Wah pensi nih. Sepuluh ribu. Beli poin ku aja nih ko seratus ribu poin for sepuluh ribu donat support operasional BTR Arctic. Ya nih. Masih armaja ya. Baik anjing orang tuh malu. Mana poin lu armaja? Cuma tiga puluh ribu gua disekem anjing. Ah, abis ini gua hapus. Tipu anjing. Nah tipu, nah tipu lihat tu. Baca. Wah, mosbit dia dapat. Mosbit dia di set aja dalam kov. Bah, T1 banget ini gila. Gecko bro. Kabur lu arma lu. Dok los bet udah. Belum anjing. Halo. Wah error anjing. Harus jadi press. Oh udah udah di close aja. But also, I love the fact that Carpe was just sat there waiting with a shorty. Like that made me so happy. Because again, when we look at the likes of Victor on this map, a couple of them are very, 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 Dah skip skip lah. Buang Ronnie udah buang Ronnie mah. Oh dapat plan malah anjir. Maka Hardis akan akan. Udah ketahuan tu. Iya loncat loncat. Ini apa ni? Tiga juta no ambil aja buset. Jangan ban dagangin aja bang, biar gua cuan. Uh. 
Alas, yeah, boy. Lend that direction. And I think come on, as always, finesse. What can he what value can he find behind this wall to lurk up on short? Elu udah kalian pokok tangan punya gua aja, Ben, ya. Yeah. He's just trying to buy a couple. I don't know. He's not. Even, there's not Nobody's moving. Not rotating. Yet, yeah. yeah. So I guess him holding like that was a, a little bit daring, but it does eventually slip back towards elbow. Maybe posturing up a little bit just to imply there is yeah. a second player of T1 here, but NRG <coughs> going to follow through. Now I want to see the commitment on this. Is this just all catered towards like, isolating a player outside hooker? Maybe a TP crunch coming through. You okay, burning the ult. That should confirm there's no one on the site, so it should be rather telling that it is just one player, so they should be able to get the plant. <laughs> Dual tiga kolo. Wow, 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 loncat. Gak kena. Oh, tapi dapat. Ayo aku. Aku pemain. Wah. Munchkin, yes, Munchkin. Oh, gila, Victor. Mahal tapi ya Byronnya ya. Bagus, 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 bagus. Victor goes huge with the Red Bull clutch and T1 really taking the fight to NRG on this B site execute. Beautiful approach here. Maybe this is the indicator here with Carpe's ultimate of how they want to approach some setups here. Heavy emphasis towards A early on. They don't spot finesse on that deep lurk outside. Without him, and he goes huge. Gone. Yeah, three kills on the round for him. Only I believe Zeta snake by that finally brings him down. That was uh, the bonus. Keep in mind that was <laughs> T1 with far less. Now we see them on the bite. Does NRG have to bring to it? Well, Art is down on a spectator. Yeah. Has to prioritize obviously the wall. And does actually go for a full shield here. Okay, so Zeta and Copy playing once again backside, super deep. Information, nothing noted down towards Fountain, deep b -long. You already saw the, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Munchkin sending out utility there time and time again. Still nothing flagging, so they've got to be aware there's a high chance it's coming towards A. They pulled over the third player. I think main contact, gila nih, NRG. NRG playing contact, they're so deep already. First Probably contact. wondering, <laughs> yeah, where do you want to play it? A little bit of an anti-plant set up almost there. Moshpin can be invested, allows time for a little bit of a... Udah Nice. Itu Victor. Itu ban. Ui, gelo T1 guys, retake-nya. T1 navigating this energy Turunnya masih pakai versi yang lama, ya. Pet sebelumnya ini. Lagi semel di Tiwan nih, mantep. Aku pemain, aku pemain masih di bawah. Ayo aku pemain. Dapat satu nih aku pemain. Iko Prager, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. 
So this was the sack. It is going to be only Munchkin over towards that B side. So they should be able to hold on to this aku, one. Aku. And LG finding more connections. Oh, Oop. man. That's nasty. Ren gun masih enak, Ren gun. Hmm. <laughs> Lemas tuh si Ardis kena racun. Uh. A bit of an overinvestment here, but I guess T1 desperate to convert this anti eco crashes down to 32 HP and Som down to 78. So, got a question that Som's already done some work here from that same position with the sheriff. But Zeta shuts it down. Any respect to Ulti, bro? T1 throwing it. Oh, idol. They're terrified of crashes. Already got two kills this round and gets himself the phantom. Now's the time to be scared when he's got the upgrade. 20 seconds to play with 32 HP. Dips on in, got time to hit this TP. I think he's gonna do just that. Munchkin low cap position just to catch across. He has to just be lined towards the side. This should Yeah, got that. A lot invested into that, but for T1, I guess it's okay, another round posted. Yeah, but I'm looking at that. It's a massive overinvestment in my eyes. Doesn't even break the bank either. I mean, the pit's the one that's. Pede amat ya, disangkanya dua di sana. Pasti here on the defense on bind, but let's wait and see if that amounts to anything here. Obviously, showstopper available. Crash is now with the seekers online. NRG with the advantage. Maybe T1 to throw those in, knowing that NRG slightly off kill. And again, turu skema membantai lower ini. Yeah, look at it. Switch things up massively. Deny this space. Terus tahunya Navi ngamuk ya kan? Nafi yang lolos. How contrasted we've seen them playing deep back side. First challenger found and falls. It's side player going down and FNS passes with flying colours. They're on opposite sides of the wall there. Carpe swinging one way, Sai swinging the other. A little bit disjointed, and we saw a few examples of that on Lotus. But time being, NRG a five v four situation presented. Alhamdulillah. They're desperate to get FNS down. But look at his positioning. Ini yang lebih plot twist lagi guys ya. Di one nama EDG yang lolos. Ini si aku kenapa mati mulu di awal ya? This could be bizarre in a couple of seconds now. I've got your train. The seekers should tell you a very very strange picture that someone's pushed up, but do they expect the second player here as well? Si Vines gak berani ngepick anjing, lu parah. Woi, Vines udah boleh gerak lu, Vines, woi. Woi, Harbornya udah mati. Dia mau setup ini kah? Line up kah? Yeah, si Venice lah tu. Work lama-lama mati juga. Oh, Manski digituin lagi. Again, looking at where the purchase will lie here. Munchkin toying with the Guardian, but... 30 seconds left. Yeah, very, very strange to see Sire and Carpe so disconnected here. It was those two players on Lotus I'm talking about. There was a couple of examples where... These swings just aren't diligent enough versus a team like NRG. A judge, a stinger, Marshall. Anjir, skema cepat, skema cepat. Ini headset gue udah penuh belum sih? Ada kita lagi. Just going through the checklist, right? Clearing out the shower, spamming out the box, and they are now forced the hell away. Ban. I stick around on this a little bit and gonna lose his life. A little bit of interesting choice, yeah. Uh, wrong call there from him. Carpe tagged up. Pain shell could be the death of him too. See how much damage he takes. Fair amount. Down very low here. 
already gonna hear that TV. Taken <laughs> shot comes out. Well, Victor, very, very clean on this. And the last two players, Zeta and Munchkin, this is a you know, an impossible situation. A sheriff and a judge. Very hard to pry any more value judge. out of this round. Judge, ayo maju, Vines. Here, not far from it. Should be maju si mati nih. Scoreline. Potentially five alive if they are managing to stay away from those last two weapons. Zeta so just desperately waiting for anything. I don't think we'll even find a consolation. LG should be able to solidify their position on the ball here. Give them effectively a round in hand if they can keep this. Keep all these weapons on the board. Motele itu. Motele sih sob. Zeta to follow into the TP but no, Ops just fall. And building back towards a couple of these ultimates as well. The Victor, four away from the showstopper again. Ardis, just about getting close to that first res. The T1 actually with that overinvestment in previous. Yeah. They're a pretty good position in terms of this ult cycle. Bad Tessie, Ben. Carpe yeah. back on that ultimate. We saw it used in what, round three. Side mm -hmm. so play on the showstopper as well. LG. Looking to continue pressuring this A-site hold. Here's what the adjustment is here for T1. Victor, first port of call to try and take a little bit further control now. Over towards Lamps. We have seen the T1 are happy kind of playing from back site to an extent. They're very tough to get away from able to deny the plant coming in. But that could be quite telling. First time we're seeing artists down deep by Fountain. But wait, you're seeing them walk behind this. Hold on. Munchkin's going looking for this fight here. Pop flash. Flash ini bulat balikin anjing pinter banget Munchkin lihat tuh. Ini baru king nih. Ya Allah, dua kena. Hmm, meledak sih Som. Som stuck in the detain. Balls to the paint shell. Anjing flashnya digituin loh. Slowing them down. Yeah, Carpe stalling this. Bia gitu ya, bia gitu ya. Plusnya ya. Boom bot there. Still has the ult as well. Maybe they can decide to dip through the TP if they want to. But again, look towards where Munchkin's positioning is. He can be such an issue if they want to try and cross out. Thirty seconds from Luca. Down to twenty-seven seconds. Flash. They know it. They know it's their way. Zayt's gonna find it. Oh, aku. Ay ay ay. No. Aduh, si Idol bahaya Idol ni. Wah, Idol. Oh, emang itu mapnya krisis bahaya bro. Yeah, maintaining a two round gap here. T1 will be able to scrape together. Oh, gee, actually gonna pump the brakes here. Call timeout. And some of these pinches through the TP, you can see Som just desperately trying to get away. Yo, not even close. That was pretty close. Yeah, that was pretty close. Sorry, bang. Sorry, bang. Yeah, curious if NRG is gonna come out and switch things up a little bit here. Oh, bila gitu, ah, aus yang ini nih, aus. Yeah, minum, 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 aus, aus itu. Aus yang itu, aus guys. Struggling a little bit in terms of finding some sort of comfort here on the attack. It feels very, very hit or miss in terms of they find an opening engagement and create an opening. But T1's utility worker has been fantastic there. <coughs> Ticking both boxes from here. The anti plant setups are perfect. And again, using the utility to stall when they do feel the pressure and they, they can see that first blood as well. Yeah, it, it's such a different tempo and kind of um, pacing to the game, considering that. It's, it's, it's a very unique. Hi, Tariq, please don't jinx. Tenang aja, mau tarik ngejinx juga. Ada anti jinx sebagai di bangkong, tenang ya. Ikut minum ya, udah segar belum? Indi home kenapa lagi? I do want to see what energy now lean towards, right? They've kind of had a lot of that test towards there. We haven't seen them explore that B site all too often. Might be seeing it now. We have Ardis and Finesse disconnected from this. So a widespread default. Take control outside the TP here, but Ardis 
Have his hands full if T1 look to aggress and not expect to be able to do that. Bro, bro. Si Ardis gak ketahuan nge cross. Surely, yeah, you absolutely do. Uh, tele semua. Now, the only man who can stop him. Abis A nya anjing, dia tahu tinggal satu. Carpe thinking he'd force finesse off that angle, but planted. he said re-challenging opens the site up for NRG. T1, a little lazy on this push out of showers, you've got to say. Try and pull something like that out of a timeout. You have to anticipate NRG have switched things up. Crash is sharp for the munchkin this time around. Diff, diff. No man's land. Yeah. Say to position here in elbow. Credit here to NRG for adjusting very well after that timer, but I think you're right in kind of highlighting that sort of clear through showers. I guess it's the first time they've seen that sort of thing, maybe just expecting FNS, but not expecting an adjustment off the back of the timeout. Maybe short sighted there. Yeah. Um, and, and again, Lighter has seen a little bit more intent behind it. Does Victor get this final one? Let's see. Yes, he does. Mm. Okay. Rifle removed. I want to see where the money lays for T1 as well. T1's success hasn't come from aggression or being proactive no. here on the defense. So that's why it's a little strange to see it right out of the time now. Ketutupan. Ketutupan si saya, Ajik. They're expecting to swing at the same time here, but just off kilter. I even said earlier on in this match, it's not the first time we've said that in this series about T1. Some of the setups they have. That's a good yeah. picture of Is it? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Nice. Uh. <laughs> For now, there should be... Uh, formalities uh, uh, underselling these sort of rounds. I want to see, see if uh, one no. NRG... It uh, should tie up here, though. Yes, it's it should be five apiece, considering if it does get into dangerous territory, you have three very impactful ults coming through. And they're really you have good. the full purchase. You've been having the success you need. It would need someone to be either caught in a terrible mistake or over-delivering massively. For now, no. very cognizant of Munchkin's position. Oh, been a bit of a nuisance towards Ardis when they had been going for that heavier lean towards A and Ardis left to kind of deal with him towards long. Dogs are clear. Ardis to follow and Munchkin has to respect that. Here. Early on though. Kalau di patch baru udah nggak bisa tuh pro player ngeplay ngeplay gitu. Ada koi dekoi dulu. Abis pelore. I kind of like what Munchkin's doing though. He's like almost overselling, right? He's like. Tiga dapat dong. Seratus sepuluh. Setulti. Buset, buset, buset. Aku player. These crossfires breaking would be uh, very difficult. <laughs> and again, no one's moving a muscle. NRG are waiting this one out. Swans Victor Ooh. takes him. He was the weaker of the three. The Larry. And the other two can just filter away posture towards long, get ready to slip away. Sire player losing these opportunities second by second here. Yeah. Yeah. No Som turns on it. Nice. NRG do try things up, 3-4, but... Lima lima nih, ketat, guys. Eh, dari tadi ya. Nampaknya akan close game lagi nih, tidak ada yang membantai-bantai. Requires a little bit of investment on the side of NRG. Only the res available here. You said time. Tak Adi, makasih, you udah regen member. Welcome back. Some of these scrappy little stacks can call... Yo, Allah, si Ben dari tadi kena sialnya mulu. NRG wise to it. Clean up nicely. The best one, 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 the best one. Okay, so Seek is for Munchkin. Ada suara rewind, dong. Play soft, kapan? Tanggal 16. What do we have here as the start? So, a little bit more of an interest towards the A site that 
I mean, it's, it's, your, it's your bog standard default, really, but with a little bit of intention towards shower behind it, and FNS slipping on up. Yeah, one eagle, that's a pussy. It was Zeta. Support Carpe and not Zeta this time around. Zeta. See, only one snake bite that was invested or wasn't bought into the round. Wah, mati dong Carpe. Ih, ya Allah, gemes banget. Satu, satu lagi. Aku, aku, kanan. Ya, benar, benar, benar. Ya Allah. Buset dah. Munchkin overwhelms him. We're down to a 3v3 here. This is still very, very possible. Tough work though for Zeta to try and build back through from CT. No utility to work with. Munchkin down to 9 HP and Ardis looking to punish Munchkin. Munchkin nunggu. Buh! King memang ni orang. Tahu dia. So I feel that strain. So I'm trying to slip away a little deeper as FNS. Trying to readjust here. Make your work on the fly. T1 starting to be hands forced. It have to be FNS doing everything. Wah, ente kak Venus. Lagi aku cuma tiga ratus. Lagi pada tidur, kayaknya kak Adi. Hampir tu kak Venus ya. Enam tangan enam belas, tangan lima belas. Potentially to find that res to get an extra body back online in shadows. Yeah, aku akhirnya nih dapat dua tekel. Lah, ceweknya Sam O. Arpe brings a bulldog in here. Siang, Pak Brian. One away from the ultimate once again. Yang dulu dikit. Zeta, Sian, Ban, all have theirs available. Last run mah Zeta ni. We'll secure that showers control early on. Kayaknya sih enam sama ya. Aduh, aduh, aduh. Lu ngeliat burungnya Munchkin lucu dah. Aneh-aneh burungnya. Pake belok-belok dulu, aduh. Oh! Oh! Ya sih, tapi Iwan punya empat ulti ya. Ya saya player akan ulti sebentar lagi. Ayo, 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 tele. Dapat, oh mantap. He's heard this. Surely Munchkin has heard these steps. They bought so much time for this. What what a bizarre scenario, Mike. Thirty seconds left. So many ults committed here on site. So much utility. Twenty-five. A lot of time left on the clock. King Munchkin dari belakang. Enak sekali ini. Masa i yang nggak dapat. What a call by Venus, guys! Time now. Safe plant. Oh my god, it is. They've got to fight into with Scratchy. Yeah, enam sama betul ya. Gila, Venice timingnya loh. Itu masih kita dah tinggal satu belokan ya Allah. This is the game I want to be seeing. NRG being challenged on a map that is so notorious. Astaga. Target. Gue butuh link ni buat si bos pit. With the right response, but coming out, never pegging here. Six six on the half. A couple of these right down to the wire. NRG sweating in the last 15 seconds of some of these attacking rounds. This is just brilliant. Where else would you want to be? I want to see how this concludes. It's six apiece. I think the desk will be waiting to take you through so far.
Trust me, I want to see how this thing concludes as well, Lauren. That was probably one of the most wild rounds of Valorant we've seen at an international event in quite some time. But 6-6 uh, six, six again, Kakuka. I don't think anyone going into this was like, yeah, you know, these two, uh, these two teams are going to be evenly matched. Like, don't get me wrong, not to try and, like, throw shade, but yeah. oh my goodness gracious, T1 are bringing it, energy's bringing it, it's amazing. You're saying that you want this to end? This is probably the most entertaining map that we have in the competition so far, and I was so excited to watch this composition, especially because of the way that this utility is going to be used coming from T1, and we can see it in this round. They have the mosh pit, they have the snake bats, they have uh, the pain shield, there's so many things that they can use to prevent, to delay the plan, and of course to uh, create that chaos, that, that that will give them a huge upper hands when we're talking oh, yeah. about those retakes. And I think a lot of that is a prep against the style that energy plays on this map when they go for these executions. Osman skin jalan udah jelas top itu energi. Iya. From the sage to block off your pet. Gila kalau dia aja. Normally holding in U-Haul to hold for this post. But do you want to constantly disrupt that? Kita harus memberikan link dulu kepada boss peep gaming. And the second volley is always a combination of the sky flash and the dizzy coming over at once which lets them flood in and find such good value in these retakes but now we switch over into the second half here and for NRG on the defensive side this composition is one where they're normally really good at tying up these retakes they don't have the same stall that T1 does but where they will thrive is fighting back in using those sage wall and the harbor utility to block off that spike I think the carpet has been doing an insane job so now if we take a look also at that attack win percentage it's also pretty high for them I think that we're going to get a lot of what we saw in the first half translated into carpet also some brilliant performance on harbor oh, this match has truly been the gift that keeps on giving and the good news is we have plenty more to come let's send it right back over to pansy and hypoc yes yeah, six apiece i i don't know how this then translates into the second half though mike because i i i just don't know enough about this composition okay, right? we see abyss, these agents yeah, coming abyss, out Viable is it on the second half? It, yes, it looked great on the first half. They've certainly kept up at six apiece. I keep going back yes. to you know, historical results. You know, you go to what you know, and obviously NRG. Plus on paper, you've huh? got to put a lot of stock in them. But here, they're being challenged by all occasions. Stop. So I will actually be in position to receive a lot of information early on here. NRG will have to pivot away, or reposition at least. Ardis tasked with anchoring towards a late investment of the wall outside showers, so we'll give him some sort of comfort. NRG still looking to probe here. They're going to carry on this path. They're stuck in no man's land. They're going to win the fights, and they do. So an FNS keeping NRG oh. standing in this, but look at the HP. Yes, they're down low. Can Sire play catch the punish? I think FNS has read it well. Absolutely now hearing that frenzy fire. The pain shell Munchkin tries to slip away a little quietly on this. Still trying to go for the same approach, though. Hey, no, start, start, bro. bro. Crashes, so finesse down to 18, Som down to 10. Lepar bomnya ke finish, auto meninggal atau ke som juga. Expecting T1 to wait outside this cut sound and wait for the rotation to come through, but we can see it's not happening. And actually, that's a big, big tool for T1 to work off now. The flash finding nothing, and NRG drift away. Whoop! Ah, they're rotating. Maybe calling for help. A little bit of utility coming through. This keeping his attention turned. But now, does Crashes call him back? No, not yet. They're leaving it down to the two here. Som is very low though, and he's held his ground. Well. The punch king going down is huge, and now just the two remaining. But yes, the HP is low, but the heals are going to come hey, out. Aku, aku aku play play his game back on their feet. It's only Som really left down on very little. Need almost an oversell here. And Zaya player trying to be pivotal, trying to be that guy. Does do well, but he's lost later in the meantime. Now there's problems. How does he get past four players? That's the first. Oi! That's the second. Switch up to the goal. Oh, Jing, and the para. Wow, FNS called in there to deal with the problem that was on the site. Because that got way too close. Yeah, T1 played this to perfection, though. Like I said, waiting outside. The Renzi, cinta aku bro, udah live test dari Mero Official Watch Party Master Tokyo. Ntar ujung-ujungnya pas sudah. Maaf, aku penyuka. Finds a crucial kill to bring it to a 5v2. Massive from him. Sire makes that one interesting, yes, but can't get anything done with the nade reset. <coughs> Marshall invested here, two sheriffs, Zeta and Carpe. Toxins going up. Really, in this half, you're looking for NRG to 
again, mitigate some of the risk early <coughs> with this utility from T1. But also prevent T1 from really having strength to set up for some of these executes. I'm curious once we get to the buy rounds, how NRG will approach Yeah! This. <laughs> yeah, batu to doggy. Doggy idol. Just the same old exchange utility. I wonder if maybe can't be banned. Could have cat you know, caught a little timing on FNS there, but no. He's been playing a very, very good game, FNS. He's been playing and crashes here on that lovely yeah, little flash. Yeah, Butada. Lovely. Keeping it clean. Fix is in the right place. T1 not finding any real room to work in. Mm. I mean, the spikes are back down in spawn. They Enak, really they were bang. Much in that way. Look at the probe on both extremities, try and find something tangible to work from. Shield going up. LG able to slow this down though. Wait, Adi, terima kasih. Sebelas bulan ya kak. This is position close on bench here. Kenapa mulutnya dibuka-buka gitu? Lah. Extra here will be a bonus. Oh, this finds his third. It didn't feel like there was masses of intent from T1 in that when you see a lot of threat now. Mana T1 ni? Mana password? From NLG, so a very good opportunity for T1. T1 ni bang, mana bang? Came with something that should get them in this round, or at least in this half. Yeah, come into this. Who pendah nonton gini terus majuin gini ni? Set. Ah, enak deh. Little bit here. Some early rounds. Pro player para. So I play already two away from the showstopper. Mata rusak tapi. The only progress to write home about, I guess, some two off the record on the other side of things. Ah, belum dibersihin belakangan tadi lo orang nonton debu aja. Deep control maintained here. The wall, but. Debuan tu belakang iya orang belum dibersihin sebulan sekali bang. Terakhir bulan baru bersihin. Yeah, you might not see it on this map though. Angel's about the only person excited watching this. He's absolutely frothing over this one. Loves a bit of it. Bersihin lah tu bedu ya ini soso time time tu lah. Soso tipe, soso tipe. Down mid, hold on. All this and some. Itu dia aus aus perhatian. Suruh minum, suruh minum. There's chance of that little deeper exploration mission with 49 seconds now. T1 starting to make their move towards the A side. As Artis does need to slip away. Sampai malam, sampai beres bang. Makasih seng tiga bulannya seng. Ya seng. Kenapa sih saya gua? Pantasan. In terms of utility here to disconnect from site. Untung ada lima akun, alah. Percuma yang member bayar satu doang. Eh! Kawah lu kocak. Mahal. Casualties for sure, but still. A massive repurchase here. How alive Punchkin's going to drop one across? Very diligent on the approach here. See Aku meninggal di udara. Because it's hardest to bait out the presence. Fight Munchkin. I got you, Zach. Actually, on the brink of a couple more ultimates, though. Seeker's nearly there. Reckoning nearly there. Actually, do have the res, and actually, saw one away from his as well. Was he looking to get a little proactive potentially here, or just retrieve the orb? He got wood. Close, but not there to punish. No, just a second or two off from that. You can see the progress being made on the other side of the map, though. So, who can control will be in T1's hands. Finesse, calling over some support here. Going to be seeing Victor lean over a little, but going back towards eight. Going to be feeling out the pressure over towards it, not reading into too much. But side play's got a dirty little angle. If anyone does try and come over to try and hit that rotation, a very deep hold on B here. Finesse tucked outside the spawn entrance and crashes over towards elbow. But not committed angles here. 
the flash wouldn't have found anyone there. The second one will do. Okay. Should be enough to pull over the players here as well. Excited players on the site. So he's been able to clear pretty well through this. You know, he did it earlier though. Very, very deep hold coming out from NRG. Maybe leaning straight into that retake rather than the challenge. Again, an overstep here from Zeta because NRG have the reckoning. So a big retake ultimate available here. Speak of it. E. What's the team want to do about this? E. Take a fight on the way out, but you can really see them being caught, being crossing away from Elbow. Yeah. So Dapat dua tu granat Spitor. So, so Dia tidak menyala. Ben izin jualan, jualan apa? Two people eat the same stun for the reckoning and die to the same paint shell. Oh my god. I'm sure if we'll get a chance to look at that. Pulse ayo R233 full set beserta alatnya oh. Dagang mod ternyata. Again with un... I'm not sure why but unorthodox forces T1 into a, a very committed 50.000 dari Adili Poli. Pesan. Jangan lupa makan sama ibadah Kak Bre menjaga kesehatan Loflo. Sab Kak Adi, makasih 50.000-nya ya. Tidur subuh, bangun pagi. Sehat. Crashies this time. Tested quicker, but again look at the bike. Okay. Ila si aku nih, aku aku, ayo aku. So that is a recoverable rifle if we see FNS kind of sit a little bit deeper, which I feel like he will do. Can't particularly stand and fight on this one though. He will respect it enough. That is a rifle to hand. Zeke is going to come in as well. They want this one. Wild going to be coming through. Ayo aku. Mending kamu overheat sekarang ya. Kasih unjuk permainan eksplosif kamu ya. Ya dihancurin guys. Anjay kepake. Bolongan kepake. Anjay anjay anjay. Bolongan kepake. Window towards sight. Didn't find much this time with the paint shell though. Three players towards elbow, one towards CT. Artist trying to be held back. Nah, ini dia tu aku pemain. Be sure in the meantime, Son did ice. Ayo Ben. Ah! They lose sight. Ben, kecepatan itu. Once again, NRG pulling off these retakes very well. Kurang tenang nampaknya tadi ya, serip serip dari bang Seta. Victor back on the showstopper now. NRG on ten and a crucial round here. For T1 to come back into. This is a timeout. I mean, the side. We kind of look to see how it looked on the second half here, Mike. It's not looked good. Yeah, it really hasn't. We haven't seen much value, if any, from the utility on some of these executes. Yeah, it's, it's only really bans utility. That's the focal point of these executes. So very curious to see if T1 are able to dig a little deeper here. Show us something else. I kind of hoped we'd see that same, you know, slightly varied approach that we did on that first half. Brought in here something a little bit new. But but yeah, the difference in reliance on that utility is uh, this is the half you expect. Bertawa ada bolongan di set itu kan main baru, udah lama aja. Udah berapa bulan? Sebulan dua bulan ya? Bulan deh. Oh, aku, no aku, no, nggak punya satel, no, nggak mati lu. Arhiling. Again, look at the utility. There's nothing available now for T1. Victor has a showstopper to work his way back in. A flash for Crashies now, who's on the operator, and two snake bites for Finesse. Masih pikir gitu, artinya nggak lihat kiri. Buh, gila relate-nya, guys. So T1 just have no tools available whatsoever. NRG, yes they can see the plan, but it doesn't cost them an awful lot. There's none of this inventory being drawn out by T1. I'm honestly a little underwhelmed. I mean, the time, yeah, the timeout's coming now, but it's very late in the day. There's not a frowns really to play with here. That felt like a must win. They get the plant, yes, so it might enable a light shield purchase, but there'll be gaps in the utility or you're forced onto an SMG. Sire player will have the show, so there's something. 
in terms of a confidence builder at least, but there have been very few positives on this half. Yeah, well, only one round to claim so far for T1. That was the bonus, and it was it was actually a pretty <laughs> poor bonus you're looking for. Right, yeah, two, two, two came out of that from T1. Yeah, so it wasn't even a good yeah, victory so that way. Number one controller. I, yeah. Now, okay, if we talk, you know, more, I, I guess, outside of what we've seen so far, yes, NRG are extremely well known on this map, very, very diligent, of course. But again, it's, it's not even that, really. We're just seeing the T1 don't have some of the key stakes that we were really excited by on the first half. That's just pretty flat. Quiet. There's not yeah. really been an awful lot of depth there. Not achieving too much in the early round, and they're not creating enough pressure. Like I said, NRG thriving in this. Uh, I mean, we talked about on map one that NRG would thrive in that sort of play style, and yep. uh, I think it's starting to show here on the second half. T1 lacking ideas. Now, I don't know what this timeout's going to be able to achieve. That's what we're here to look at now. Well, they've see here on the screen, forced back in a judge potentially in the hands of Sire player who does have the showstopper and rifles across the board. Zeta being the only asterisk. Okay, more like it. Favoring the utility. Victor's got the operator though, and that scares the life out of me. They will be able to get pretty close towards him. Berharap namanya apa? Itu kan sebelas. What? Please buff raja bang. Gak mati loh setengah darah anjir. I'm a little heartbroken from that. That did. That looked pretty on the money. Bang gonna suffer the damage to try and get the plant down, but it's still. Ada bete itu pasti. Si aku. Artis even having that res in pocket, gonna bring him back up towards four, but Ban gonna find crashies, okay. The HP a little low, yes. Damage trying to come through. Just trying to hold on in this pit. Being surrounded, chipped away at Carpe, takes a step through. Isolating Som is perfect, but can he find the final two here? Carpe trying to slip around a little here, this could be... Satu! Ay, 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 ay. He could adjust towards Victor, but he's made it doable. He's made it possible, but the pain shell so good. Yeah, pinter banget Victor Anjir, Anjir. That is ridiculous from Victor. Disangkanya masih ngestick. Goes absolutely huge for NRG. Pinter, pinter. Find them there twelfth. Beat it in perfectly. Match point. Victor. Map tiga ini kan? Apa kau bilang? This is going to be a hard game to look back on this map here. Eh, tahunya OT. This this just hasn't felt like they they've got this hard. Ah, I mean look at now. Look at the timeline here. It tells you exactly what you need to know. The last four rounds, all defusals for NRG. T1 burning everything up until utility to get them into a post plant, and then they have nothing at their disposal. Yep, NRG starting to outclass here, but it ain't over yet. A long way back though, and FNS gets away with his life. Still standing. Needs the res. Oh my God, Victor! Eh, gila. Gege. Hilang semua guys. Oh, lagunya copyright, ajik. Merah video gua. Gege di kade kah? We go to matri. Tatat. Tukar, 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 tukar. Sabar ni open dulu close set. Energi. Peral, peral, peral. Tadi tadi poin nasi ini kurangin dulu. Padli Raup. Jadi lima ratus. Sip, mantap. Wow, langsung ke BT1 nih, 200 ribu. Wow. Jeda berapa menit? Paling 10 menit. Tadi kita sampai 10 menit gak sih? Kita kayaknya gak sampai 10 menit gak sih, guys? Iya, udah gua jawab. Jepra berapa menit, 100 menitnya. Sepak menit terus. Dari jawab masih ditanya. Redik aja dulu gas. Hmm. 
Tiwan bisa lah ya enggak? Tiwan, Tiwan, si aku, si aku di pro. Si aku tapi AWP-nya kadang-kadang suka kena di pro, tapi kemarin waktu lawan Kangkang lumayan lah ya. Bersihin PC bagusnya pakai apaan? Pakai teknisi. Biar gak salah-salah. Bang, bansos bang. Ah, like-nya aja baru 3, 13 itu. Gimana mau bansos? Kalau tiwannya bangkit sih harusnya bisa ngalahin energi di pearl ya. Cuman energi bagus eh pearlnya eh. Bagus deh, bagus bro. Huh. Baru bangun tidur grind P tuh. Wah, ada si Won anjing. Wah, oh, Allah lagunya Queen ya kan? Bahaya. Ini kita lihat Won dulu. Lagi pakai set apa nih dia? Oh, lagi pakai Dejer. Tiwan banget ini Ben Asli gue juga berharapnya Tiwan Berharapnya mah Cuman kalau ada mal merah ngebet sih jadi ragu Hahaha <laughs> Eh BTW kalian ada yang main albino terus punya guild gak? Gue pengen merasakan guild war, guild war anjir di albino Malam live uh, enggak kayak Tapi gak tahu gue kalau dimainin toho live lah Lihat ntar dulu kan ada toho ya selasa rabu Ntar kalau gue main di live in lah tohonya ya Gak ada musuh nih. Jadi dia kalau main kalau main game-game ginian tuh pakai lagu breakbeat aja buat grinding loh. Lagu breakbeat aja. Harapan dulu oke okay, bro. Apa 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 apa. Belum nih sih semenit lagi. Si ayang udah belum lagunya. Oh lagi hujan guys. Ah. Oh. Ntar gue pengen ke WC dulu ya Photos. 
Trace Devil Man Dream on the thing is gonna watch. Come Samida. Come Samida. We read pro 43 persen tiwan oh iya. Di sini viewernya juga nih pasti nih guys. Nih, udah ngeliat itu dari jauh. Ada si Jini, ada si Jini. Apa nih kita minta foto nih? Tapi si Ayang marah-marah tahu. Kalian mau tiga nafi rungkat PPQ. Ada poin 3 juta kalau mau beli boleh. <laughs> Buat bayar kuliah. Eh btw guys ya lihat. Member-member gratisan sudah pada habis yang bulan kemarin. Tidak semuanya rejoin. Wah si Joy di mana nih masih di Jepang kan? Wah anjir di mana nih anjir? You know what I thought about this trip is to buying one of those like foldable bikes so we can just like ini asik dah Jepang gang-gang sempit kayak gini nih guys. We can bike around different different stations. I don't know how cheap they go for or how expensive they go for. Ini kalau nggak punya garasi kayak gini nggak boleh tuh di Jepang lu beli mobil katanya. Wikipedia says you're near Nikon factory. Like the camera, I don't think we can stream in the Nikon factory though. Here. Yang was berarti di Twitch rame nggak Ben? Ada Tuhan Paloran bro, gimana nggak rame nih? Now we kind of far. It's a Minato city. Oh here this. Buset di mana tuh? Yeah. Oh Nikon HQ. It's a two mile, two mile away. That's gotta be hell expensive. Pengabangan. Look at this. What if we just, dude? This is why Uy. Japan built different. Anjir. Look at this just laying out. Scooter. In the open. In America, man, motherfucker be coming in with fucking like bolt cutters. <laughs> Bro, we be filming in this shit, dog. Yoink, kalau kata orang sana mah, dicuri aja. Ini aplikasi itu, oh sepeda gitu guys, bukan skuter. Gas, coba bang saya ro. I hope it's Gaijin, Gaijin, okay. Yeah, password tu kelihatan dong, bodoh. Kelihatan. Enam sembilan, enam sembilan password tak guys? Gaijin tamai. Lah. Lah. Gak bisa kocak Ganti region dulu iya Kudu ganti region dulu Di app store nya Nande Nande Wah sebentar 
Ini sudah ke caster berarti udah mau mulai. Made made. Made Made made. Do we see the creativity side of T1 that look great? Do we see that composure what? from Map One? Do we that's, see? Uh, well, I mean, what that's that's see? that's not what they relied on versus EDG, and I, I think yeah. they struggled massively. They managed to, I, I guess, scrape a win through is what it felt like. Uh, EDG definitely felt like they were the ones in the driving seat, but even regionally, there've been some concerns uh, with T1's performances on on Pearl in particular. Gas gas, adik adik. Tiga detik ya, dadah. Ah, lupa betting bang, lupa bang, lupa. Mampus. Let's go. Ah, mampus, lupa. Terbiasa terus. Wow, 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 wow. Someone from EMEA casts that region. The vast majority of the time, I've missed watching artists on a jet. That's always normally a treat. Let's see how he fares in this one. Crashies and Victor are going to see a little deeper on the angle. I think that's going to have all the information, though. Yeah, artists. Oh, but I could have been too. Allahu Akbar, artists are going to pop. Ajig. Beautiful work, saving his two teammates who'd pushed a little deeper towards CT. So what can Munchkin and Zeta achieve? Two v three now. Snake fire sets in. Som will have caught the information on the second as well. Crisp on the first headshot. Just Munchkin now. Tagged up earlier on. 20 HP left. And a classic in hand. Nothing else to work with. Yeah, we'll see all the deal. NRG will find themselves the pistol round here on Pearl. So a beautiful, beautiful opener here from Ardis. Again, great setup as well. Two stacked up close here. Yes, Victor falls, but... Ardis there to bail out crashes. He got stunned up by the Trailblazer, by the way. The clearance would have been pretty easy for T1 on the way back through. Very aggressive stance to take as well. Mm. So we see that Marshall Alpha Sire player beyond that. It's just it's classic. So. Again, keep it clean. See how quickly Ardis can build as well towards the you look a bit. Am I And uh, for old Munchkin. Oh dear. I wouldn't go any further on that pathway. Yeah, it does dip away. Keeps itself alive, so again, not, not the worst outcome possible, but beyond that, NRG just testing the waters, really, taking the tour. Finesse hasn't been spotted out on the other side yet, but Sire posted up with the marshal. We'll be greeted by a few minutes of NRG here as they crest the corner. And no confirmation just yet, though. T1 have lent heavily towards A. Finally now, Ban rotating back across. But Sire has to go huge, if anything is to happen here in this round. Hardest finds him, though. Yep, chip damage on Ban as well. With that sort of control, they can get the plant down. B site's theirs. It's going to be very hard for T1 to forge any path back through as well. One flash to play with, yeah. Carpe's got a little bit of utility. But even with that in mind, what are you meant to do? I don't even think NLG want to go nope. fishing for these frags either. T1 probably just going to sit behind us and wait it out. Oof. There's only classics in hand. Bless. Probably just going to give this up to the spike. Ashes with a ghost, yeah, maybe going exploring. Trying to find some progress towards the ultimate. Hmm. Dapat dua. Okay. Lumayan. Aku pemain belum belum. Kita tunggu ininya. Apa namanya? Operator. Operator. Okay. Three standing. Got what they need. As you highlighted, protecting those rifles. Now. This is when I want to start seeing T1 dictate the pace a little more. Kind of stop being told what you know, the round's going to look like. Take some matters into their own hands. Because I feel like they've been a passenger in the last, at least that last half on the second map. And now at the start here. But let's see what they come up with this time. Once can actually donning the Odin here. Yeah. That's how you survive. And a four Set play the. stack. So maybe try and fish. This man skin mode of the bank. How about this? Be long. The Odin in. That's disengaging very quickly. I should not sure if there was any sound. Munchkin just looking to commit to this span. Ah, oh, this takes a ton of damage. So 71. Uh, 
Get topped off a little bit here with the regrowth. And he starts his exploration towards CT again. They've got the site that they want. The awareness is there from T1, but uh, again, it's that same three-tiered setup here towards Dugout. No flash this time for Carpe, so it's going uh, to Dugout. Oh, gets caught here. Ban's gone down. Look. Sure oh, it's up! But it, oh, dear. Yeah, mm, well, he got that order. Unable to make anything of this, they have to back away and keep those weapons. Yeah, same thing. Muskin finds a consolation, but this deep control once again, like I said, that three layered setup towards dugout. Nidia, yeah, yeah. NRG. I want to see the adjustment from T1. Si konyo, mula ini, masa gua harus ngejuros. Take another the look at how they want to defend a site. I don't know if in this round they're just expecting the bread and butter pearl gameplay of run it down be long but munchkin uh, unless he's given you know potentially one or two kills here with the spam from the odin this round is there's always going to be yeah they're, 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 playing, they're, they're, they're playing from the back foot this i i need to see a little bit of a personality change here from t1 i, I you, you can't let nrg just have their entire game plan against you i don't know how you're meant to dissuade it now but the adjustments there, though, they've brought two additional players over towards the A-side. The flash is going to be highly telling. This is a very different look. Carpe trying to... Gas, but again, who said can I do? This one does have by his side, so NLG given a different perspective here. I'm looking a little more traditional in terms of the setup from T1. Munchkin will tuck in towards Lengba. Actually, now repositioning back towards... I saw that Karan was with si Zeta. Ato. And Ardis does still have his dash, so he'll be able to create a little bit of space here. His NRG is set towards B long. <laughs> Spam comes out. Munchkin will be noted at least here. And the weapon revealed as well. It's, it's getting more and more isolated. You can see the cutoff as well towards B link. Munchkin now eh? living on eh? borrowed time. It feels eh? like an Hey, Munchkin! Oh, go, okay. go. Bad tries to lean in a little. Aduh, one Peter ini si aku nih. Masih dari A lagi. Aku saya player. And commit towards a 5v5 retake, but uh, I'm not sure if that gets lost in the comms or or what. NRG, yeah, like I said, as soon as he's revealed, the, the, the game plan is there. Isolate him, pressure him, find the kill. <sighs> this is this this worries me, Mike. I, I want to see an early timeout from T1. I mean, keep in mind, this, this problem feels like it's kind of poured in from that second half of the second map. They've had that break, obviously, to go back after map two and kind of talk about what's coming in. There's the timeout, thankfully. I, I think this is just a big adjustment. The, these players look quiet. We've not seen much from Sire player yet. I think only one kill posted thus far. But it's not even that. It's, it's, it's approaching this game. It feels they haven't so had a say in these rounds. It's not, it's not as if they've been able to... They haven't been able to get into a position to really, you know, define the outcome at all. NRG have had absolute freedom. Uh, again, I think that's, that's symbolized by how deep they're able to take control on these A-side post plants. That, that's just something that can't happen. I hate to say it. It's... Not down to Munchkin again. As, as lagunya as iya nih, lagu-lagu buat tidur aja. Engagement, but you give it NRG. Buat belajar, buat belajar kali lagu kayak gini. And look what they do with it. Oh, uh, they, they, this is dreamy for them. They couldn't ask for a better half. I'm got to say, T1 haven't been in this game since that second half of the second map. It, it feels it's been a drought since that point. The gear that NRG have kicked into, fantastic, good to see. But I want to see a fight out of T1. I need to see a whole lot more than this. This is now getting to. So me ace. Worrying territory. If they if they don't answer back in the next three, I. Brad, 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 Brad. You know what I mean. This is. Mana ni? Aku ayolah. Yes, it's caliber of player, it's experience as well. T1 don't have that. Same sort of way. But still, I. The first two maps looked so much better. How Lotus looked was great. I want to see a bit of that here. Need to see more than this. NRG. Not gonna, you know, turn down this opportunity. You've got a weakened team against you who's not putting up that same sort of performance. Absolutely, I think with both hands. But can T1 course correct now? What more can they bring to this matchup? As NRG looks at least posture towards B long early.
It was ZDG, it was Munchkin and Saya to put up massive numbers on the defensive half. And so far, barely a squeak. Munchkin playing way ahead of his utility here. You love that. Love to see it. Udah mm. <laughs> feeling dia tuh. Udah yeah. feeling ini pasti MN yang dimajuin gua di gas kan. Trailblazer will clear the way. Flash through to mid as well from Carpe should indicate that this is fairly invested, fairly all in from NRG. Yep, Ardis comfortably going to take away the turret. You can see the site take in mind here from NRG. You have seen that flex down towards pit and further towards CT as well. This time though, T1 do have bodies on the site. We do have the additional player towards pit, that being Zeta. Little check towards Art, make sure nothing's going on. But actually, the goes could cause a problem on the cross. The side going to catch one, but he does get quickly traded. So once again, this kind of offset of timing. 30 seconds left. Not particularly dissuading NRG. Is T1 going to retake towards the site? Damn, mm. it's comfy. FNS and Artists all too prepared. Not coming down this one. Feel it. Not feeling any strain at all. It's a light investment here from T1. Maybe trying to get ahead of the curve and prevent, prevent that spike from going down. First time NRG haven't had to rely on that spike being planted. Blade Storm online now for Ardis. And closer and closer to a couple of other ultimates. T1, reckoning in hand for ban, but yeah, it's two or three away from. T1, T1, kamu kok nggak bangun lagi? Nampaknya pelnya masih buah. Nard is willing to give him it. Up with you! Trade potential, nothing to support him. Side player, I'm on an island. I mean, he's isolated so easily. I'll reflect on him, I guess. That's a free opener here for NRG. We'll be able to slow things down on the back of that first blood now. Ah, turu dah turu. Gimana kalau kita turu satu run? Nah, turu nih gua nih ya. Jangan deh. Ada berapa poin bah? Pas play T1. This is a bit of a shame to see it kind of whimper out like this so far. Zeta and Munchkin. I mean, Munchkin's on the other side of the map. Zeta's not really had a say in this one. Kalau tiga belas nol ya, gua nggak ngerti lagi lah ya. Memang udah pearlnya Ben aja Ben. Jangan dimainin. Perbaiki dulu. A really awkward crossroads. Yeah, do we commit to the engagement ahead of the site? Mm. Reckoning thrown in. There's no Enak. whatsoever on the back of it. Barely even slows NRG down because T1 don't have the numbers to flood behind that ultimate. That's what you okay. need to do with that. With that ult, it's create chaos and, and take some space back, but it doesn't happen. And T1 now trailing by six. Uh, this is going to break the hearts of T1 too. It's quite hard to watch it because it's all individual fights. It's all just dribs and drabs. <coughs> Nothing working for T1 here. And uh, yeah, I just <coughs> now the, another timeout coming for T1 because they know this is do or die now. So. Well, it's concerning because uh, Bind obviously showed that uh, they, they had a, an inability to really uh, kind of innovate on the fly, right? Come up with some responses to NRG's approach to that second half and Saving tuh sampai rungkat iya dicari terus ini kalau mereka saving Jadi dulu ada lagu-lagu kematian nih yang bikin video merah Yang menang ini dapat slot tambahan champion buat regionnya Ben dari LCQ berarti betul seperti itu Betul sekali Hadeh, iya nih. Matchnya ngantuk, kak. Tolong lah. Ini lampu belakang. Udah 2 tahun gua spill masih nanya juga. Ntar nebula proyektor.
Badan gua anget ya bangsat. Again, this is a playoff spot on the line. This is that difference. This is that jump up of capability. Ah, aneh -aneh aja. Seeing it here. And you're watching T1 crumble under that pressure. T1's response looks like it might be to switch up Munchkin once again. Body stacked up towards the A side. And I'll see though. Find a little bit of space to work with once again. I don't know why. And the backfind is coming out now through mid. It'll be at the cost of a lot of progress made down B long. I've got your trail. Look for Munchkin to get the hell out of sight here. And not fall ahead of this side. Yeah. Crashes will find him. Mati ya begitu lagi dia ya Allah kagak jadi jangkar dari si King guys guys Kingnya turu. Dibawa ke mana itu? Dibawa keluar. Get into it, but not finding a body to try and take down him. Crashy's just staying alive behind the utility. NRG unfazed so far. T1 just trying to make it look intimidating, but there's oh. no threat behind it. They're backing away. They find nothing. But at this point, yeah, they don't want to feed across the old progress. So okay. All but done. Crashy will be spotted. Yeah. Oh. And Carpe still falls. Come on, nothing's going right for him. Nothing. Nah. There's no more time outside there's no more conversations with coach. Eh bener deh kita turun satu round gimana guys semuanya. Satu round ya. Jadi kita dengar doang nih gimana? Again coming out of APAC. Yes, T1. Ini konyol banget anjing. Did very well in a couple of you know the deeper runs there looking like the team that could do. Turun satu round guys. Turun satu round. A map here and there. But then you face an NRG. You face a team who does have that deep run potential who has that caliber to their name. Depth is the word I come back to. It's there. It's Twice it. now in this in this series, across two different maps, We're seeing two very similar examples. Oh, Algie just in total control. So much freedom. Uh, you can see T1 is just so hesitant, apprehensive to push a little deeper here and try and deny this space to NRG. Pick goes down. Plant's going to come in. I love the crash. He's got a little interested there to try and go a little bit further. This time, I'm not going to open my eyes. Okay, so first real time we've seen a threat being made of any sort of round. But yeah, the Viper's bit ain't pretty when you got shorties everywhere. Garpe takes down Crash. He's soft. Are you going to get one? Here we go. Maybe there's some life in them yet. Maybe this is the... He's got another snake bite though. Oh, it reignites the fire. Oh, I'm going to open our debuts. Munchkin. Well done. Brasil. Finally. Bertam. Teori turu. Anjing. Dapat satu. Gua tu. Anjing di wall bank. Oh, ke ulti deh. Eh, ultinya ulti siapa itu? Ultinya kre apa? Fines kah? Oh iya, ultinya Fines. Anjing, teori turu bas. Lanjut turu ye, bacot. Interesting here, sire player. Gulatin, gulatin lu, si aku nih. Aku pemain. Ya. Nah, gitu dong Jadi seru dikit Nah, kan enak Dapat momentumnya nih Gak ada yang ngontrol mid anjir Pull out the pit from Zeta. Trying to secure a site here as Munchkin still got his setup, still got a lockdown to commit as well. If it all goes wrong for him, and RG probably going to try and find the space here through double doors. 
Because when or where Carpe is actually going to invest this flash. Matar baca. Anjay, si Ose ngeliat. Oke. Oke. Nah, gitu dong melawan, guys ya. Eh. Potentially need another two rounds like that to chip away at the finances of NRG. So got a couple of ultimates to work with. Quite a fair amount of investment in terms of the pit and the lockdown on these defensive rounds for T1. We'll force the time out at least. Dua ulti iya. Bah, demi dapat poin bro. Baru ingat cara main anjing. Baru ingat sudah siang harus bangun. Tiwan, Tiwan, mau sekarang eh maksudnya yang dilihatin fansnya Tiwan mulu ya? Maybe something that Chet seen and they feel like they could just at least tweak up a little bit here so they don't run into a little bit of a flat point <coughs> at all. Uh, but this is given chance, right? This is given a little bit of an opportunity to at least close the gap. Now, NLG, obviously, they're going to be on seven regardless, but it's it's what's T1 get, really. Do they do they manage to close in the gap? Does NLG kind of pick back up where they left off? Nice Korea kan dekat Jepun, benar sih, nggak salah. Dan maksud gua kan pasti ada orang-orang Jepang yang ngefans sama NRG. Nah, PU aja udah ada nih, Bang. Halo. Halo Bang Ben, halo. Ria. Dapat lagi. Ya, makasih. Jadi gini tujuh bulannya. Ayo aku. AWP aku. Kalau si Kangkang kayak kena dah guys. This will be healed up. G will pause behind this. Trailblazer won't find anything. An unorthodox wall here from T1 to try and deny some of this space behind Pillar. But side player is getting curious once again. Oh no, that's so many players on the other side of this. Adu, 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 adu. Sahur, dengan itu hadu. Tiga ribet sahur. Oi, ban, juga ban. Oh, you saw it, you saw him. Okay, ace, ace, ban. Lo ban. Gak jadi ace. Nice, nice, nice. At this point, you'll take the round. This is all for NLG. Hampir ace ban ya. On Sire being spotted, like you said, the ping comes through. So. It's three people spamming towards that position. Well, the difference being here, finally, this three-man hold towards B-side actually pays off T1. Previously, it's Munchkin isolated, punished time and time again. Wah, OP lagi, berangkat, OP lagi. Utility of NRG. Three on the board. It's huge, it's given them... It's a small chance, but it is a chance. We we're talking about the finances as well. Actually, only another round away from removing this massive advantage oh. NRG had. But look at NRG exploiting these adjustments. The kind of you're bringing that third man towards A early, uh, B early on. Well, sure. Where are you right going to take him from? Middle. Cool. We'll take that. They have literally just taken over the middle of the map, so any rotation is going to feel horrific. So if maybe they pressure on that A extremity. They do this, it's going to cost them so much. The read is perfect. The T1 will now. Shift the reliance onto that three-man stack on B. Okay. Find the space, but let's just convert to a plant. Munchkin getting close. <sighs> well, Delta's a terrible hand. Oh, it's all too ready for it. Crash is starting to take towards the side. Now you may note it as well, Zeta is still here towards pit. 
You know, Fan as well, playing towards Secret. Locked down, Invested too. We up a lot of time here. And then RG taking the space elsewhere. Sire's got to be careful. Fan's found the kill onto Victor. Hmm. Okay, aku, aku, satu, aku, aku, aku. 4v3, make it a 4v2. Ban is activating. As crashes in FNS. Oh, short now. Short last. It just crashes. I don't think he's got the time on this one, but he's doing the best he can. That's only towards halfway. Still an opportunity. Okay, nice. 75, 75 lah, biar ngelawan. T1 are back in the game. The plan comes soon, so I think NRG's purchase will be protected here. Won't be any gaps in utility. Somehow, some way. Buncakin. There's a chance we close out this half at 7-5. Like I said, a couple of these, I don't want to say 50-50s or coin flips, now going in favor of T1, which was completely absent. Nah, ini dia tercumbek, anjing masa energi ke comeback mulu ya. Berapa kali ya energi kena comeback? Starting to come online here. Sitting anti-flash with the operator with side player. Saya? Oh, gitu dah ngeplik dulu tipis ya kan? Gas, gas, gas. Oke, berisik. Ron, Byron. Senang. Munchkin's utility is going to be there to spot things out. Hi, saya tengah ya tu. Si aku. Well, there is a ping actually. A ping comes through on the mini map. Okay, definitely noted something. Hi, hi, kena di lebih nice, oh. Backhanded down to twenty-three. He catches the headshot through the wall here as NRG try and find this rotation. It's drawn all of T1 over already. Gonna leave Sire to anchor with that operator. Hmm. Keluar si kocak. The cavalry had arrived. Right, the spoils here and ban. The man of the hour who started to come alive. Okay. Berangkat. Jangan aneh aneh. Pantek. Pantek. Nah, mantap. Tujuh lima guys. Oke kita coba teori turu pistoron apa jangan? Aduh gue takut aja. Terserah lo orang dah. Aja tadi teori turu sih gila ya tiba-tiba berhasil dapat satu poin. Jangan. Turu. Jangan. Jangan. Oke jangan. Lagi wangi ya. Lagi dapat momentumnya. Ntar kalau udah tiba-tiba wow baru gue turu. Close game now, and two streaks of rounds. Who knows what the mental's gonna be like for these two teams? Well, I do know the desk is waiting down. Thank you so much for that. And Kakuka, it was very obvious that one of the things that we were missing at the start of this was obviously the guns from from T1. They weren't finding the shots. They weren't finding what they needed. Lebih OP daripada ngejing sih ni. We were getting ready to probably the first third goal here after old how close every single matchup has been. And then the rabutan lu cepat dikuncir lu gitu. They just appeared again. We of course have to highlight the first rounds from NRG just playing the basics of this comp. I don't think that they were. Jangan Ben Pamali, lah kan udah nggak punya bapa gua. They were just very consistent and very confident on their steps. It was very fundamental from NRG just going for a lot of these straight up setting six. They were finding some good gaps in these late rounds. Di map ini yang nanti ke kabek iya. Mau nanya si Natra main di mana sekarang di Twitch? Ah, ah, ah. Biar T1 yang ke playoff duluan, amin, apak, on top Oke 
hill to climb on this second half is not going to be easy, but already having the mental resilience uh, to come back from a long I mean. seven says a lot about this squad. It's impressive thus far, but team, uh, T1 need to sure up an issue they had last map, which was their post funds. They generally struggle with that yep. here on Pearl as well, and one of Energy's strengths with this composition is flooding back in with the hard wall up. Their protocols on it are excellent. T1 needs to keep this momentum. Yeah, we know the pieces are there, but can they put it together to close it out, or will it be NRG's day? We're going to find Don't out in this moment. Back over to Pansy and Hypox. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, five in a row for T1, bringing this game back to touching distance because I thought this was going to be a blowout, Mike. I thought this one was wraps. The mental looked absolutely shattered as T1 were unable to make any semblance of damage and a flip was switched. I don't know how they did it, but they certainly did. Yes! And the concern being raised, he was struggling the other day versus EDT, I think they managed three first blood in the attack. They were constantly playing from a deficit. Aku. Oke, aku. Per skill. Oke. Ini dia. Trot lagi. Oh, mati lu Ardis. Eh, cek dulu kiri ya, Bang. Aduh, untung aja. Hampir blunder adik adik ya. <laughs> Di sisi kena kalau kata si Paci. Nah, kan enak nih seru nontonnya ya kan. Lawan lawan lawan. Tadi kayak. Where is Sepa? Sedih bocil kalau ten. Momentum name of the game. Eh, ini kapan main bulan depan? Can they try and find some real confidence off around like this? Just eco cobra it out. Gonna hear that Marshall rattle off a couple of shots. Yang kalah pulang lower dong. Eco cobra frag sire. A very rough first half. Mereka stuck empat B aja. Up. Beri cash, api dera beben. Si aku main gini memang si aku nih. Buset lama bener ini masuknya bang. Wuh, anjing, hoki bat. Buset, kelo. Wuh, Ardis juga hoki. Uh, nice. Anjing, anjing hampir kalah. Princess auto masuk champion ga? Kan emang champion buat yang princess doang. What are the slab ads do with the? You know, I'm. He deserves it. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah. We didn't give enough love in the end. He pos. Could have fixed maybe some better ones. You're not her mother judge. T1 will throw a couple of stingers back in here. Try and protect. Harusnya T pos diganti jadi gini ya. Good progress already, actually. The ban towards the reckoning. Yeah, FFA. Yang percaya percaya saja. Anyone looking to continue the trend here? Be long pressure early on. I'm telling you, Allah, talk bad. They look like they're committed behind us too, yeah. Where they go? Let's see how side player gets on. Aduh, apa sini? Slip through towards CT. Apparently, dips back in though. Has a second glance and now he falls. Tony Munchkin. No bonus, I guess. So far as ban. Take down his own teammate if he could. The three v four though. Oh, scar. Jangan, jangan lagi. Aduh. Beautiful. Victor. Dapetin satu lagi, please. Economical damage. Ah, entek. Eh, uru ia tipus. Full left standing as well. Obviously, we know T1 protected the purchase here. Boom qualified ke mana? Ke Ascension. Ke Bangkok, nanti. 
Yang menang Ascension masuk Liga Franchise di tahun depan. Ini nih kirim pialanya sekarang coy. Qualified, qualified nih. Buset, di spray terus. Enggak ada yang kena BTW. Gas ulti. Terus Pes baru gak akan kayak gitu Gak akan Gak akan kebanyakan nge spam Kalau pes baru anjir Lurunya udah dikit Lagi with an alarm bot here There's a chance he's still Ya degradasi dari Svante siapa? Enggak, enggak, enggak. Kalau untuk sekarang belum degradasi, baru nambah aja. Oke, masih gue liatin lo ya. Belum pakai patch baru, emangnya belum dong masih yang semarin. Baru belum, 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 belum saat ya guys, belum saat ya. I said the timing and the investment, or the reinvestment, I should say, when some actually gets closer towards B site, it denies the plant. Even then, the trailblazer clears inside the cove. There's lots of information gathered by NRG that allows them to play that. Where is it? Anjir, line upnya coy, coy, line upnya coy. Whoa! What a beautiful snake bite from Finesse, by the way. Lands perfectly here at the choke point and allows NRG to find these kills. Okay, I'm out. We'll find a response, but 2v3, and Spike firmly in control of NRG. Here. Does fall a great deal towards Munchkin's capability to do something with this. That flash is going to really sell out Zeta. It looks like Munchkin's going to try and join him potentially. So many bodies on the other side of this, though. Far better equipped. I get, look, I get. That is some oh. Satu run lagi adik adik ya. Jika lau, memang ini, ya. Eh tapi kalau habis ini kalah, dia miskin guys. Apa sekarang aja? Sekarang deh. Sekarang sekarang guys. Mumpung Byron. Eh semuanya tidur adik adik. Ah, enaknya tuh. 
Forced out. 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 Finesse is close by. There's a support system. Carpe there to defend Sire player. And now Crash is trying to find one towards what? What is that? Nasty with it there. Finding both okay, players. Okay, aku mendengar Ben. Nasty. Apa tu? So much to do, and he ain't gonna be able to do it. T1 make it through the round. Four alive. Closing back in on this gap. Again, Kira. Yeah, dua ya. Udah dua kali ya. Gives him a chance to. Bener ya. Real. Teori turu. Turu. Anjing. Tadi Ben ngapain? Buset! The bailout Sire player there after being detained. Back within touching distance here. Two rounds. Simpen buat Ben bukan buat apa tu? Simpen bakal PRE. Don't underwhelm me, Arles. I've missed watching your games. Let's see what you got here. Thirteen to ten. Make it fourteen. Then it goes as does Arnis. Dips away, doesn't want to outstay his welcome. The rest of T1 side to pressure towards the side a little more, trying to work around that old. Oh, this not fully falling away from this just yet. Forced to respect a little, but not a lot. Shorty on the other side. Sight now being taken. Victor could be isolated, can't be helped out here. Walls in the way. Car pays the one to get him. Back down to a 4v4 now. Come back through. Crash does have the Seekers, a flash available as well. Seek them out. Invested here. Do you want to get back on site as quickly as possible? With Found one! Space. No, it doesn't. doesn't give the full picture here. Oh, this one. Oh, so oh, 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 aku! Oh, aku player! Aku pemain! Aku pemain! Oh, lagi buta dapat pala, bro! Bercit, gitu ya? Beautiful stuff. And immediately, NRG gonna... Call a timeout on the back of this. Yeah, lost the ass, look at this. Nice surprise, we see another one in the feed. Jeez, see ass, look at this. Big round from Sire. Double like Samuel, yeah, right? Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Starting to find this one. Yeah, Samuel, this is the one like it, no? So talk about it, guys. The man's leading by a country mile. The guy's on 21 to 9. Huge influence. Disgusting. Yeah, mental pasti naik lah. Mental naik kalau. Berhati hati kepada sah, nih kan? Is this when he starts finding that hot hand here as well? Because those two with the one-two punch, right? They look good in the last game. They need a lot of that to come through here. It was noted. It was actually sided. Obviously, we're talking about the the first blood versus EDG. Constantly, T1 were having to play from behind, conceding a first blood and having to equalize. Actually, in mid round, yeah, man, it begins to re on the mid round trade. We were talking about versus EDG, their inability to force. Apaan lagi lu skeleton? You know the lack of focus around utility in the early round. Yes, it's stylistically a very different game here from NRG, but T1 now showing. They have that in their wheelhouse. The ability to do it once again. Kapan ke rumah? Wah, belum tahu, men. Masih sibuk was party ni. Wimper into map three. I'll take this. Even if T1 lose from now on out, I don't care. They've had a little bit of something. Padat parah ni. Padat parah ni. NRG forced into that timeout. Clearly feeling that stress. Masuk berdiri martabak. What the fuck? They didn't have all the answers. But now it starts with that control. Over towards A. Pull gawe dulu, ling. Mulanya pull gawe. Takut gak bisa bayar kuliah ada gua. Seemingly no awareness on either side. Pas baru di tempat V, aduh nggak enak ah mau dia. Mampus, mampus. He doubles down on it, Munchkin is out of his mind. Catching crashes is everything. You'd almost cut your losses at Artis, but the find on the second is unforgivable. Semoga kejauhan tu ngedes ya, kocak. Terus gue pelihat live chat ya guys. Ardis what the fuck, gege lo mau enak. Ah, 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 ah. And now down to Victor and Som. Good luck. Som's obviously very disconnected from this. Is he leaning towards saving that operator? And Victor go clutch once again for an RG. No, ah, 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 ah. Claimed it. Some probably heading back towards picking that operator up. There it is. Get it and go. This is going to be ten apiece. We've got a game on our hands. I didn't think. Munchkin, man. 
The what first, an opener. The first, I'm like, cool, yeah, that's kind of sick track, and he caught Ardis, you know, is he you know, updrafting and trying to get out of there? The second? Yeah, because I think Ardis uh, maybe caught off guard, whiffs the shot, but then also whiffs the cloud burst. It goes way off to the wall. Yeah. It doesn't give him any safety to dash into, which is why he's forced into the updraft as well. A little bit flustered there on the retreat. I want to see that from Munchkin's group. Terus lagi, lah, kan lagi menang ya? Player cam. Yeah. Yeah, mulai like nge-wipe semua. Oh, look at that. Maybe try and pressure this operator. Ban on the other side of things. Ada si Ben, ada si Ben. Left to try and find it. Again, they've got the funds to support this. We'll find the first. Okay. Down, that's prize possession lost there. Oh, did they get it? Did they get it? LG. Udah gini gini. Pinch. I mean, T1 sound like 7.7k on side yeah. play. He's he's loving Asik. it. Asik, taunting, taunting, bang. Even here, somebody throw carpet a couple of pennies. Sound of 1k, but beautiful stuff. What an opener. That's massive. Yeah, the state state of the economy for NRG. You can see why they desperately wanted that operator, Mike. They're left with nothing. <coughs> Stacked up here towards Pillar. No resistance early on here from NRG. Hey, Bob, Crash is going to have some utility sent his way. A lot of players here. <coughs> it's on. Ah! It's on. What the One fuck? Second. Something to do it. Gonna need a lot more, though. Down on 5 HP here. Forcing the hand a little. T1 not having the easiest of times. Do you have the reckoning to pressure this? Uh, uh, AC. Out to fire. ASA. Freshies has fallen, so no heal available. Munchkin could get caught off it. This is so dangerous. Oh, Munchkin, come on. Aduh, aduh, aduh. Munchkin's gone. It's basically on Zeta here. The only one sitting for the team. Dua! 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 Mantap! Oh my god! Zeta, ya, ya, Zeta! Dapat S Zeta, ya, ya, ya. NRG try it again. They're so good at flooding these Vipers pits. Buset, udah ngebut parah itu tangannya. Zeta pulls out an ace to secure this one. To find T1, they're 11th. And credit to NRG for even being that threatening. Their buy this round was garbage. It was Guardians, Frenzies, Odds and Ends. But the pressure was on for Zeta. It was only the two of them left standing. His teammate was down Gila. at nothing that final one. Oh, langsung pada game semua. Tere, tere. Tere, tere, tere. This time around, Syak going to try and face off against it. With an op of his own. Pelan-pelan, Tasu. Oh, lah. Aduh, oh, itu kondenya si Jet. Aduh. Exposed. Kelihatan, bah. Well, this is quite good at this game. Os di atas, os di atas, os, man. Try and pick up the mantle. That's a tag towards Carpe. Two down to 52. Next angle adopted. Oh, yeah. Goodness, you barely see him. him. You barely oh, see him. Jump. He's just a phantom out here. There's another guy. Wah. Okay, guys. Basically, Nampaknya to habis this ini. Just on the back of him. There's what else are you meant to do? Hmm. Tapi udah kepake dua kali nih. Takutnya yang ketiga tidak efektif adik-adik ya. Karena saya merasakan nih di lubuk hati, wah oh, dua maksimal ini. Kalau ketiga bisa berdarah ini mata. Udah kayak saringan satu, kayak ngentar. I think he's there. Yes. Um, <coughs> well, the round has gone from possible to less than. One mic was in hand, and FNS is there. Mm. Yeah, lovely. Start to end there, though. That started with Ardis. And in some fine fashion, even you were surprised at that pixel that he had spotted there. I think we've got a replay of this, too. Let's have a little look at this one. Aduh, itu dah tuh, guys. Come on. <laughs> the adjustment is beautiful. I said here, Ban. Good Didn't even it. see him. Yep. Didn't even see him. Eleven, eleven. So T one comfortable with the purchase here, but hmm. not 
Well, yeah, not massive stacks behind this, though. No gaps in Util. Bladestorm available, but it's the only ultimate on the board here. They try and test Ardis again, though. He will be seen. He's respecting it enough to fall away a little deeper to that next angle. One that called Ban off guard. Even further back from that now. Kita lihat di sini saya player si cupu dari Korea, ya. Eh? Mencoba ngedes in, nampaknya saking cupunya darahnya perlu dihil dulu. Ah, si cupu saya tak lihat tuh. Ngapain coba? Ngekill yang gampang begitu. Ha, gua juga bisa, Bang. Ini lagi mau dua. Ah, satu aja udah. Temen lu satu ya. <laughs> Aduh, iya iya Jeta, iya cupu. Cupu sini temen lu juga cepu parah ini yang kata yakin. Total faith in his teammate there. Finesse sticking the defuse. A T1 unable to make the right decision in such a high pressure situation. I, I even like the idea, but it's just like they couldn't get that fight. Cupunya beneran kali. He knew that he was the target. Yeah. He knew that that was where wanted to be. Once the punch comes in, once they felt that pressure, they had to fight back somewhere. And Victor's just playing, you know, playing so perfectly in that. Wah, krisis berdiri. Udah dah, udah ngeri dah kalau krisis berdiri, guys. Woi, bergerak ke Said ah. Lindungi aku. Awasi belakang, cenah, guys ya. Game force down now with two bulldogs in the inventory. Brosai granat. This Munchkin's lockdown is the next objective here. If they can secure all control here, MLG switches the game. Can OT or closing? I don't believe what I'm seeing. The timing on Winter's back. Bergerak ke sana itu. Hands up and look back here. He's just looked away. He's no idea they slipped through. Oh, oh, musuh terdeteksi. Oh, awasi belakang. Ya Allah. Nembak naon ya tak? They're not out of it yet though. There's still a chance, but that could have been everything. Munchkin does get the lockdown off this, but again with no progress. Zeta has been sat at the top of B long here. Sire a little bit disconnected, and the defensive lockdown comes through. Thirty seconds left on the clock. Wifi kurang ni timingnya. Apart from coming through and counter lockdown invested, maybe catch the backside of this. Okay. Sire finds crashes. Still doable here. Let's give them a chance here. Lockdown just gonna tick through now. The next couple of seconds. Can they get the plant safely? Looks like Victor wants to try and deny. Munchkin, he's got it down. Ah, come on! Three v three. Art is still standing. Ah, come on! What? What? Kena lagi. He delivers. Oh, he's gonna defuse. 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 Oh, he's Zeta's so still desperately trying to pressure this. NRG now standing in numbers. Another tap on the spike. Som takes down Zeta. It's all a bunch of... Oh, GG, guys. Closing the red back, guys. Yeah, memang harus ke lower. Gila, NRG hampir ke comeback. Nice try, T1. Nah. Ente, ente. Talking about an operator in the hands of Kang Kang causing problems with T1. Last time, Ardis repeating that same trick. Ah, jeez, bro, he's gonna But take your hands off to T1. They claw their way back into this map. Narji, Narji. But they just can't close it. Atau si Victor udah deg-degan itu. Forced to bring out an incredible game here. T1 waking up late, but my God, did they wake up. A drought of rounds at the start, but then ending up at 11 to 13. Hey, bear in mind, it was 7-0 at one point. Yep. It was like a lifetime ago. Oh, this is Sire player though. Rungkat lagi, enak. Final map yet. And NRG close out another two-one to book their ticket to the playoffs. Blood is drawn, yes, but they seal the objective.
Yeah, getting pushed here today, but man, stepping up to the challenge. Some real heat around foto, foto here up. as well. Some key moments there. I mean, same as the si Chamat Poto. Tiruna, that third place team coming into this. They have over delivered to many people's expectations, and they're obviously not out of it yet. So, what a great performance from them to bring us this caliber of game like this. I am thoroughly impressed with them. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of concerns, sure, uh, I guess, in terms of the depth, but uh, again, you take it with a pinch of salt in terms of the international ASE, ASE, experience that this roster has. Lah, again, Ah, kita coba buka beta sekarang. Gue pengen tahu lagi berapa menit ya jedanya. Oke. Okay. Hey, iyalah gue lupa anjing. Oh, sorry bro, lupa bro. Kita kita deathmatch deathmatch dulu apa grinding guys? Gue pengen grinding ini dah. Albino anjing. Tapi pengen manasin ai, manasin ai mah. DM ini gue pengen manasin tangan. Ricis enak nih eh bagilah Mamer, udah lama gue makan Ricis. Yang itu masih ada enggak sih? Flying chicken, flying chicken. Eh apa sih namanya? Pokoknya bukan bukan yang fire chicken, yang bubuk gitu pedesnya. Apa namanya? Flying chicken ya? Enak tuh. Kursor mos gua mana ya oh ini? Ada oh masih ada. Ada menu baru nggak dia? Eh terakhir Korean. Eh apa sih? Itu mah KFC ya Korean spicy ya? Hungry cheese box apa tuh? Hungry cheese box. <coughs> pagi Ben, pagi bro. Alhamdulillah berbaik amin. Aduh, angin gua keluar nih. Gue yang flying satu ekor bisa habis sendiri, gila lu. BTW satu ekor berapa duit sih? <tuh> Jadi nangor host, wah itu make di tier 2 mantap. 120-an. Oh, nggak terlalu mahal ya. Uset dah putih bener, Bang. Bang. Woi. Gue lagi pakai skin apa kemarin dah? Araxis. Oke. Okay. A dead smet dulu, dead smet. Barusan gua makan lah. Jadi pen hawk band. Padahal ngomongin ricis, jadi pen hawk band. Sangat nyambung ya. Match found. Ion ijo entah. Gua pengen bisa pakai araxis terus gitu. Kalau ion ijo mah terlalu ez. Araxis gua kadang dapat, kadang kagak. <tuh> Pak nanti malam nugi live gak? Wah, gua kurang tahu ya. Terus tahu gua dia baru sampai kan kemarin malam. Terus dia juga kan harusnya lagi ngurusin rumahnya ya. Udah mau pindahan kan bentar lagi harusnya tuh. Kemarin dapat Araxis di store langsung beli. Araxis enak buat burst. Hah? Apa kodoknya hilang, Rian? Gue nonton lu buat belajar main Ben nge-stack gold. Wah. Kebetulan gue juga lagi stack sih sebenarnya ya. Nih gue nggak tahu nih bakal apa namanya. 
bakal try hard lagi kapan nih sekarang lagi nyantai sih belum try hard habis pindahan paling baru lab emang dia ngomong gitu waktu itu gua nggak tahu sih Araxis gak ada di naik market oh iya kenapa nggak ada di naik market Ben, oh ya apa? Anjay, banner ini nih, League Agent baru Perkiraan map 1 siapa menang? Kayaknya sih FUT ya Cuman kalau memang AS Eddy dijuluki W Gamingnya China sih bisa-bisa aja Mentok yang 1775, Araxis masuknya eksklusif Oh, tapi, tapi Si Araxis masih muncul di shop kan? Pakai crosshair ini ya Ya nggak ada tangannya anjing, melayang. Rambit river aja nggak masuk. Oh iya. Aduh. Gue nggak tahu soalnya yang masuk apa. Jarang gue beli naik market soalnya. Gue pertama kali beli naik market itu cuman pistol gaya, gos, gos gaya. Aduh banyak banget kontol Ya Allah Buset Ya, gue ada maksimal harganya yang masuk ke naik market itu cuma oh begitu. Kencang amat gue ngebanting ntar ya. Patah bah palo gua Saya berapa hari lagi nggak tahu gua. Lah, budak amat orang. Original. dari Begudul. Pesan, Ben rekomen keyboard mechanical budget 300 ribu 500 apaan jelasin detail work. <tuh> jelasin detail work. Kalau gua nih ya, ini gua sepengalaman doang. Gua pakai keyboard eh, apa mekanik yang di bawah 500 itu. 
yang paling enak menurut gua cuman DA. Sebenarnya enak, enak atau enggak sih tergantung lo orang. Cuman yang gua yang gua rasain kalau misalnya pakai DA gaming itu uh, dia awet aja. Bahkan waktu itu keyboard gua tinggal di warnet awet anjir. Walaupun yang makainya kan beda-beda orang tuh, kadang-kadang dipakai teman gua lah, tapi nggak dipakai orang random. Dipakai sama yang kenal kenal doang. Menurut gua sih DA ya, cuman nggak tahu kalau merek-merek sekarang gua udah nggak terlalu tahu guys. Karena sekarang keyboard saya sudah custom, hahaha. <laughs> Begitu ya, bang siapa tadi namanya? Terima kasih dah gaming sudah memperoleh streaming ini. Ini mah TBH review, to be honest review guys. Cuman kalau misalnya emang mau mah, ini ada di deskripsi. Ada di about juga. Pan sih, si diki diki ini tuh terang bener nembak. Allah akbar gue yang dibunuh. Ada keyboard 300 mega plus wireless Red Dragon 60% tuh. Bah adik-adik di sini juga pada gamer semua kan. Nah, bisa ditanya juga ya ke live chat Bang siapa namanya? Begudul, Bedugul. Ya itulah. Ini baru match highlight, kita sudah memasuki menit ke-11. Ini sih feeling gua feeling gua 30 40 menit ya ini ya. Feeling gua 30 sampai 40 menit. Eh, si Kapa anjir pakai ID. Eh ID apa namanya? Semur. Eh main ini ah main Swift Play kan ya? Iseng. Headset Seno apaan? Seno pakai earbuds HyperX Match found <coughs> Wah Icebox bro Hmm, kenapa sih ya? Teroris install lock reja lah Orang main swift play doang gak? Buset dah Reina Yoru Raje Biasanya siapa yang main FUT lawan ASE? Pagi pagi. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm hungry. Anyone hungry? Lunch on Brimstone after this. Ada sementara yang pihak ya.
Sí, sí. Attacker spawn. On belt. One enemy remaining. Oh, ada jadi soal no. Kan lagi ni Al Nasser ngintip. Ini langsung offline ni. What the fuck, bis Al Nasser? Okay, Sky. Get us to a good position, then I'll knock it down. Mereka tak ada Xbox, enggak ini Swift Play Sakit aja Ini healing Spike down Attacker spawn Fire in the hole Take it out Spike in attacker spawn Yikes One enemy remaining My ult's ready Ah, mampus lu anjing. Kebe ni kebe. Ini Andre Tret. Swift play sayang Udah ngomong tiga kali nih ya Ya bibi Ini Swift ya Jik. Lu di Discord. Jik, suara gua ada enggak? Swift play lah. Apa? Baru juga beres. Oh iya, tadi tiga map ya. Tiga map, Bro. Who's next? Mas ini jik, sih play. Aduh, sih play kuring. Mas kedua apa sih? Mas kedua ini ASE ama footballis. Aduh, kuring. Tidak kuring sih kalau kata gue mas. Dua mas dua hari ini ya, bagaimana? Tiga. Navi EDG terakhir, seru. Aduh, terakhir itu ya. Yo, ibro. Jadi ya, main course nya tu terakhir. 
Ih, hampir menang dari tuan anjing anjing Sarapan mas Sarapan Low 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 mati di heal Anjing. Guys, look in this replay. Guys, guys. Kurang lagi kerana Swift play mending dead man. Kurang kan? Iya. Oh ni masih interview ni ASE. Anak emas ni lagi di ini lagi di interview. Ini mirip takel kata ni. You know what? Look, I have been in esports for 15 years. Di palaran gede. Apa? Tarik maksudnya Tarik Itu BG-BG-an Palo bah Berarti di di Paloran sedang berarti bang Paloran sedang iya Paloran gede tarik ya Laper lagi bro Bukan apa bro Kari cheese yang satu ekor sih kayaknya enak Yang kering gitu modelnya ya itu di apa peritis ya kayak bubuk gitu jik bumbunya tapi enak eh spray gue jelek ini jati nangur buka tapi nasi nasiannya nangis lebel semua misal saya minuman lu nggak bikin nasi di rumah Kalau enggak yang paket biasanya nasinya unavailable tapi di paket ada. Enggak ada semua ini, minuman doang aja. Oh iya. Biasanya yang orang lain coba. Tulisannya sih oh I demand now, longer waiting time. Oh, masih dimasak. Lagi ini kali ya, mereka mesen kayak di enggak bisa mesen dulu kali. Iya. Lagi di stop dulu stop. Anjing, ngebut banget chamber. Let's 
Gak akan keluar di naik market katanya Raksis mah Kenapa emang ya? Soalnya ini apa skin eksklusif gitu Jadi keluarnya di shop aja Di shop keluar Terus ada maksimal harganya juga Mana sih aja Terus dia keluar ya Jongkok gua babi Aduh kurang kiri Set. Waduh. Eh. Tegelat kanan gua. Pet FUT all gas. Aduh anjing bisa begitu deh Ih gak pala loh Eh nyangkut Anjing Kelas Bang Breben Klik kanan bro, meta klik kanan Oh 
Oh, kena kan? Ya, kabur deh. Aduh, anjing ngepres lagi gua. Itu ngekernya hold ya, di hold. Jadi langsung gitu tuh. Uh. Eh, anjing di kanan gua ada. Enggak hmm, pala ya. Gua jadi ketinggalan, guys. Mana musuhnya, Cok? Enggak ketemu-temu. Allah, ada dua ih, neonnya cacat banget. Umpet. Kalah mulu gua sama Cyper Ya Allah pakai OP dia Nah gitu dong 420 standar lah. Aim botnya keluar kalau di DM ya, kalau di in game mah enggak bang. Ya Allah asendan asendan. Terakhir sama oh sama magic ini ya, yang di mana? Di heaven ya. Tetet sabar. Pivot, FUT, we need to see a new strategy Coba kita lihat ini udah berapa lama 32 ya 10 menit lagi lah ini 10, 10 sampai 15 menit lagi mulai ini guys Coba kalau kita lihat di VLR jam berapa Tapi biasanya tepat nih kalau udah kayak gini 4 menit lagi itu 150 ya Ya sama entren sama pilih map 10 menit pas lah ini. 10 menit pas harusnya. Nih, ini udah hilang semua nih. Ya. Eh. Pemainnya udah udah beres, ini udah tinggal walk in ini. Teman gue siapa yang lap guys? Jam segini. Wah di kucing ROO cok. LFO LFO. Wah. Morea lagi live jik LFO LFO jik Looking for Orkan guys ya LFO ya Lu dukung mana? Uh, FUT sih Gue lagi pengen kukis end cream jahanam banget Ngerusak koil lama kapas Kukis end cream yang mana? Dark cookies, wow, gua nggak tahu dah. Gua sih pakainya yang Royal Cookies yang punyanya di Landros. Heaven ya, map satu ya. Ascent, side on ascent. Defense. Okay, so we're gonna go to the 
Our next set of bands, starting with FET, you have Bind, Lotus, and Split. Bind, Bind, Bind. Bind, okay. You have Lotus. Lotus. Oh, Lotus, Split. Okay, so map number three is going to be Lotus. Um, side on Lotus. Attack. Okay, I'm going to run through this really fast. Okay, so the uh, first set of bands are Fracture and Pearl. FUT chose Haven with Attack and Soul and Defense. Map number two is Ascent with FUT on Defense. Next set of bands are Bind and Split. Yeah, silakan di B, Adi Adi. Good luck, Tibo. Yep. Aduh, B apa nih, Ben? Uh, terserah kamu sih. Cuman ini si AC nih katanya W gamingnya China ini jadi. W gamingnya China ini, kayak peperek gitu ya. Gue bet semua lah, 800 ribu. Gak bisa bang, 100 ribu. All gue, all. Kalau all masuknya 100 ribu juga ntar. Tuh, 100 ribu kan. Bah, gua predik di sini juga 1,5 juta sayang juga nih. Eh uh, FUT eh, AC. Di CapCut cap bisa record suara doang sih, Bin? Enggak tahu gua. Boleh buat nge-record audio doang pakai apa, Nek? Dipakai voice recorder pakai OBS juga bisa. Ah, pakai OBS. OBS terus nanti lu ganti dari apa namanya lu edit suaranya doang videonya lu hapus kalau kalau OBS kan lu udah settingan filter suara kan udah enak tuh suara lu kalau di OBS kalau misalnya lu pakai voice recorder yang di Windows pasti ada noise nya oh record terus jadi mp3 gitu ya apa? dijadiin mp3 ga sih? Iya. Iya kan? Heeh. Gua biasanya record terus uh, apa namanya? Masukin ke Vegas, videonya hapus, audionya doang, render jadi MP3. Buat itu ya gawean lu ya. Kalau kata gua mah, kalau kata gua mah record uh, apa voice iPhone juga udah cukup anjir. Iya udah bagus sudah jernih. Orang dulu gua uh, apa namanya bikin film pendek jik. Micnya mic iPhone. iPhone. Ish. Terus ini lagunya bikin copyright nih babi lah. Lagu-lagu PCT gua kemarin merah aja jik. Agent B kali adik Wow pakai Gecko Gecko on heaven Wow Gecko Heaven masih bagus sih Gue sering lihat yang dia ngeflashin ke A ke atas swing Balik lagi diambil Sebelum FUT siapa lagi yang pakai ini ya Eh sebelum selain FUT yang pakai Gecko di Heaven Kalau si FUT kan emang emang pakai Gecko kan di Heaven nya Selain FUT gitu siapa <tuh> Eh iya lupa bro Tuh lu orang gak ngingetin tuh liat Like udah 500 Nih gua kasih Bansos Aji Tuh 40 menit kan tuh, Sampai mulai guys Terima kasih Kak Bebin sahabat bansosnya ya, sama-sama.
Aduh, lagunya, bro. Value there. It will be interesting and a ton of fun to watch. Okay, berangkat, berangkat, guys, berangkat, guys. Here we go. Elimination on the line. Elimination on the mind. Si hip me, si hip me ini. Still not qualified for champions. The battle for EMA, like Kuku was mentioning, is on the next two matches. Wah! Langsung setengah darah, Mister Palin. It's a group stage exit for Foot. Or whether they move on and stay in contention for that slot. Meanwhile, China looking for their very first win on a global stage. Already the wingman sent in. And there's no re-clear. Just something that you have to be looking out for. Udah close ya. Apa? Studying this haven. Is looking for the information about where that wingman went. Are they going to pick it back up? Are they going to follow up with an execute off of it? There's a timing window here for foot. Membantai, there is, and it's just life here on the site. Kita lihat siapa yang akan terkena jet deep apa Kiwi? Buta dong lu. Yeah, kena lu sama si Hipmi. HFMI Great shock dart by HFMI Eh! Eh! Satu lagi co! Wah! Kocak! Untung ah! Let's go! AC! Gue bet AC 50 ribu Hahaha Ini Shen juga Not even putting any util in to help life in that situation Is able to use it For the hit Masih ada yang ngebet ya Udah jalan juga matchnya Ada captain with two from that angle. Luckily for them, he was blind long enough for them to get other kills while they flooded out. Right. If it wasn't for that. Mau siapa nih gendut gitu pantatnya? Different story. It's incredibly important for Foot to start off fast. They did not have that going for them. Ata kapan? It's been a theme for them all season long since they actually made it to this tier one stage back at Lockin. If they don't start off strong. It's really difficult for them to mentally get back into the game. They're wanting to go fast here, and Monk is just inside the smoke. Please, jet the nabrak, please. With the stinger, waiting for the challenge. Gun barrels, the first. Oh, how does he get to there? Enak tu stinger. Wuih, dapat loh yang ujungnya cok. Two ridiculous kills. I mean, he should have gotten one for sure, but the spray looked to me out of control in Monk's hands. Really interesting idea there for Foot too. They just threw that smoke like they're gonna pop out of it, but they stopped outside of it because they knew that ASC was gonna dive their way in Monk specifically. Sabat nem nem nickname nya ase ya. Si hit me. I think they were waiting for it to fall before they went, but they still weren't prepared for that. He should have died without even one there. If that is executed properly, either way. Also, love the Aries buy from Ishan. It does allow him to follow up on this bonus in some interesting ways. He already spammed down Garage. Didn't break the turret though. You can get that broken just by spamming. And they've seen it there already, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Smoked off this time though. At least for now. And that's going to force them to put bodies in the space that the turret should be watching. You saw Monk just step into window. Oh, that's a second smoke already used for Mr. Fallen. He used one on Long at the beginning and then the second one on Garage, which was the Ade one dari negara mana? Dari jati negara, Ade. A long time for them to be able to hit. They hit without smokes. That could be dire. Depending on if they smoke heaven, if they smoke spawn, they've got to wait another 20 seconds at least for the second one to come back up. Sure. Plenty of execute tools still though. Ada darmawan kan? But it seems like they're gonna want to wait for now. Di negara bang. It's really shallow though. The one down short, Eshif and Mai might have false information. He just wants to tuck. No, it's punished by Maj. You see the paranoia going out too. Utility dumped over the wall. Ada sequel. The spike falling shortly thereafter. That reclear normally a good idea late in the round to 
find some information, but he's not assisted and there's no util with it. So HFMI, very risky play and paying for it. Aftershock will be nice to help push out those players down in dark. Oh, not to mention the fault line that's there. Off of the paranoia, the dash out, trying Ooh, to catch him. Oh, he actually falls to the utility. But ASC in a great position here. Dapat bolos ka, Manis. Wingman finding nothing. Cracks Ma on the Manis. Side. Smoke still healthy. Bo! And he wasn't healthy for long as he falls. Bo! So does the rest of foot. Mantap ini. Coba lihat dulu berapa persen, guys. Strike so fast. Huh, AC banget ini. Wah, gua ngebet AC lagi, gua capek. Wah, gua capek. Lu AC juga. AC gua capek. Wah, si Magic lagi lagi record ni sambil ngamiat ngamiat. Si Kiwi kocak. That angle of the aftershock could allow him to updraft out there, but this one covers all the bases. They're down to Eco. Speak about a bad start. Losing that bonus right there. is huge. Mm. Now it's up to an Odin too. You saw when they went this way. Edlak lu. Kasih Odin. Buset, ngepik-ngepik mulu ya. See that become a theme if he is very, very interested in it. Tanya kalau udah... Apa? Tanya udah kayak robot kalau main FPS, emang ya? And I think that's where they're expecting... Banyak sih memang player-player jagonya, apalagi MOBA ya kalau China tuh. But at this point they should know that the turret is not there, cannot be heard. Dreyan kemana kah Hanum? Lagi mau nongs katanya, ya Allah. He's trying to find the angle on the bunt. Little damage done, but he's tucked and safe. In 50 seconds right now. Ngabar-ngabarin gitu, Mer. Pergerakannya, Mer. Two players on the site though, they could take him down. Bunt Sun, Bonk though, goes undetected. Is that Odin spam? It's, I mean, it just looks so epic. 3k for the Sentinel. Kaya gua liat gue tadi guys. China starting off strong in this game. Pergerakan bawah laut, iya. Tapi hati-hati ya. Which they get on, but then they have to play the post plant positions. And that's a frustrating start too. Because they specifically positioned themselves under in dark when that aftershock came through in the last round. And this time too. Enak, ada gituin aja. Dizzy, not finding any value for the gecko of cracks. With this, okay, M yang pulang pertama, woi. Flash down, hold on, stun as well. It's fast. Jir. Another punish. That's a free kill on the Mr. Fallen, the smoker. They either need to speed up or start looking and spreading. Smoke-nya lagi yang mati, guys. Di des, ya Allah. The setup for it was so pretty. They had the fault line. They invested the paranoia out from Bunt, too. And look at the follow-up, too. They've got the KJ util here. Siapa tadi yang bilang match-nya match ngantuk? Match kedua, ya? Kasih tau bapak gua. The first one was popped there. I think they got up. Kayu lu, kena lu. His shock darts have caused a couple of problems already, and it's so early. This time, huge ults, though, for foot. Lah bener ngantuk empat kosong lah, gak ngantuk ini. Kainanya mengebo. Woo, what the fuck Kiwi? Kiwi gets two. Did they both get detained? Both of them in long got detained right now. No punish though. Ever, I mean everyone's detained. It's just like we've thrown a pause on the round. Four players detained in that instance. Action back and swing. Harus cepat ini relate nya. Aduh, masih ada si itu di kiri. Dapat satu ni, dapat satu ni. Kui fute. Ah, dapat satu kan? Ah, gak ngantuk ni terang aja. Kepapa Ben yang penting gak merasakan di live chat lagi. Lu udah mulai muak ya, Chris. Anjir. Masih dengan OP ini ya. Apa namanya? Gue lupa mulu, anjing. Necromancer, eh apa? Lupa gue nama OP-nya, anjing. Spectral. Spectral, eh apa? Itulah. Up. Ada yang loncat. Ada yang loncat. Place KJ over here in 
Baru nongol langsung dirama. Gila memang. Moga Rudalnya mau darat pada tempatnya. Rudal bagian mana ya King? Wup si Hipmi udah mau ulti. Di ulti lu. Bencetnya bang. Mati dong. Ah. Oh. Yong Chen. Yong 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 Chen. Beh, Lipe mantap si Lipe ni. Nafi dapat slot champion atau cuma master doang? Eh, gua nggak tahu. Championnya dapat atau enggak? Gua nggak tahu. Live EDG dulu kan ya? Iya harusnya ya. Like you said, but he did not spot H for my in the corner, and that's the key detail. Frustration now, definitely going to start to be seen on the foot side. No timeout called, and this is a force up. You've got a judge in the hands of Mr. Fallen. Weapons for everybody else. They just start seeing some pace with these executes rather than the map control style. See life can post the patrol with the op, and you have Ishan playing in link, wow. able to dump utility and cause problems. Fault line still in play here. <laughs> oh, sleepy. Finally used. Meanwhile, HFMI getting the kill. Whoop! I don't know. It's so interesting there. They tucked inside of the cubby, specifically to dodge util in the drone. Ih, ya Allah, ini off angle lah. Eh, dapat. But a little fear. I'm wondering what foot is thinking with these ideas so far. อ่าเก็บอู้ดับปุ๊บโอ้ยกระนั้นเมื่อกี้ Oh yo 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 yo! Dua dua mati bah. Jer kelas Mr. Paulian. Oh oh. Apa main dia blok agak punya? Gue mainnya main game gratis albino online. Shocked at the ideas that are coming through, but it ends up working out. They get their second round on the board. Mainlah, enggak punya nanti enggak bisa bayar kuliah. Going back into that space. That the Soviet just drone, and again they go down deep. Nice little updraft too for the knives to follow up. Live-nya kapan? Tanggal enam belas. Quite fine anything. Remember last time with that same idea. They caught. Gak perlu. Eh, cabut tang anjing. Kan? Remove, ah, mampus. Where do they go from here? Mr. Fallen has his ult. That's all they have for now. Lah, kebayit lah, kebayit. Got over there quick. Okay. That's a misdirection. Asik nih, jut gay. Spawn right now. Yishen really wondering, is he up in heaven? It's funny too. Monk didn't reposition. If he wasn't happy, he might have been dead. The judge from that distance. It's pretty, and there's help. There's help not far off. Yong Chen. Bo. Terbaca nampaknya di sini. Whoa. Spray control Odin. The judge and the Odin. The round should be secured. Yeah, Aula. Let's watch. Just something ridiculous. He's already gotten two. It'll have to be an ace for him to pull it off. Bunt weak. Thirty seconds left. But the knives. 
Kelas. Set up kelas juga. Attacking Soul Esports. Do you? Dominating when it comes down to it. And actually, Monk heard the TP the entire time. That's why you could stick right in that position. Apakah sudah menjadi map defender King Happen? I respect that so much. Jumping out of the smoke with the judge. He's taking that fight, man. He's going. So far, foot have not shown up in the server, and very, very reminiscent of that very first map against EG. Yep. It's a strong start from EG. And the ideas that Foot were throwing out were just not quite enough, and they are mixing things up, going for even different styles of gameplay. That's a deep smoke for Mr. Fallen. That Kiwi's tucked into right now. Pak Nopal, makasih. Satu game member ya. Hap, adik-adik. Ada gue bilang makasih yang dapet. They're close to that C-Link. Spike planted. Spike still invested. HFMI. Oop. Taking care of the duelist. Buset itu. Buta berdua-duaan di situ. Bang Moj itu kurang gendong, ya. Belum segacor kemarin, Bang Moj aja. Wah, hap lagi adik adik. Terima kasih Kak Nopal. Satu game member lagi. Cause they, I mean, they just full blinded four players in C Link. Three of them shooting. Oh, the pistol. And they're just going to find a single. Odikutin dari belakang. How do you recoup from this? Odin Masta, bro. Ini tempat mantap banget. Solve here is foot call the first time out of the map. They find themselves down to five on the attacking side of Hayden. Apakah Fute akan menjadi tim jadi M yang pulang duluan ya? Potential problems with the mental in regaining from slow starts like this. I think throughout throughout the NBA season. We saw, especially once Ada Captain came in as a starting role, not playing a six man. Yep. It definitely gave some energy to the team. Kalau tiga belas dua sih lucu guys. No matter what happens, can stay in it. Very vocal for the team. Gak pelan pelan pas sopir mainan. Let's go Ada Captain. Eh siapa tu? And it will be him, who my eyes are on right now. He himself was struggling three and eight. The score doesn't really matter. Kiwi belum bangun Kiwi. Nanti si di 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 defender dia antar pakai AWP itu bahaya AWP nya Kiwi. It's the confidence issue that's lacking right now. You see the ults on your screen. Four foot. They do have the lockdown for Maj. Cracks and Adcap are both just a couple of points away from having their ults online, respectively. Con, not really an issue. Si Hipmi tinggal ngambil satu orb, bisa ngancurin lockdown ya. Three more rounds in this half, they need to turn this around. They're known for dominant halves on both sides of this map. He's so far up. Si Kiwi dari kemarin turu guys ya. Mana ya? Wow. Oh, but they apply pressure from short too. Bunt's already so far up. Playing in the smoke. Uses flash too, and I love that idea. Actually, that wall very spammable by that by that Odin. Hit me, ambil ambil Ormia. Hit me. He knows his stuff on this map. Swaps it with you, Chen. Ambil Orb, hit me. I won't be silent. Oh, dapat. Wow, the timing on that was insane. He had insane moments in the last game against DRX. How is he still alive? He's got a shorty. Wah, nggak dapat sorry. Muset, tokoh bun, tokoh bun. Uh, sakit banget tembakan anjir. Dipik lo lihat tu. Muset pede banget anjir. Buka badan ya. Mantap ko. What a ridiculous round! Dude, it does not look like they're playing with elimination on the mind. They're playing. Yeah, kalau misalnya gaming gitu ya, kalau misalnya kita mikirnya gaming banget kan, ya kita kasih dia plan kan. Kalau enggak, kalau dia lockdown langsung ulti ancurin ya kan. Muka badan wah. None of those rounds are falling. They get the two opening picks, and that's not falling for you. The issues just compile and compound. Lighter buy for the attacking side. You see it, stingers, specters, smatter, assortment of weaponry. And Mr. Fallen has gotten 
Oop. 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 Mong. Oop. Oke. Iko Prager. Cut farewell iya. Oh cut farewell. Those sorts of things too in this moment. Elimination on the mind of foot. Champion squall spot on the mind of foot. This first half. It's got to be hurting them. I'm sorry, but that last round again, desperation to me. You see Maj running in by himself. You see the second player following up by himself. Ditembak mayatnya ya kan. Mantap ini. They call a fast strat. But it seems like ego there. Saying we've got to be able to beat them with something basic. This time, Iya, tolong aku kawan. Kawan, tolong aku kawan. Anjir, gak mati, cok selamat. Aduh. Look at where life is. He's behind them, and watch it. Oh, he toggled right back into it. Yeah. Uh, there's a player detained on the other side right now. Itch for is alone against Maj. He's Monk. back in the action. Monk weak. With the swing. Dies. Hmm. HFMI, have him do it himself. Hmm. Gak kena takut nih orang. Wah, gak ngeliat. Foot managed to somehow stabilize through the chaos of that opening moment of the round. dia kenapa kena detain ya? Kocap. Sengaja kali, biar kayak ada satu pemain yang maju gitu. Terus, sembilan tiga sih. Hmm. You don't often see Hunter Series targeting Jets, but it worked out that time. Terus gabang ngasih kayaknya nih. Favor of ASC foot left looking for answers, not really knowing. Oh, sakit punggung. We'll be better. We'll throw it down to the desk, break down the first half. You know, foot uh Ini 2-0 AC ya kan. Jadi yeah, yeah, langsung yeah, match ketiga terus besok Derek menang juga lawan AC ya kan. Beuh. Eh. Even though it's going to be 9 in the half. Uh, ngebab ngebab lu, coba gue pause dulu lu, huh? Uh. Ada iklan di bawah, hah? Lu doang kali. Yang lain aman kan guys? Lu doang kali karena abu bang, abu. Aman, aman, tuh aman. Sepuluh ribu dari Afis. Pesan. Kenapa TM Chen G pakai nick nama Chen asli Ben? Apa? Apakah biar komentator G susah ngucapnya? Eh, mungkin ya. Mungkin begitu ya. Kalian mau gimana, Anjir? Kalau misalnya begitu, nyebutnya susah kan kesian komentatornya ini. Ayo susah. Ya, terima kasih sebuah rebunya kak Apis ya. Kalau misalnya di global mungkin jadi kayak gini. Kalau dari kalau di liga lokalnya pasti asli ya kan? Besok lusa bakal jadi abu wah. Ya masa mau dipanggil sofa aja kan kesian ya. Udah kayak rengket weh sofa Rikon. Nokers kayaknya nih. Dia sopa. What can foot do to equalize? Remember, that was the attack inside for them too, man. Like that's when you're supposed to amass a lead. They just weren't able to. I've seen streaks from them on both sides, but it always starts off in the first half. I mean, that matters a lot for this team. Maybe that's why this being their map pick here. 
Here's an issue, and that's a Sheriff headshot from across the map. Mr. Fallen just going for a jump peek. Would love to see that on the replay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's also now really no smokes on the defensive side for foot with Mr. Better Fallen. Gonna the round two. He was getting info here, but does not want to end up in that same situation that we saw live in the first round of the game. Balik aja mau turun dulu, buset. Turun jam segini lu Rehan. Enak sih tidur siang sih ya. Ke sore. Bangun mandi, makan. We've already seen quite a few. Pagi-pagi enggak ada smoker asik. Where they end up being able to regroup in the first half. Sulit namanya nih. And have solid executes. Now waiting for that fault line to come back up so that they can use it for taking the seaside. But as you can see, foot again with the scared play. They rotate around and full stack this A site because they lose one player. Yeah, you saw cracks. Stuck empat A dia. Mr. Fallen goes down. Cracks checked C. They're not even hearing the spike plant go down right now. Smoker M nya kurang. Oh iya juga ya M R Palin. Smoker B ni bangkong tu lah ni. Saving grace here. Still so much util for cracks. Still so much util for out of captain. His fault line is back up, but they've got to get in positions to be able to retake fast. They got to find ones, but the rest of the team is just falling off. There's no smokes on this flight. Oh, ayo. Gak punya smoke. Kiwi still healthy. You see the ball playing down long, and that could be a problem for ASE. That shot dart is gonna hurt though. Cracks has gotten into half. He's gonna get. Whoa, Kiwi! Those kills came in fast. Masakar sebang. Lah, gak ngambil serik dia. The players on foot. His first shot. <laughs> that was gross. Mr. Fallen was trying to challenge there, though, so that's the sort of mistake that you definitely want to see him. I mean, talking about, about discipline, there you're supposed to be jump spotting. I mean, almost every single time. Especially oh, yeah, when, you have, asli, eh? uh, when you are very important role on your team and you also don't have a sheriff for that long reign once tap. Ghost doesn't do that. They're going to really help to fight back with. He was There's, a force. There's a force here. That's a big one. Full armor, stingers. Whoop! The force. What? 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 Pandal, 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 bro, bro. Iya. Alright. A one for one. Anjing. Santu emet yang ades. Gotta get back into that quick before they end up getting pinched on the seaside. And you saw all of the foot players falling off as that execute came in. But now they're in a situation where they're even. I mean, the guns are even. Ijung bungung dia tu langsung. Almost, they do recover the vandal. Yeah, it's in the hands of cracks right now. But ASC on C, putting their foot down, trying to hold them back, not playing offside, and they're just not. I mean, they're Whoa. cautious about it. They're so okay. ridiculous Hit me. about it. Three players through garage, through a smoke. Si Sapanda bahaya nih, bisa clutch. Remember, this is the one gun that they have. Bo. Anti kau jangan menang anjir. ASC Campbell. Tripti. That's the right play, man. What you're seeing out of foot. Tung double pick tu ye. Wah ini kocak ni si Kiwi si aja. Put on the gas against them. Keep them down. Keep them thinking. Keep them believing. That they don't have what it takes right now. Enak bang kalau anti ko asli. Ten to four. How can you? Come into this game thinking that that might be the scoreline on the first map. Yeah, I mean, and for foot, really, to understand you're down nine three at half. You win the pistol, and you go, okay, now is an opportunity for us to snowball this. Let's get through the next round cleanly. To lose that round, find yourself back on a broken buy. Oh, you start talking about going next. Yeah, at this point. I got spikes. Scary position they find themselves in. Kiwi's got to come alive. This guy has been so. And consistently playing throughout the entire season, sometimes, and oftentimes, you see him beasting the server. Yeah, it's just not been there. Maybe the defensive half will be where he comes. Yeah, but they're not in a fit. He walked to the EMA. Yeah. Look at the full rotate again. I mean, this is called early. Fifty seconds. They're gonna go for an execute. They're gonna meet this time. They're in the right place. Oh, sleepy. See him trying to play around. Lah, kena kalah si klasik guys. With the pistols, but you still don't have the real weaponry to fight back. And they're trying to hold on to these guns, but they're gonna have to give it up, which means lots of upgraded weapons right now. Foot full eco on this one. Thirty seconds left. Take some weapons? No, none. One. Oh. Okay. 
I mean, there was only two guns on the site, so maybe there wasn't even one for life. Or HFMI. Either way, Maj has a little bit more. 13 seconds left. Playing in the smoke, waiting, jumping out at the same time. Maj finding value with the Vandal. Still e healthy. Whoa. But not for long. I, I mean, uh, Floater just struggling. Bonus for one, bonus for one. Kalau dapat bonus juga sih lucu, sumpah nih FUT. Ya sebenarnya ini udah bukan bonus run sih. Jadi bonus bonus run. Eh gimana ya? Ah pusing lah guys. Aku ngomong apa ya bodoh sekali ini kalau belum makan. Aduh, kurang fokus minum dulu. Belum keisi otak ngap. Wow, 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 wow. Awas, hilang nih smoker bagi-bagi nih. Ah, kan hilang. Ya. Hilang lagi, guys. Smoker. You've got to be able to close it out. Bunt. Expecting pressure. The cue of utility. The swing as he falls. Aduh. There it is, out of captain. They trade back Mr. Fallen, who again held early to that long C peak. This mosh pit's not going to delay them. No, he's ahead of it. The flash actually pings. Cracks patiently waiting. Yeah, masuk ke semua kayak enak banget itu posisi. They have so many tools, man. They've got to spike down. Dapat bonus bonus namanya nih guys. No real qualms with investing at this late, and you see him playing off now. He's already tucked in cubby down too long. Ini sabar dia gaming, gak mau ngepick. Oke, hit me. Kalau begitu lu ngepick aneh juga lu hit me ya. Di ulti bro lihat tuh saking respect-nya. Oke. Bang Ata oke. Tapi mahal ya, aman ya, mahal ya. Delivering with a Red Bull clutch, and potentially saving hopes for Foot on this first map. The aftershock perfect as the breach ult comes out from Yushin. That's wholesome. Yeah, they're they're cheering for AC right there. Still respect the clutch put out from out of captain. Pernah rasa kalah asli. Tapi sama sini half shot juga. Mr. Fallen cannot lose this peak. Uh. I love that they're challenging him. They've killed him twice already. Go for it more. And he's the IGL too. Uh. Dapat sleep eh. Aggressive on Mr. Fallen, but instead goes up top. Clears out cracks. And now creeping forward, they invest the lockdown though as a counter to buy some time. They're still spread out on the map. Whoop. They're not even ready to necessarily commit to this seaside and that lockdown gets baited out, but they still lose. He's they tucked still kill. He's tucked in. They know he's here. Oh my goodness, there's a massive flank. If they end up on the side or B side, they're rotating again early. Go, go see, the right go see now. They have no idea where he is. Ih, kegarat sih, kegarat. Sabar, sabar. Tunggu, tunggu. Tunggu si Lipe. Nah, Gossi, Gossi. Tetap lihat ini, nah, kuy. Anjir. Ntar dia nunggu dulu orang garat ya. Up, up. Timing nih. Ayo! Tidak ada ulti. Tidak ada ulti. Now it has to be pure heroics. A total of 19 HP across the two remaining members. Ini baru terop pinter anci. No, I mean they don't want the heat, man. Bila sebelas lima bro, di bantai bantai ni. Like you said, what a decision to make on yeah giving up match point. You wonder in situations like that, it's just. I guess it's GG na. It's an incredibly difficult decision to make, right? You risk it because you're down big and you need to make a play. Or you just play it safe, which really has felt like it's been Foot's uh, approach this entire half. I mean, I don't. I would disagree with that actually. In terms of the way that they're playing these defensive side rotates, I think in general, oh, yes. Early. But sure. they're rotating early. That's sure. a problem. Sure. 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 Sure.
Last round, it ended up working out, but just barely. This round, it hurts them. In spades, Mosh. Oh, franchise league has take two. Master juga harus ada dua lagi. This match point for attack. Harus ada kedua maksudnya. Cn tu mana China? Dari China. Mong, 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 Aduh penasaran si Mong. Oh, Aduh. Udah masih Mong cabut, yang mati malah si Hipmi ya. CN apa bang? Elu. Uh. Anjing dapat tuas Kiwi. Wah, ini sambil blind tu. I mean, that is so close from pure disaster. Yep, the fact that they scattered was their saving grace. I think Mons was full blind when he got the kill. You were thinking a little bit. There's like one second left on that turn. Sheesh. But not done quite yet. They get up to six. They have the Rolling Thunder for Ad Captain too. But they have to put together a streak. They've got to put together some sort of momentum. There's got to be a huge clean round. Some sort of. Kalau Emi yang di sini pulang semua, sisanya yang di playoff dua doang es. Liquid fanatic. That definitely can help. That was so long ago at this point. And now they're faced with match point two. It's a setup that they have here. Smoke in the fault line and taking space short. No, the dark keeps him back. Well considered by HFMI. I love just sending it here. Try to bully their way through. There are a lot of defenses Whoop. from foot here. Out of captain repositioning. There's the rolling thunder. And it's going to hit them all. Nobody's out on the site yet except for life who's dead. Oh. Kiwi on the swing. Kiwi no buggy. Nothing but an elbow. They still want to go in the side. They pivoted a few times, but they didn't do that much against DRX. Will the persistence pay off? Okay. Or will it be punished? Okay. Menyusul, menyusul. Ewe ada siapa aja, Fnatic, Liquid, Navi sama FUT Map Defender iya, Map Defender Kayaknya ini sekarang HP udah bukan Map Attack lagi ya Weaknesses, for example, looking to hit Mr. Fall in sight immediately where you've gotten two early picks against him And now as well Stepping up the tempo on this A side, the opposite side of the map, which they really haven't been exploring much. But at this point, you need to start going for the basics. <coughs> the way that you got to this score line in the first place. They're down on a life. <laughs> it's actually just Ishan with us. No water bang though. He's been destroying yeah, players yeah. on these first deep. Deep. across the map with the sheriff without. It's pounding. Kiwi's playing back C by himself. And it looks like they're going to rotate out of garage. Perhaps leave a few. Oh, there's an insane fight about to happen short. Remember, it's Ishin who has a stinger, and that's it. Swing the fall line, not going to tag anyone. Surprised to see him not being ready to receive the fall line off the contact of the player with the plane. Mm. Second kill for Monk. Dapat lagi deh. Just a sheriff stacking bodies on that B side. Sudah masuk bela, plan. Pulling the rotates again. This time off the A side, and there's going to be two guns picked up. He's throwing them over to his teammates. Should be able to hear it. Oh, Kiwi's so far up. Mock is aware. 
Remember, the sheriff has already found two. They didn't plant the spike yet. Not sure exactly what to do. Looking for. Ini lewat tibes, bangsat banget si Kiwi. Kiwi should hear that turret still up. Wah, lima lima tu. Now they're surrounded. Kiwi still rotating through, applying pressure. See that paranoia as the two remaining members of ASC now return their focus to the site. Wanting to play around the flash. It's pretty. It's well done. Bel delapan, bro. Seems to me, foot finally arriving on the server. Sekarang jarang lihat icebox. Emang lagi di apus icebox kan? Ama bris. I mean he's finding entries. Gantinya sama buy nama split. Susah closing si time out dulu kata gua mah. Enggak time out ya. When you find yourself up 9-3, you have to lose a couple, right? ASC still have a pretty long runway to play. Uh, Allah. Obviously, uh. you want to close it out as quickly as Masuk you can. Masuk angin gua kayaknya, bro. Adi, jangan tumbang, Diki, please. Fast control of A-Long. Out of captain has to back off despite stunning. Does not have his partner in crime of Kiwi to peek off of that. He just used blades. And he has the op. Nobody does that. Oh, gak nembri so ah, map tai. Gue cacat nul di bris. Wonder what it is that they're getting read on. That info peak with the ult from Mr. Fallen. Aduh. Spots one in a lobby. Ini benar gak masuk ke angin tidur cuma empat jam ya gimana? Tiba-tiba kebangun bang. Gak bisa tidur lagi. Now the timing suggests they could be over towards that seaside, but still not pulling anybody. Oh, missed him. Or excuse me, Monk sidestep that. That was so close. That fall line's gonna cause problems. Oh, life doesn't get over the top. Flash slaps his shins right into the box, and now dropping down. No value found. Okay. Okay, bun. But ASC managing to find a way around it anyway. Bun with two big kills. Monk, santai, Monk. Abut di inspect tapi Monk. Yeah. This two might be enough. We heard the blades early in the round from Kiwi. Oh, what's the cue? He wanted to go fast, but instantly spotted in the window. Trying to take the peek. Okay. Trying to find someone, and he cannot. Gege, dong. One v three to keep the map alive. Gege. Not gonna convert. Aku menang, bet. Let's go. Dapat berapa ya? Zayc's first map win on the international stage. W. At their debut tournament here. Ember jayanya lebih dari kari kadek. Air ni tu. Oh. Map dua Ascen. Mapnya si AC juga tu guys. Berapa ya? Tiga puluh satu persen ni dapat berapa ya? Bansos udah dari tadi kocak makanya stay tu nyer kemana mana. Bang cairin bang wah ini kurang bet ini. Uh seratus enam puluh satu let's go. Lagu lagu lagu. Lihat ayang dulu guys ya, udah jalan kemana ayang? Oh masih di sini. Tu Xiao ah apa ni? Kuan Xing Xiao Geng tu Donggang. Sudah dua puluh kilometer. Redik menang siapa? Gua sih ini dukung ASE kalau yang ini ya. Ini tuh cat atas. Eh, IMS magang lah tuh. Mak di RP itu harus cat dia. 
<laughs> Lagi ada uh... Uset basah gitu badannya Kagak pakai payung deh Apa tuh? Wah, cek dulu dah mana tahu bertool. Wow. Bertool. Ya Allah dikasih anduk. Ayo. Uset. Bang top up ya. Yeah. ribu dari Naufal Jiwangkara. Pesan Bang Topuk. Naufal Jiwangkara. Ah top up. Dua ribu ya. Dua ribu tar. Safonte mana Safonte? Aduh si Safonte. Tar nyari di sini aja Safonte. Tadi Safonte soalnya mau giveaway semua poinnya tapi dijual sama gua. Oke. Nah, ini nih. Kita kurangi 10.000 jadi 6. Nah. Mantap. Terakhir sih VN bisa nipu ya kayak mod di Okto. Wow, VN-nya siapa tuh? Malmer Spill the tea. Kita udah di top up ya. Oh, lu orang lagi ngomongin siapa sih? Hanum. Oh, Hanum. Wah, parah lu. Ya Allah. Disuruh lewat ini dia, guys. Disuruh lewat jembatan. Lewat bawah nggak sih? Papi, papo, papo. Ini di mana di Taiwan? Bagi ya, Dre, kalau dapat, wow. I'm joined by their coach Ego. Ego, it is your first win here on the international stage, first map win. How did your boys do it? How did they achieve this win? I think it just simply goes like uh, everything is working, like our teamwork, our communicate, everything is working. I know you, you mean, I mean you cannot stop us on the heaven. Lepaf, terima kasih udah jadi member. Welcome, Lepaf. Eh, Lepaf, kok Lepaf? Maaf ya orang Sunda bisa ngomong F. Ditinggal ke WC bentar, Bansos sudah lewat aja. Bansosnya udah sejam lalu. Bet apa ya? Ini udah dibuka belum ya? Oh udah. Wah, pada ngebet AC semua nih, babi. Ya udahlah, gua AC lah 250 ribu nih. Eh, gua gua PD 20. Lewat kolong anjir. Nanti dia naik ke sini. Low water damage. Oh. 
Ocean Man. Jangan lewat tangga lah, bang. Lewat air. Belum, belum, guys. Belum main, guys. Ntar, nih. Nah, si Ayang lagi nggak ada lagu kan aman nih mati dulu lagunya ya Waddleton day 38 last week of Waddleton hmm anginnya tuh speeders SMR Dar tiba-tiba tuh kan Ini jembatan Ampera ini guys Angin duduk, eh, gue bikin mati berarti semua nih. Wah, mati. Angin duduk kan bikin mati ya. Berbahaya, bro. Bokap gue kena tuh, Ben. Makanya hilang. Bokap lu mah kena bodos gembel tuh kalau hilang. <laughs> ah, gak ngerti. Ben, kok lu bet AC lah emang kenapa bang? Gua kok 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 banget. Buset dah. Nih angin. Oh, dia dia nih. Set di selebel kali guys. Selebel. Oh enggak. Ben selebel. Gua bet sebaliknya lu dari tadi anti rungkat. Kan gue dari tadi, gue tadi bet AC ya Pecak lu Bang, tau apa bang Dari Levav Pesan BG Lefav. Popok BG Bang, kita kasih 10 ribu guys Ini biar sama kayak yang lain ya Sabar, Saponte, mana Saponte Kita kurangi lagi 10 ribu Terima kasih Levav, top upnya Dah Nih, semua senang kan? Semua senang. Eh, udah udah oh, oh, udah ini. Nah. Bar. Gua takut lagunya guys ya. Agent pick, agent pick, bro. Geli gitu Bang 10.000, iya. 10.000 eh. Ya. Yang penting bisa berpartisi sapi pasi. Biar stok masih banyak. Apa tuh? Ni Jiao Xing se apa tuh? Odds bang. Eh tuh. Pada bet AC sekarang ya. Bet bang, nah, gue terakhir magic. Map tiga ini dua, dua, ini dua kosong. Really 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 
my mind it looked looked like they didn't show up on the server but they did start to come back asli dua dua map Ini yang menang ketemu Teki Wang apa Derek? Derek dong kan ini lower bracket. Eh kan ini grup B. Anjing udah 321 anjing. Walah si Live mati. Oke, okay, nice hit me. Oh, 15.000 dari Naufal Dev. Pesan, ben cara dapat pacar gimana, Ben? Gua aja nggak punya, Bang. Ya. However, coba lu tanya tuh Malboro Merah di live chat. Pacarnya ada 5. Satu Discord. Satu lagi Paloran, satu yang real, satunya lagi Pituber, nah satunya lagi ini gak di spill, gak di spill, gitu ya. Kak Nopal, makasih sebuah ribu ya. Ya, di spill sama Udin ternyata ya emang. Satu lagi Udin. Or at least we thought. Ih, mantap Yang Chen. Yang Chen, bunter. Alas ya. Hip me, aduh, enam darah. Hip me, ayayay, ente. Sitting out in the open, so the two players remaining in Chen have to make a play out of it. It's way too hard. Love the smoke from Bunt as well. Bunt was, in my mind, even though I saw, I saw Monk at the top of the leaderboard in the last game. Bunt was really making plays left and right. Some key rounds that Foot had chances to win. He shut down. Agreed. Bunt was very good. Capitalized on a lot of the mistakes out of Foot's side. I did like this out of them at the opening of the round. They throw a nano to clear some space B, make sure there's no one pushing up, and they get the alarm brought down. Meanwhile, Kiwi applying pressure on the opposite side of the map. Big pick. Cover going out. Oh, come on, come on. Now, Yishen early. Not that there was much for Yishen. He smoked off the alarm bot. Timing, I think. Smoked it anyways. Oh, right, timing. Yeah. It It's very easy to hear, very easy to spot, and that is getting put down, so you have to consider the fact that ASC have options to fight through it. Dart not tagging anyone. Kiwi looking for a little bit. Yo, Allah, enak banget itu si Kiwi. Gila. But it's a prime gaming flawless anyway. Prediksi Navi EDG buat bet nanti. EDG sih, guys, ya. Oops. There's the first. Oops. I know it's just an anti eco, but there's so much. Tapi gak tau sih, semoga aja Navi back to prime. Titip Hanum friend, ah, alay, alay, ngentet. Temot, temot, temot. Alay, 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 alay. Gue temot dulu, alay, alay. Jadi Navi udah cukup. Enggak, kemarin kan kureng. He's going deep for it, but nobody here from ASC to receive, and they might speed up. Nih tip, nih tip, lo kira barang tu orang, ha? Interesting too is ASC were playing further back than they normally would right off the bat. It's like they were expecting it. They knew was they they knew there was a possibility for it, and they play around it. For a second, like the foot players might want to flood against this reaction into this A side. Instead, it'll be a full five v five retake with four weaponry on the side. Kena sok dar tu si Hipmi. Insta kill on that. That's beautiful stuff. No flank. It's just gonna be from heaven and from tree. ASC with sight control for now. Wow. That knife is big. ASC not able to hold the sight. We may have another bonus on our hands. Masih dapat bonus sih. Wah dapat bonus bro.
And it's all just on the bunt now. It's the diffuse has already gotten half the swing. Wow, the bot bonus and put them up. Full with a big lead here. That's very nice stuff. And that retake. I mean, how do you hold on if you're ASC? Not only do you use the lose the planner after the spike gets planted. So there's that. But then you have the space breaking TP. In from out of captain. Really, really nice stuff. Gotta commend that Yuto combo. Guys talked about playing as a team, doing the things that were done at EMEA, and that's I mean that's straight out of the Fnatic playbook. That sort of style of retake, lovely stuff out of foot. Both snipes just right off the bat. Mid and market cleared. Oof. Kiwi taking a lot of damage through the spam. I guess they do have another significant buy here. So dangerous round still. Amerikan anjing lep. Kalau update, enggak tahu. Tadi sih enggak. That's a sentinel who really relies on his aim and his fragging ability to necessarily set up. Uh, dapat si Lipe. He does lose. Adakas is playing close. His job was to hold against him. Had a chance at it there. Remember Kiwi at the beginning of the round six of fame damage. Now down to 12 HP, no armor. Trying to find a cheeky angle to get a kill. But there's just nothing to do, like, at least not yet. These pivots are great. Out of attacking soul. They got a 2-2 split going, and HFMI is going to go on the lurk. The question is, how patient is Kiwi? Mm, timing, oh. lempar semua. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't much health to him, but a great response from HFMI anyway. Meanwhile, Crack's playing in the smoke. The swing out is in! Ya Allah, timing and swingnya. Foot's defense is scattered. There's still one A. Leaving Mr. Fowler on site by himself, and he cannot hold them. Gas, gas, gas. HFMI could get the info of where he's coming from, too. 3v1 masa kalah ya. Beautifully in that one. A 1v3 necessary for Maj to pull this round out. Consideration of time and HFMI's positioning evident. Masa kalah aja kan? Masa iya, oke. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oke, nggak telat-telat amat. Iya, lima jam. Be aja. Thinking a lot how these two teams could end up matching up. Specifically thinking about the experience in moments like this elimination. Foot obviously played at lock in. ASC is one of the few teams at this team who did not. The only team. Oh no, kena bro. So you're thinking they could just be a young team. Kiwi with the first entry again. They're gonna put pressure on this B side. It worked last time. Life is going up into spawn again. Good KO to respond. They fall all the way back. Monk is gonna try to do some of the same. Monk, Monk, Monk two. Mantap lep two. All the way through spawn. Are you kidding me? And the chase is on. They might be able to peak spawn before they get up this ramp. Go A, go A. So I'm letting Idina Hui. I mean, he's holding a great angle to actually prevent them. Out of captain's in for a world of hurt, but he needs to make heroic plays here because H of Mai has cut off the rotates. The one benefit is maybe you don't consider his position. Now spotted. The paranoia is going to hit both. Bo, hit me, bro. Yeah. That was so well done, and that that's like that bro. flavor, that brand of ASC Valor that eh? everyone was excited to see, right? Life pushing up mid, Monk pushing through spawn at B. Crunching spawn. Reminds me of some of those early, early paper X games where they had yeah. yeah. Copenhagen. Yep. Where it's just like you never expect no these sort of lurk timings. One enemy remaining. Right. And the sort of adaptations that you can make off of them. Life finding a gap. Monk finding a gap. We saw Monk with huge success on that attacking side against them on Haven. And man, spiral for foot here. They're keeping the attack. Aina bang. Oh. No life. Forward. Kabur life. But there was definitely an opportunity. Yeah, there was. It's a nice little play. Seen it quite a bit in EMEA for them. Keep looking for an opportunity here. Getting one. Ooh. 
Nice trip. But once again, Monk's timing is flawless. It's the same engagement that happened in the last round. Yeah. Kiwi against each other. Bobo do kosong. Gua sih bilang do kosong tadi ya. Tahu nih. A pause on the round. You see life still with the op. Still with four members up and four alts to their name. Uh -huh. Any round that you can get, this is an anti-eco for ASC, but you've got to secure this sort of thing yeah. when you're playing on the attack side. You should run. And they will invest the lockdown. They're out with it, though. Mr. Fallen, now clear to hell. Hell yeah, bang! Hell yeah, bang! What the fuck? How does he get three? Serip Nakia. Oh my god, Mr. Fallen, so. Wah konyol, konyol nggak ada kepikir. Nasty stuff. So not only do ASC invest the lockdown in that, but they lose in the light by situation. Pecak momen tuh. Atu, dua, tiga, empat. They've got to get through those cleanly. That's the overconfidence that can stem from inexperience. Right there, you just wait for the lockdown, and all of a sudden, all you have to deal with is Mr. Fallen. Instead, you have a player coming through three at the same time fast. Ah, kena lagi ternyata. Iya. Eh, China, Jayo, Jayo. Iya, bisa satu. Yong Chen. He's the help, and that was a fast one. As Ishan's the only one that remains. No, buta. Iya. Ternyata W gamingnya di counter ya. Where is the SG? Betul betul. Rounds like that again. I mean, investing ults, going for fast plays. If you shut those downs, what more tools do ASC have? That was the big issue in their game against DRX was running out of ideas. The attacking side of Ascent is somewhere where that can become evident very fast. Most success you're seeing where it's consistent value. There's these ideas where you go for the lurks. From Monk. And yet, opting not to continue in that style. Opting to throw in wrenches. And we'll have a timeout from ASC. Which, remind me, I don't think they called one on Haven, did they? So. Yeah, no. Yeah. There was just one, and I believe it was Foots. So for the first time the series, ASC finds eh, lupa, a guys. where they need a Lagunya nggak apa-apa lah, kecilin aja dikit ya. Remember, it was that exercise that they started on Haven where they got the 9-3 in the first place. Their attacking side did end up showing a few holes. Yep. And again, I think a lot of that is <coughs> from... Tim Cina yang kuat, tim apa? Dua-duanya kuat kok ini. EDG sama AC nih. And then they started disrespecting Cuman. Yeah, a little more loose. A Cuman. And trying to punish. Dua-duanya lagi di lower no. Not style but speed going on. All right, they forced into it for example after losing the pistol that was successful, but then they started throwing in fast rounds. You're seeing the same sort of signs here. On this ascent. And to go back to the walls, you said they saw in their okay. side on him. You expect to see more of those here on ascent. Satu-satu untuk si Yui ya. Is, how much of that can they mitigate? Reclare from foot. Getting it towards short. Nature for Maya is exploring alone. Eh? I have to say, foot are winning consistently these first engagements. Yeah, One tap, bang. Which is just such a difference from what we saw in the previous map. Yeah. ASC had chances and things to look out to fight for those first engagements. Remember, they were really taking it to Mr. Fallen on that C side. <laughs> they invested so much utility to try to clear Monk there. Shock dart, a paranoia. I'm typically okay with that on the anti eco. Because yeah. right, you have a wealth of utility in comparison to the other side. But in this case, actually, there's a lot of saved util from the prior rounds. So, Bunt still has his flash. You have two smokes. You have a smoke from life, too. All the util out of the KO. Foot's here. They have three. One of them is so weak. 
Oke. Oke. Plan aja, plan aja. It's risky, but how does he find the timing? How does he get it down? The dart gives him away. Ya. Tidak bisa. Why you wanted to stick the plant in the first instance? Yeah, I thought so too. And then he gets off to look for the kill, which I think maybe somebody maybe calling out that he is. Ini lumayan. Biasalah 4 jam ini mah tuh. 4 jam tidur. Gue sebenarnya butuh makan sih. After he picked up that vandals, if he swings over towards A, maybe there's a chance. But instead, you're playing with full information from foot, knowing that he just planted the spike on the site. Knowing that he's trying to plant it on the spike. Okay, we with an op. Posted towards B. We have slowed down significantly since that timeout from ASC. Rungkat gara-gara direct versus EG. Ya, kami sekarang menyediakan jasa top up ya hari ini. Langsung aja di pin komen. Jasa top up dari kami membantu untuk pembayaran pendidikan S1 ya. Mikuah enak, wah enak ya. Apalagi hujan-hujan. Protecting for out of captain dude. Pushed himself in the line right now. This setup is really good. I'm looking at Yishan as well. Up top mid. Again, they just continue to hit that area of the map and find success in it. It's funny. Look at Monk. He's he's the passive player in this. Yishan is just walking up mid by himself. It's not the jet. Sepuluh kah berapa poin? Tadi gua kasih sepuluh kah sepuluh kah biar adil. Yang penting bisa berpartisipasi kan betting. Okay, okay, ini dia, ini dia. Oh ayok oh, langsung ayok lagi oh, plaulas. Mantap gitu kan? Sul enam enam ayo lah. Dua tiga masih sembilan belas waras apa kaga? Ih waras waras saja lah. Beda lima tahun juga asal sepemikiran atau biasa aja kalau kata gua. Seratus ribu lima ratus kapoin sungai. Wah tu si Saisiro mau dagang. That's real tough when you're getting split on from market with no help. The omen TP was way too late. Orizio. Sepuluh ribu dari makan. Pesan. Ens ayam esta. And you see the positioning, right? Ens ayam esta. Estenya nggak dapat. Nasi ayamnya dapat sembilan ribu ya. Makasih makan. Iya ntar makan ntar. From spam as he crosses. Old possible. There it is. They waited for it a little bit. Iya ketahuan, co. Tapi aja ke situ. In between the TPs, his initial hit was trying to target life, by the way, but Bunts got stuck inside the space that life left. Take glass. Tolonglah, Esteban is yang benar. Parkirkan seribu, bang. He's waiting for potentially maybe that turret on top of the box. Or the drone. There it is. Oh, dapat anjir si yang tan. And they're not looking for this inside even. Iklan monitor di bawah, hah? But he loses the opportunity. Enggak, enggak ada. Lu doang kali itu. Great reposition from Mr. Fallen. Completely understanding, knowing that those two players were just in a main moments ago. Lu doang, lu doang guys ya. Enggak ada kan? Oh wah, wah abu aja enggak ada itu. Pas parkir seribu di mana? Di ini di pinggir jalan. Suka ada tukang parkir. Gua sih ngasih seribu masih diterima ya. Uh. Keh tujuh. Great idea, but they also all could have gotten flashed. Masih ada yang seribu. Di gua sih masih bisa seribu, tapi gua sambil pelototin matanya aja. Oh, 
That reposition from Mr. Fallen, I mean, that's that's it. And the fact that he actually hangs on against Monk, Monk is fine. Massive success. Mr. Fallen stepped up this game. Along with Kiwi, that should, honestly, based off of the last map, be enough to carry them through the... This defensive side, still two more to play, though. Difference between a nine and three. Five is a match, Sharp attack again. We've seen this already once in this game. Paranoia, flash, dash. Once again, expected. Look at how far back they play. Mid-nya, yo Allah. Mantap. Untung gak keculik si Kiwi tuh mid-nya. Try to dart and ult cracks who is left behind. Igua seribu di mana mana tu masih banyak seribu. Igua juga masih bisa seribu. Mobil dua ribu aman. Adaptation from ASC. Normally you saw them in the last time. They just walk up and go into the A side. Wow, he just crossed. Fortunately, there were two there. That would have been difficult to hold by himself. It's the constant pivots. Mr. Fallen has been on his toes in the last. A few couple of rounds. Can he do it again? This time there's a KO ult, so he's potentially not even going to get that dart off. He just pulled it out, though. Dart coming. It's there. They can't get out the smoke. Ad Captain's holding it. The flash, the dart. He's oh. got to get out. He's got to get out. He can't. Oh. Mr. Fall is going to do it. Okay, mantap. Mantap sekali. 75, 75, please. Spike planted. There's massive room to actually punish that. Dart's up. There's a smoke on us. Tapi kalau di tempat wisata nggak bisa Ben. Ini cuma gue mau beli nasi ayam loh parkiran seribu. Kenapa jadi wisata? I love that reaction. It's not something I see where you actually end up fighting. Out of top mid against the push. Udah kayak sendal lo orang tuh kalau ajak ngomong ya. Where is Ardis? Ha ha ha. He's waiting for his game tomorrow. Or later today. Against CDG. Excuse me. Oi! Caster, oi! Oke, di sini sementara. Oke, mantap, Yongchen. Kiwi mati, Kiwi mati, guys. Oke okay, mantap Lipe, desin desin, bah diklik kanan gitu dong, let's go Juli ma, ah sembal, ah aim dale kocak lu penita, aim dal apa lagi lah, gak tau aim dal kocak. Tonton tutor. There are so many options for Izzy here. Monk can play offside as he is. He should not far off either. He can just win. Hmm, si Lipe ngapain? La 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 ngetrow. La 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 ngetrow. Aku la 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 la. That's gonna cut off space. Oh my goodness. As Bunk cuts off Maj's head, cracks on the tap. Ah, ngetrow lu kocak. Izzy with five on the attacking side. Opportunity there, but. Again, that holds so good from ASC. Five on the attack. We've seen yeah, shifts on a set in recent times. But these two teams right now, ASC, they're putting it all out there. And I think they've gotten through the most difficult half. That defense from them was so good. Foot's got to put together a massive run to stay in this one. It's such a similar conversation where we were having it in map one at halftime. Yep. You've got to put together something big if you want to stay alive. Exactly Future is foot. Anjay. Keren banget tanya gitu ya. Golden boy, what do you think? Bisa jadi thumbnail tuh guys. Well, I mean, for the sake of having probably the longest day we could possibly have. I'm, I'm Sabar. Lagunya ya kan. Nah kan bet sebaliknya BB nanti rungkat sekarang rungkat deh maaf BB Apa? Masih ada satu match lo masih ada Navi guys Gini nih Mr. Pali nih Trot mantap Udah close bet belum belum dibuka sampai tahun depan.
on this defense, of course, but practically they got that pistol, and as we said, it looked like ASC started to read onto why they wanted to do it. I feel like at the beginning, Kiwi was a little bit of a final boss that they were encountering it actually at the beginning, not really knowing how Bentar to do it. Steam gua kayak di ini dulu nih, offline dulu. ASC found a lot of good splits, a lot of good executes, and were making it really hard for Foot to fit in this. This second half is going to come down to Mr. Fallen. You see IGL, who posted this team over the line, found really the first competitive Turkish team internationally in a long time. And it again is going to have to come Udah off stream, IGL udah! To call a damn good attack side to close this one out and keep foot in it. If not, China will get their first win and ASC will continue. That's right. Well, as we get ready for this second half, I don't know if we have the answers, but we certainly have some questions. Let's go ahead and send it back over to Doug and Paul. Tore Sanjaya. Anjing chamber gak nembak. Up. Okay, mulai ya. Matikan lagu. Lihat defensenya si AC. Apakah beton, guys? Capability to put foot away in this tournament. Trot, 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 trot. Okay, mantap. It's a confidence, man. Dah lu ngumpet aja, ngumpet, ngumpet, ngumpet. Still taking these early fights. And they protect him too. Yep. Up, up. Shorty in the mix. Karena satu lagi tahu dong lu. There's so much help too. Orizio. Ah. Sepuluh ribu dari nobody. Pesan buat parkir. Ya, makasih Mister Nobody sepuluh ribunya ya. Kalau bisa sama Porsche 911 satu ya, Mister Nobody. Masa Dom Toreto, lu kasih mobil masal gua kagak, ya kan? Finally cleared. Retakes were fantastic for them on Haven. They're gonna have to be fantastic again. Long jumping out that dart line. Ih, cakap, cakap. Aduh, emennya nggak dimatiin, guys. Si Kiwi menyelamatkan Ron Ajik. Ini bayarin parkir, Mister Nobody, cang. Sangat dermawan, Mister Nobody ni. Aduh, itu si Bun hampir eh. Hero play right there from Kiwi. Which is what we've been waiting for. Really, this entire tournament from him. I was thinking who contributed the most to that first half. I think I agree with the desk about Mr. Fallen. He was very active on that defense. For sure. I was lipe ah. Oh, eh, ngelamun dikit. Uh, rame. Damage actually. I mean, also life like. Si sempat tu juga. No armor decides I'm gonna go for it again. Heck yeah. Forces a swap too. Of the weapon meat again. Oh, not ding. Yang di, yang di kasih dah. Langsung ditukar lagi. Yang megang pandel perlahan-lahan sekarat. There's no force up here though for ASC. Remember that was a factor in Haven. Lama ini Mister Nobody nggak ada di fast X. Ternyata lihat lu. Yeah, bangsat. Gue belum nonton ni. Smoked off instantly. Does that instill enough confidence for Cracks to walk out? There's flashes here. Monyet. There's a fight happening on both sides. That is just a shorty. Get a Monyet. Creeping forward. Whoa. Tried to peek with the turret, but not quite the right angle for him. And that's going to call the rotate over. Leave Monk alone. 30 seconds left. Three classics remain. And we've seen the three classics, or the classics be formidable as a shroud, but it was primarily in the end of life. And waiting for the smoke to come through. And you're right, but 3v5 with just class 6 is incredibly difficult. Now nah, impossible. So keeping things very clean here from foot, despite the dinks, despite the damage done. That's what ASC right now are trying to target. Is those players who are weak. Yalah, 95 dulu. Kita langsung 96 abis ini. Remaining moments of the round, though. Speak about the performances in that first half. For me, ASC swapped off of relying on a lot of individual prowess. Out of life, out of monk from Haven. I thought that was what they were doing. 
Anton di W. Apaan gua nonton aja salah, hah? Apa Om Yo? Nonton apaan lu salah? Ishan falls to the spike. And we turn our attention towards the next round. Jadi gimana ceritanya bisa kalah sama Ege? Ya Ege nya beton Dan gimana ceritanya emang beton itu Si Hipmi pelawak memang guys Kalo kita liat Lol 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 What is Hipen lagi Hipen lagi There's no one watching B. There's no one really patient about it. All the foot or towards it. Light up. Itu ya, gene. Oh ya. Just caught at least three. The nano, the paranoia. There's no real. Udah, anjing. Di terus mak tu. Uh, bareng, bareng, masuk bareng. Okay. Yang ten. Wah, si Kiwi aja beton. Oh, saya dapat bonus ini, bro. Atau menjadi mahal? Hmm, spike nya belum diambil Eh, spike nya keliatan kan? Ngepik terus, anjir! Oh! Ngetrow ini! Harusnya 2-0, guys! Ngepik And should be where you see a little bit of a comeback here from ASC, but so far not there. Opportunities abound. They had the room. Yeah. They got the knife off. Delayed the hit coming through, but that spam through the smoke from Ada Captain. Yeah, dropping bun at the beginning was nice. Now the rules are reversed, right? Yeah. The smoker getting the webs first on Haven by ASC in this case now. The attack from foot, taking advantage of Bunt's position early, but even still, after that follow-up, they got kills coming through. You had Ishan playing around the jet. Pick, bukan pick, aja kali ini bener gue. Sebuah, sebuah kebanggaan ya, mantap. But he looked for the dart, looked for the players on site, didn't realize the player was so far back. Even if he took him out anyways, and Kiwi as well, playing very well around his teammates. Second time out of the map, called by ASC. Upgrade, bagus, bagus. Upgrade diri ya. Down five, and you know you talk ball in the previous round about how they are continuing to invest. Peak yang bener. And that's what allows them to have some sort of a buy in this round. Yeah. Baca inset Abu juga. Iya, enter kalau nggak dibaca, soalnya kan udah ini ya. Really difficult. Udah uzur. It's still a situation. In front of him, Mike has been playing this pizza position quite a lot. And the dart's deep enough that he has to break it. So right now, he's just so ready. 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 That's a position you could dash out of. Yeah, nah, I'd rather fight. Crazy when you know they know where you're at. It's crazy. I remember here to go back to the first half. It was because of the light armor. Set, pick some one, yeah, gila nih. Pede parah. Pede parah. Satu. Aduh. Another one for one. Bunt trying to anchor by himself. Ya, si Bunt aji. Kalau bagus tu dia. So good this map. Ah, tepo. Ah, tepo. Ya. Mulai nge-wife nge-wife. Nampaknya si AC ya, guys ya. Are not quite enough. They just add up to another round for foot. Sudah dimulai ini, it's throwing time. Set IGL nya, top frag lah tuh, atak-atan. Mimi was talking about this on the desk. 
they start to run out of ideas, run out of fuel. That's what happened against DRX. We saw multiple instances where they go for the same round okay. over and over and life again gets picked out of mid. Mulai bau tuh pisau. Everybody speaking by themselves. Yep. Do they have a timeout to talk about this? The call out of the timeout was, we're just gonna solo fight. <laughs> okay. And the, the, the biggest key to success for ASC in this round was the knives, and they're gone. <laughs> this Bunk. is getting ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> they're just all going one by one. And it might honestly win the round. We're going to see it, an entire round of just 1v1. Gila, bukan Mr. Valin. Perasaan ada Kapta dah, IGL-nya. Ya, antara dua lah, antara Mr. Valin sama Atta Kapta. Tau gue ingetnya si Atta Kapta. Door in his face. Has to clear that out before he even gets... Cemimiu, cemimiu. Berungkat kah, 250 kah? Alah, gampang. Kan gak balik lagi gue mah, tenang aja. Still duels possible. But they did regroup into A. You heard the dash in that direction. But he has to deal with the crossfire from A main and down in dark. Oh. Early. Almost ahead of the tap. Yeah, he was. He started tapping away before that. Si Master ada tim Indo nya enggak enggak. Kalau orang Indo ada. I mean, even this, like I understand it was a light buy, and really, if you kind of were gonna ride or ride or die off of life's knives, but as soon as you see the dart come through, doesn't really play off of anything. He just goes up, takes the fight. Kalau singkah manis. I mean, it's nice. It's it's a great attempt. So many jets go for that. Valin di lagi pediannya all Valin, Mr. Valin. Boh, dapat lagi si Kiwi bro, menggacor ni. Wah, gelo si Live, mengambil chance. Tapi tidak sadar dia sedang terbang ya guys ya. Ini namanya closing ini GG, gonek gonek map tiga guys. Real real cuy. Kiwi flash, Mr. Fallen gets a kill, Bunt's left alone. Gigi. Yeah, yeah. Prime gaming flawless to close it out, tie us up at 1-1. Great recovery. Out of foot esports. Lagu lu, ye. Yeah. Bikin channel ni merah. Lotus map tiga ya. Eh, Fute Lotus pakai apa guys? Ya, gue lupa. Uide, makasih dari jen member Uide. Astagfirullah ayam Keujanan Buset Kesian bener ya si ayam Di pasar apa di mana sih ni? Ya Allah. Eh, yang baru jadi ni balik lagi adik-adik lagi udah setuk nih, setuk nih, ha? Gue lihat-lihat. Gue pengen lihat si kangkang lagi nih anjing, OP-nya. Tese.
Gak masuk angin apa ya makanya Udah kehujanan basah Kena angin deh kan dia Bentar gua ngecek dulu guys ya Ambil ngambil minum nih Check out the place. Let's see where the sea urchin is. No, it's not fake compliment. What else do I have? Fake compliment as well. It's not fake compliment. I was being very, very serious. Okay. Here I am. Oh. <laughs> Rock you like a hurricane. What did Bob get? Here? Look at all this fancy sushi. Oh. Extra eh, Uff. Is it only me or I don't really like that much of a fan? Itu ikan apa daging, guys? Halo, halo, halo. But like somehow fatty stuff is oh, a more popular. Sakit perut. Sakit perut aja. B2, oh babi. Babi. Why the fuck you lie? Why the fuck you lie? Buset lihat cewek dikit di belakang IG IG IG. Buset sampai bawa bapak lihat tuh tahu si Jini dipotoin ya Allah. Apa jangan-jangan bawa bapak tuh nggak tahu siapa nih apa artis gue foto aja dulu dah. Oh fresh nih ngambil dulu ya siput nih. Not in season, really? The the man who Wah. IG 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 udah punya anak. Diliatin. Oh, 
Bagi chat guys. Apaan tuh anjir? Anjay. Torpedo. Kok. Nah, siapa yang masih ini? Siapa yang masih teye teye nya <laughs> Sore bro, Stever, sore. Aduh berisik banget nih suara selotip ya. Selotip jagung, aji. Nde, ngerap. Udah berapa yang bet nih? Ah, baru 95 orang ini, hey. Nih, kalau ngebet tuh ya guys ya, nih konsisten nih, gua ajarin tuh. Tuh, konsisten. Sudah agent pick ayang nanti lagi ya. Nih guys. Agent pick, agent pick guys. Bentar guys. Guys, guys, kalian berasa nggak sih? Kenapa sekarang ayam jati nangor jadi kayak mahil gitu? Kayak udah bukan tier 2 Plus Ya gak sih? Ya waktu awal-awal wow Ya kan? Harga dan rasa wow Mantap sekali harga segini Pas sini ke sini kok hmm Udah mulai wow Apa mungkin karena gua belinya di ojek online mulu kali ya? Kan pasti beda sama harga asli kalau ke sono. Beda goceng sampai sepuluh ribu. Oh, 
Karena udah populer. Iya kali ya. Tapi rasanya sih masih enak sih ya. Right on cue, you see them turning over. Mox Solomon here, he's playing tree, and they're not pushing up that way. I don't know that they're gonna spot him. He's in a really good spot to make play here. Oh gosh, every yeah, Ella si Moong. Yeah, rata guys. A one v three, four bunt. Spike planted. With forty six HP, nothing but a classic. The play would be ridiculous. The alarm was first to fall, and he follows shortly thereafter. Foot get another pistol. Lost three in a row for them. They're so crucial. When you see both sides run out of steam. Bang moji bahayan. They're so crucial. Foot since the set have looked completely. Not different. I think I agree with Kukuka in terms of the fact that ASC running out of ideas on those retakes and defensive ideas overall added a lot to what looked like Foot playing very well. But either way, the individual level, they're definitely stepped up since Haven. ASC have sent three, well, two now, because Bunch rotating away, but they've posted up aggressively in B. Doesn't seem like that's where Footer gonna head. Because there's this three man death ball exploring C while the rest of the numbers are split towards A. Dangerous proposition. We got two bulldogs. Whoop, minima Sally. The tap of the door and they just back right up. And knowing that oh. he made, was under control of the defense right now, <coughs> actually pivots them back over towards A. The original idea was to break through that breakable door and pivot towards B. Now they're gonna use the Viper Wall. Like to clear up towards a flash close, shorty close as well. He slipped the net with the shorty. He's talking up. Great weapon now. The mind up at Sato, yeah, guys. There's still so much to do, and there's not much else to go around for him. Harmless with balls. Still 3v3 here. Cracks. Live. Are you live? Double panda live. Three take attempt from ASC. Have to be a bit labored. Oh, do bang mode. Bang mod. Ah. SC just ran in, trying to up the pace like they did on Haven on those retakes. She knows mine. Just ran straight in. A couple players got trapped there too. And foot, they got both bonuses on ascent. Bang Moji ngamuk ni. The greatest of situations. The neon joins this A control side. Lima nol deh bro. The omen. The KO of Mr. Fallen and Crash. Set. Langsung distrodot. That spin a success point. Four foot over and over is when uncontested, and even when contested, that flash can do so much work. Working past the Viper Wall immediately. They've got so much space to pick this A side. HFMI is playing very close by. Okay. It's just the right time. Okay, but the wall. Right there from ASC finally coming through. Peeking on the A side. HFMI through the smoke. The turret. Obviously down now that Monk has fallen. Should leave a gap here on the B side. Foot immediately. Capitalizing on that, but the other turret down too from the distance of Maj. Cepetan, cepetan sebelum turretnya nyala. Cepetan, Lipe. Cepetan sebelum turretnya nyala. Cepetan. Maj is not actually going back. He's pulled away the turret. And life has taken all the space that he's being given. Oh, turretnya diambil. He's so far up there. Okay, mantap ini si Lipe nih. Hey, Lipe. Soon as that goes down, you know he's going to be looking for a play instead. He keeps ahead of the smoke. Jack up. Jack up. No bonus, no bonus. Makan apa ya Ben? Sore-sore, gue mau makan ayam ntar. Beli jati nangor aja lah. No bonus, there from foot. Nasi ayam tambah oseng kikil kali ya. The double peak downstairs. The flank from life as well. He was in bound for quite a while. Starts his flank as this a hit comes through. Makan ramas ay. So great timing. Nah emang udah nggak di PSG. Emang bukannya mau cabut ya? Ini kali mereka mencoba ini. 
There's no neon this time, so Blanky. much more controlled from here. foot. Blanky and Axe. Note here for ASC because the way Light played the last round. Oh, that's out. 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 And they're <clears throat> instantly used. Fast reaction from foot. To go into the seaside. They haven't challenged Muck at all. He's got a judge close by. Two Who's nanos as well to play for. Oh, of course he does. But the lockdown's going to be the line in the sand. He's going to jump in. Ah, kocak si Moong. Yeah, he already had control of the smoke, so very happy to stay there. Expecting the pounce as Kiwi gets a second. The spike does go down. Those blades that we saw that we mentioned from life at the very beginning of the round haven't even had a chance to challenge. This retake attempt is surely going to be labored. They're down in numbers. They're down in weaponry. Life upgrading one, though. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh my, I see. I see. Cut their losses. Uh. Take one with him, but that's all it is. Si Kiwi nya menyala bro. PD dia udah maju maju aja nih serada terodo. When that sky flash came through, when the only one way came through on that A side, they switch immediately to the tools they have, and ASC didn't consider it. Alhamdulillah. Makan tuh konsisten lah, konsisten makan ngebetnya kalah menang mah bodoh. Namanya juga gambling. Remember it was the judge previously, this time a Bucky. They farmed up the Viper Spit in the meantime. No smoke to play inside this time. Oh, just barely ahead of it, but still patient. <laughs> Dropped nonetheless. It's a very strange idea, given that there's Molly's down in front of him, to play in front every single time with that shotgun. Why not play back at the pillar? ASC still have three rifles to play with. But you see him having to carefully consider every possibility. Pushing forward. Past the utility and right into Maj's crosshair. Crax has already gotten Ush, three. Gila. This is really becoming ugly. The full ngamu kan ya footnya kayaknya guys. Two, you can see foot. They use a pit that actually allows them to play for post. Ade Genavi, pegang mana? Gua ade sih. Ade jati negara. You're right though, ugly it is. Four to one right now. It's back to saving here for ASC. Ada game, ada gaming kan? Ada gaming. And it's a lot of the same thing we saw in the previous round. And we've seen in a few rounds, really. Life and Bud taking a lot of space C. Playing in a small game. How disciplined can the foot be? Uh, satu doang sih, Mi. Mr. Fallen last round thought that they were eco. Because he goes solo mission again. Cracks finally does join up, though. And everything that Foot is doing, they just figure out what ASC is doing and just run the opposite way. This is three rounds now. Oh, dapat. In the face of the turret, too. Ambil, ambil, Panda. And there's going to be guns for coming. Only life to pick him up, though. And... He's but left alone with just the sheriff. Well, foot can set up in post positions. Doubled up on stairs though. That smoke might fade. Bunt is in a couple of pretty nasty sheriff shots. Aduh timing. But is he gonna be expecting? Aduh timing. Aduh timing. Ah kan? Gak siap deh. Not at all. Ketahuan orang belakang. Ya. Ya. Lemas dengan Adi. Too much for life to do. Dah coy. Cepetan panggil Navi sekarang coy. From attacking Soul Esports that we saw in that DRX game that gave DRX a little bit of trouble yeah. are definitely missing today. Even in that win against Foot here on Haven in that first map. Just not quite converting. Life had a fantastic series against DRX. Right now you're seeing a lot of moments where he's, he's ready. And definitely given the opportunity. 
Not quite hitting as hard as he was. Mm. These elimination games. Okay, bot a full body aji. If you're wondering right now, this is a foot esports timeout. Habis ini lanjut lagi kah? Lanjut apa? Oh iya, lanjut satu match lagi. Habis ini kan? Iya, lanjut satu match lagi. And force to again answer questions. This light armor strat that they've been leaning into have gotten them a couple of extra gun rounds, but they aren't really finding success there. And the info on the screen, by the way, ASC correction, it is their time now. Coming to an end right now. I was wondering for a second there, because yeah, I was really confused. <laughs> said it on the screen, I was like, hmm, you're up five one. Got to come through now, though, for ASC. I think these. Early aggressions that are continuously happening. Foot is reacting so well to them. You've got to be able to do something else with that space. An extra peek somewhere for life down B or something when you corral them and force them to rotate. But instead, it's a bit of the same. It's aggression towards C. Okay. This time it's well held though. Life is only okay. Akhirnya, kayaknya dapat perangnya. And they have follow-ups this time too. Oh, Bang Moji dari Bailing. Yeah, kocak les lu. Kecepatan. And that one way makes it impossible for him to get across to that spike to make plays. You have to look for other routes. Yeah. This will be difficult for Cracks to consider and convert. <coughs> it seems like we have a, we may have a moment to chat here. So, Bala, I, I do want to get your thoughts on this because that look that we saw was very similar to yeah, what we've, we've seen, seen out of ASC a couple of times. What what was different there? What worked? Because Foot have been able to handle that. I think the delayed stun there from Yisha was fantastic. You saw Foot wanted to fight through it. Ya buta iya lah orang kecepatan aja. Lemparnya juga salah kan? But that extra late stun. Wow. Basically, bunt to clear through everything that was going oh. through that neon wall. Not popular, Kanan. Super supportive of the rest of the team. Out of Kiwi, just for himself, he can play behind it. But there was only one lane on the left. Now it's free. But that's something that's easily adaptable against. If you're foot, you just realize, okay, let's play a little slower when you're going for this. Let's not have full confidence there, even though sometimes it can get us some value. Let's carefully, bro. Let's carefully approach the sites. Mr. Fallen, I mean, you see success from him over here. Especially when they go with cracks. Especially when they go with Kiwi. A side default working very well. Might get broken down here, though. Kildra utility, Sky utility, and HFMI to consider. Well, wait for the smoke to fade now. Timing with the smoke on stairs. The door, the paranoia, the nanos used. Wow. Guys, skema ke B, skema ke B, nah kan skema ke B kan. Sobat gua. Slate misdirection and. That turret, yeah, finally getting a little bit. It seemed like Monk was a little bit further away. None, either way, Foot have gotten their way in. Oh, no. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Ow! Yeah, last two rounds Aduh, punggung gua defense. masih kertak-kertak aja nih. They've got the lockdown Aku butuh bully. Late call for ASC right now. They're just joining up on that C side. It's not going to be a factor. But they definitely called an audible about what they wanted to do, and they're going to receive. And that is a little different from foot to respond. It's normally a nano from Maj that soars through to block that off, but this time it's the Viper Orb. It's the same call out of foot every single round, and I think against ASC. This is probably a good idea. It's the same call for them too. It's just the KJ, it's just the sky on the other side. You can start to do minor adjustments within this default. That cracks and Mr. Fallen are running on this side of the map. For example, this, breaking the door early, breaking the turret, allowing for this pivot to be threatened a lot better. <coughs> ASC still holding fast at mound. And it seems like that is where they're going to want to go. A tap of the door, a smoke, even a paranoia towards no reason to Lah, lu udahan Bang Moji. Jadi siapa yang menang? Oke, okay, nice banget Lipe. Iya, Allah meledak tuh guys. Wah. Balik ke B ini mah bro. Mr. Mong, ay ay ay. Oh, Yongchen. Tun sumpah dah. Wah ente. Pixel, because it looked like it was dead on. You're right. Stunnya terlalu depan, jadi nggak kena si Ata Kapten. That's a great way to split them up. And Foot again, super cautious. I mean, they had plenty of opportunities to pivot there with the info. That was given. Thankfully, in the final moments, it does convert for them to stay up in a lead in a good lead. Finally, a switch up here from ASC. Life's got the op and he's pushing into B. Flash everyone there, but the shot goes wide. Atta Captain does not miss, however. Kiwi wanting it to go, but the fault line keeps him at bay for the time being. Ooh, double top. Ooh. Second shot, this time successful from life. It's crazy too that he is able to use the remaining portions of that dash. Yes. Activated at the very beginning of that round when the initial peak happened. Pada ke C kah? Oh ke A Nah makanan si Laipe Aduh udah di peripayur There's no real reason to believe until it gets cleared out, and that's exactly what just took place. Oh, Bunt's fighting here. Up in heaven. You should run. Ishan's close by. But they're going to respect the lockdown. They have to. Is Bunt going to... 30 seconds left. There's a counter roll possible if he gets over towards Waterfall. Thought he was going to hold for a moment and stay. Aftershock again. He's still getting delayed. Flash onto the swing, looking to find yes, the space. Lagi. There's the defender's KJ lockdown. They can play from B yep. main here, but Bunt does have a smoke mm. and finding kills on the X. Cepat juga ngopiknya ya, gila anjing. Not help foot here. Cracks has 7 HP. Terus karat. You almost stick this outside the mall. Ih, tangannya Bang Moji. Lah! What? Masih dapet anjir. Ishan, 1v2. Ya Allah, udah sekarat loh. Ah. Getting it down to a 1v1. Get the tap is there. No utility. He's got to take the fight. Time is short. Ya kocak ditungguin dah. Gak ada dong, gak ada waktu dong. Ya kocak. Bang Moji dapat dua bisa-bisanya. A turnaround for Maj. First thing he does, by the way, he's all the way A main, throws a molly. A line up from the other side of the map, then goes on the lurk. 
Torce el maldito que vas a hacer. No puedo decir. Ya, makasih replaynya. Trauma Betty nanti. There's just so much staying power. Life with the blades. What? What? It's every okay. time with this guy. Every time you think he's overstaying, there's no way he gets a kill. He's so dead. He's so done. Takes one with him. Stays alive. Uh. Still. Zip. Yeah. Cracks the control. Get invested into this one. Monk's got a shotgun again. Push kawan gua nih pakai baki. From mount. Bunt has the paranoia. There it is. Dropped out and that's gonna follow back the remaining defenses from foot. So close. Okay. Si. Allah. Tu sama dengan ini bunuh Gideon. TV2 still. Oh my god, apa kabar dan? I like this monk guy. I mean, these rounds, all of it. This game is getting ridiculous. Monk is insane. You know, we saw those closing open, but those closing moments. Think about life at the very beginning of the round. Jet China lebih jago dari Jet India kah? Ham. Huge play. That was his pick. And they planted the open for it too. By the way, if they don't break that nano that landed early, I've got a nine trickers and Kadi. Aja, I lost Killjoy. Niat bet. Last round of the half, and it's an aggressive one. Kiwi instantly using his ult in conjunction with Mr. Fall and getting behind him. The paranoia. There's. Okay, never mind. Bunch has got a head on a swivel. Still got him in the back line. Okay, santai, santai, santai. Fall forces them to get off. Are you? Life evacuates. The space stays alive. Four mollies available here. They have to hold on to mount. That's the only condition for this round. The door is just a threat. HFMI playing on the other side of it. They might breach out here. They do. Onto the site, but not going to hit anyone. They need to fight the mount players. And that's exactly where they are. HFMI still in a position to make a big play, but he's waiting for the right moment to strike. And he's done. Molly missed. Two left for ASC. Make that one. Is that enough? Monk on the tap, but he drops down. Surely he's been heard! But Monk gets the kill! Masih belum. Ada Captain, for sure heard him. The dude shooting his weapon. He knows he's off. And that's gonna hurt for foot. 84 sih gak keras, tapi kemarin ada yang ke-comeback dari 84 siapa ya guys ya? He just gave you more reason to like him. What a play. A 1v3 to close things out. Unreal. Oh, and a look of disbelief on a couple of members of Foot. to start getting to you. And it doesn't get any greater than this. Facing elimination. Lagu lu. Golden boy. Gua kasih lagu gua biar aman. Wah, like-nya stuck 600 aja nih guys Hari ini guys ya Ya, ada yang rungkat ya Di lap set, mantap Rungkat gara-gara all in map pertama ke FUT Wah salah all in harusnya map 2 ya Mas si Mas upload day 3 kah? Tetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
Dah lama turun dah. Wow, the grill, guys. Terlihat gak? Just a couple rounds away from avoiding elimination, from staying alive. ASC are the ones who are staring up a greater mountain. It's crazy to think that we started this with a dominant half out of ASC and a dominant map on Haven from them. But here we are in the series. Ini dapat kaju, ha? Amin. They're down on this map. Back on the attack. They've had some struggles here. Life looking around with the sheriff. Not much to find though. It's interesting here. It seems like they're so concerned with the right there. Flank from C. They have three members holding still back in spawn. The spike is most advanced with life right now. Yeah. And it's exactly like we saw on the sense on Haven. They're peeking all over the map. At this point, open the revolving door. Break. Just broke the panel. Yep. Flash into B as well. It's just like an overstimulation of possibilities for the defensive side to consider. Because so far, you've seen presence everywhere. <laughs> But they end B. Kiwi spam, not gonna land. Dapat satu. Okay, mantap. Flick is clean out onto Ad Captain. Kabur dong nanti si Bang Moji. Foot has won the last three pistols. E. Trying to scale forward in the face of the paranoia. You see the flash coming through. He should try to swing around. He's landing some damage, but it's not enough. It's not fatal. Aduh. Oh, mantap. Mantap, 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 mantap. Gila bakal kalah tadi piknya anjing. Aduh. Oh my god, dia ganti senjata. Kan aduh kan. Kan aduh kan. Mr. Fallen. What a play. Wah, masa saat saatnya buff turun guys? Ah, nggak usah lah ini mah. Bukan bukan apak pret, bukan apak pret ini guys. Gak usah, bukan apak pret ya, sayang sayang. And switch your direction so fast too. Bang, aku gabut lah. Nontonnya nonton. Kali ini lu hilang. Emang iya iya, mau gue bilangin. Ini ada channel namanya Vic tidak punya izin tapi nonton. Hilang. Uh. Booooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
I mean, these smokes, every single time life goes for a smoke for him to dash out, they just spam it. It's just so uh, predictable in a sense, at least on the side of oh. they seem to have had their number. Only one player here here here. who went down, died outside of a smoke. Is it falling apart for ASE? And I. It's unfortunate, but. Yeah! So let's say it now. Flawless comes through. For ASC, this got to be at the worst. Mari can defend every day. They bought up a little bit there. They're going to need to rely on what has been their plan this entire time, which is light armor. But while that's happening, they're considering the fact that they might be going home in a few rounds. Their run, their opportunity to take their first win for China on international stage might be fleeting in their hands. Right there. Ever since that first map win on Haven by them, things have been different. Very different. Foot's woken up. ASC. That energy that they came in with has been lacking since. This is the team that pushed DRX in a two-map series, yes, but definitely made it so that those DRX players had to sweat. They made it competitive. They made it interesting. Okay, more on. But they, as you're saying, the interest has been gone since Haven, to be honest. Early pick, though. Shifts things slightly. Silently walking through HFMI. He's all the way up the stairs. Maj looking for him. And it's HFMI who finds him. They've got the gaps now. Those two nanos are gone. Two nanos are gone. You do have Ad Captain close by, though. He's playing in the smoke. Wow, and they've just used huge retake tools. A flash. Two flashes for Mr. Fallen and Cracks to re-clear b -Man. They didn't really oh, believe no, this but was the And the threats of lurkers so often. Capitalized for ASC. He said they needed to take the money. But if they take the money, it's going to kill them. It's going to kill them. It's going to kill them. It's even now. Let's go! Something that you imagine you wanted to be able to preserve. But is that going to be enough to secure the round? Fall line there. Mmm. Mmm, and up. Not even able to get it to half. So for Atta Captain, this would be way too much. The spam mm. secures the round for ASC. Itu kan tebelas, no? By the skin of their teeth, though. Yeah. HFMI is the only one who stays alive in that one. Nafinya lagi cupu. Ya kemarin sih, nggak tahu kenapa ya. Ada aneh we. Apa aneh? Apa IPP mention you in the story? Oh, apa nih? Pasti record nih, record. Nih nggak? Record, record kan nih? Came in from them. Record, dong. And they win the round, but they got a long run. Hello, run. Timeout coming in. Orang tua susah susah ngajarin jujur. Kamu malah bilang hit para hit para. What a, I mean, what a luxury of a position to be in if you're foot. You're up six rounds. You still have two timeouts. Ya, jokesnya bapak-bapak sekali ya. Enggak jokes bapak-bapak banget sih, cuman ini relate ke PUBG. Lagunya lagu ini lagi Tuhan, eh. Almost forever. Well, if I remember correctly, too, they they lost that 10-2 lead on the defensive side, which is exactly where they find themselves. But like you're saying, entirely different team, entirely different situation. The pressure much greater. Mau lihat bang kan punya Instagram, tinggal lihat sendiri. Ini kan gue repost. Iya saya sebagai I Mister sangat mengerti. Really much more time to dwell over Nerti this. Adik. Kiwi has already gotten so far up. They want to try to apply some pressure. That late paranoia is going to cause so many problems. Bunt's dead. There were so many layers Nerti to the dan sudah of the foot. The stun, the paranoia late, and the kill. 
Hindi, pakaemot. Once again, so far up mid. Seekers in the flash, nothing found, but space gained. Life swinging through the first knock, not landing. The second one does, and an opportunity for more a position to make a play. It's HFMI who's on the trade. Trades it through. Foot. Trying to hold on to the space. You could see actually on the waterfall side, they were mollying twice. They threw a nano swarm and a snake bite to hold it down. That saves the space for the defense. Surely you saw him. Yeah, the defense. That gege, gege, guess what? Eh, boring nih ya, AC, babi lah. Apa harus gua katain nih? Ah, ngeri lo tuh. Udah, kalah lu, kalah, kalah. Ngapain tuh si Mong? Panggil Navi sekarang, coy. Cepetan. Went down early. In this group stage, the team that has not yet qualified for champs, none of the NBA teams have. They thought they were done for after that early game, but Navi lost as well. So that battle continues. Asum F1 cuma over perform. Just a stun from foot towards A main this time, and a knife. No aggression, no positioning. Wah sejam lagi lampu gua bakal mati nih. ASC might be done here after this round. For first showing at an international end. They turned some eyebrows in that first series. But here they might be the first team to exit for Masters Tokyo. Desperation and the need to put everything behind this possible final punch. Lockdown invested. And the space gain, but HFMI falls. I mean, everything is scattered. You see it on the minimap. They're trying to corral them to control them defensively, but it seems like there may be attempt at a reflank. And look at all the space gain from ASC2. They've walked into it. Rolling Thunder. Mr. Fallen's, Mr. Fallen's behind them. He's going to be creeping up towards B. Are they going to be expecting the pressure? Yes, Bunt does. 3v3 now. Huh? The spike continues to tick away. There have been so many pesky fights happening elsewhere. But the main target, time, becomes the problem. Can Foot get in? Yeah! One, two. Okay, okay, okay. Maj gets it down to this that. This ticket is bang mo. Oh! Alone, a 1v1. Kiwi at half. 34 HP. Kiwi on the tap. Oh. The swing. Belum, belum, guys. Belum, belum. The Red Bull Clutch keeps ASC alive. Belum, belum. Selamat si Moong. How do they hang on to that one? I think they're recognizing instantly what Foot is doing when they get up these sites. They're playing so far back, knowing that they want to push. But instead of pushing, they scatter backwards, but take so much space back in A main. One enemy remains. To make it so difficult for Foot to retake some of that space. No, they don't push Waterfall. No, they don't push Spawn in Heaven. But that battle will endure. You can see it's much. Gue mau udah siap rungkat, bang. And we've got low econ for foot. Is the overdrive is active for Kiwi. They've taken all the space C. Ini kayak makin buruk di gambar. Oi, 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 ini laser, guys. Ujung ke ujung, ku beras. Wah, wah, dikasih es ini. Dikasih es closingannya, kerja. Indah, indah, indah. Mantap, FPP. Gila Sayur di air-air bro What a way to end the map from Kiwi The star player who's been quiet so Dah jangan lama-lama lagu lu ya monyet Bentar Nah gini ya Plasingannya malah ace ya kocak tuh Strut Strut Hmm Sembur terus Hmm Ya, error. Map satu. 
Natus Pincere Navi Edward Gimang EDG Buka nah. Berapa lama nih Oh iya kita pesan itu dulu kali ya Udah jam 4 Biar makannya sore ya Kita pesan apa namanya Jati Dangor dulu Eh bentar Gue belum isi Oppo co Eh kontol jatuh kita nonton ayang dulu ya guys ya nah, taruh youtube di sini ya yang jadi makan apa nih dia selain sushi di putih mana Jadi pengen mesen jatin nangor juga, gas ayo kita mabar Makan bareng Saya salah tanggal berapa guys? 13 ya? Allah Akbar Beri tiup anjing Aduh Waduh ada wrap and roll Ini juga enak nih guys Kalian lihat Buh Madep gak bro Sabar Ada lagi nih Mana ya Korean Sam yang wrap Tuh Korean Samyang Rap Anjay Mantep kayak ya Dari gambarnya bro Harganya murah lagi anjir Gak sampai Gue kira bakalan Kalau yang gini-gini tuh 50 ribu Ternyata 30 ribu Gambar oke okay. Iya nih Harus dites dulu Nanti aja lah kita makan yang bener dulu jati dangor ah jati dangor rosnya yang di mana yang paling deket ya oh ini aja nih Lah, ini gimana sih? Pakai jaton jati nangor special large unavailable, tapi beli scramble egg bisa. Hah? Kamu mau melucu, hey? Aneh ya? Ah, bro. Gue pengen beli ininya dah Pomegranat atau apelnya Tapi gak usah lah Air putih aja deh 
kita beli dulu guys Ovo, oke Diskon jadi berapa? Anjay Jadi 35 ribu <laughs> Mampus anjing Gue scam loh Beli telur, oh iya telur, ah, aduh Ah gak usah lah, telurnya bikin sendiri aja Bikin orang arik sendiri lebih enak Pakai susu, pakai keju Kalau gak bikin omelet gua, bikin omelet bisa Grab, iya pakai grab Karim, bed sokap ya bebas. Aku mau dead match ya guys. Aku mau menjadi dead match demon ya kalian perhatikan anjing kelas. Dead match demon, oke? Okay. Skin araksis araksis ya perhatikan perhatikan. Dead match demon. Di mana itu di ini di grab di grab grab. Terlali. Match found. Baik kak, segera diproses. Oke. Okay. Beli kosong bet kosong nih perut gua anjir. The fuck fraktur anjing. Tereret, tereret, gua Mampus lu Makan bang, yuk makan Aduh. Yee, si Neon disitu lagi Don't stop fighting, you must keep going, even if you're the only one Fight! Sir. Cim Mosfet pakai apa? Pake tisu basah Gua lagi males nyabunin Aduh satu lagi Araxis setelah masuk high tier skin final Iya Jadi nggak ada naik market Patah-patah anjing pakai display capture nih. Ya 
Whoa. Lúc xưa luôn anh ta Cái hầu luôn Tuần bà tuần ảo mắt Tuần bà tuần ảo mắt Tuần bà Cacat tembak Eh kabur lu hanya Anjing Map band Apaan sih map band Baru interview udah map band Eh map 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 Yang punya palo lu Awus minum awus. Eh, pentem jadi ringan gini anjir. Gue jongkok mulu dah Lo kan jongkok mulu ajik Diki Aduh, nggak pala. Ih, jelas. Oh, Allah, hu akbar langsung pala-pala orang dah. Pentemoman, pentemoman, pentemoman. Ini Astra jago banget, sumpah. Gak bohong gue. Anjing. Icewi nih, siapa yang main nih Icewi nih? Coba kita ganti skin panda apa yang enak lah Team Ace Vandal Naga Naga beku Gue punya naga beku nih Anjing naga beku Gini sini Pada bangpor ya Kita coba dulu nih bangpor Soal vandal enak gak enak Gue punya Death match. Warm up.
Ah patah-patah anjir Itu tuh FPS gua Turun ke 100 No No lihat tuh Dari 200 Ke 100 to hmm. Gajelah kan ini game Sekarang map apa udah ganti bang udah beres Anjir patah kia anjing Tadi baru beres Baru Buset Mana sih? Eh, sama hati. Anjir. Oh, set dah. Ah, kena. Kocak lu sage, bokong-bokong. Sakit Kenapa ala Oh gak apa-apa Anjing Oh, ada yang spawn di heaven ya? Oh, anjing tuh sniper, nggak bisa display. Jt 2810 anjir Ini jarang ketemu Jt gue Main dimana dia anjing Allah oh, wakbar Oh, 
Leute. Pada B aja tu jet anjing. Kau yang tolong tapi. Eh mau popin popin lo monyet. Anjing udah dingin tuh. Duh. Tiga lagi guys Babi 137 coba Aduh No Aku satu lagi babi Chin up that was good Why Joy? Aku kadang-kadang suka ngeliat ini. Siapa tahu ada yang ketemu di ranked. Ah, harusnya kan satu rank ya. Lagi baru setting-setting nih Coba udah berapa menit guys 23 menit ya Masih kayak 20 menitan lagi nih anjir Kita lihat jadwal ya Harusnya sih jam 5 nih No jam 5 kan Apa gue bilang Jam 5 pas Sensi Tanda seru sens Udah bener itu pikri Ntar kita ganti foto Navi dulu Anjay ni, kang 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 guys. Quick question, we're gonna get a translator here for you. The last time you played, you popped off. It was a crazy game. What did you make of your own performance? 上次的表现非常的出色，然后很疯狂。想问一下，你对于自己的表现有什么样的评价呢？
就很平常嘛，我感觉这只是我一部分的力量。今天我要把我另外一部分力量带过来，就是我们拿下那里。啊、oh? uh, ？I just play as usual, uh, and it's part of my stress. Uh, I'll do best, do all the best for today's matchup. Thank you very much. 谢谢康康，谢谢。Honestly, I felt like uh, I, I blessed the translator for not going in as hard as Kang Kang did, but he kind of <laughs> said, he kind of said, you know, I'm used to performing like that, nothing new. But what people don't know is that that's actually half of my power. And today, Doug, we're apparently, according to Kang Kang, are gonna witness the other half of what he can do. And I'm excited. Artinya apa tu? Dengerin. Udah biasa gue main kayak begitu mah katanya. Ini tuh masih setengahnya power gue. Jadi lo better hati-hati lo katanya gitu. Hong Kong, there's a lot to be excited for. I mean, we just saw T1 and their strength against NRG. Yeah. And Navi lost to that team. NRG squeak away with the win. But I'm just thinking, if they did that against T1, and they were so close, honestly, probably should have carried through. We had so many lagi, kalau udah gua transitin, apa iya? Emang iya? Udah, udah kebaca pure-pure sekarang tuh. Kayak, nothing surprise. I can see how hard he took that loss saying here, I just can't sleep at all. He never tweets, by the way. This is like once a year uh, he tweets this. But his performance, Doug, is not even just good, you know, for someone of his region or someone of his role. It was just, uh, uh, like, yes, makanan gua gila -gila datang. one of the best performances we've seen from anyone. Tuh yeah, nongol. Iya yeah, ada kan? Hard to argue with. I think undisputed is the best way. Aku baca bro. I want to go back to what Balo was saying because I think you're right. He had the opportunity to carry it the entire way through. And given what kind of form we see out of Navi today, he may have to do that. I, I think specifically when I look at that tweet as well, just not being able to sleep. The guy plays with so much energy, yeah. and it's not surprising to see it run out. So you do have to kind of rely on some of the other players on EDG, especially because they have so many crazy Yuto combos and compositions as well that they run. That is part of their success too. So I don't want to put it all on Kong Kong to win this game. Yeah, and speaking of that, we do have uh, Kong Kong Napi, here talking Andy. with his but actually a Honda guy, eh? as well as oh, yeah, they but Nafi, eh? to Masters Tokyo. Apaan ya? Halo, saya jauh. Saya dari EDG ZMJJKK. Kamu boleh jauh Kang Kang. ZMJJKK, call me Kang Kang. Saya不能够一贯的去利用自己的激进去创造那种优势，在适当的时候应该缓下来，去想一想团队怎么让队伍赢下这场比赛。我觉得我们现在在做一些事情，就是我们需要去学习，但是这并不代表我比他们弱。我们有自己赛区的独特，我觉得参加第三次无畏无无畏契约的感觉应该是更兴奋吧，因为我觉得我能够赢更多的比赛，在这一次更证明了自己，向全世界证明一下我们到底有多厉害。Okay. 我有这样想过，因为我玩这个游戏就是为了站在世界舞台上，告诉所有人，我能，我不比他们差，我比任我不比任何人差，甚至我比他们都厉害。就我我现在觉得，我们如果打好自己的东西的话，我们是有胜算的。面打来玩故事的，其实都有胜算的。我们在该激进的时候，我们会打得特别激进，然后在该稳的时候，我们也知道一个怎么去怎么去稳定下来。现在我们五个选手也是。交流着打嘛，所以说就能够更灵活的场，就是在场上的时候能更灵活的去转变一些思路吧。其实我根本就不在乎中国位缺第一的那种 title， 我只在乎我们能不能拿下世界第一的。World number one Valorant team， 安静。现在队伍自信程度肯定是百分百的，然后。现在队内的状况是每天都在紧急的训练、备战的环环境当中。先是给自己定一个比较小一点的目标吧，先赢赢第一场，然后后面的也会竭尽全力赢。觉得不单单是对于我的意义吧，包括我的团队，所有人都是一个很珍贵的一个，嗯，一个一个一个回忆吧，在未来的话。因为我们在前两次经历了世界赛的时候，我们把一些所困难的东西，在这一次我们完美的规避掉了，或者自己能够化解掉一些我们之前遇到的那些问题。所以说，我们现在在努力的备战，努力的去适应环境，然后
，现在又没有了时差那些干扰，所以说我觉得我们就应该大展拳手，分、啊、手了。首先，先是 team work 上面，肯定是在比 log in 的时候要提高了不少的，然后再加上一些比赛当中的一些细节也是有所提高。对于打法上面的话，我觉得随机应变比较重要一点吧，因为我们的打法并不是像 EM。Tadi lagunya kebanyakan nih. Lama-lama ke blok nih. Ini yang kemarin replay masih aman kan guys? Aduh, ini gua udah datang lagi bentar ya. I mean, they are chasing that win, and today could be that opportunity. But when I was watching Hong Kong in the last game, uh, I, know, I was like, this is Prime 10 CNED, and everyone else mixed together in one. And Bala, we're going to get Hong Kong versus CNED today. What a it's <sighs> and honestly, it's weird because CNED hasn't been playing much of that jet that Hong Kong is really fierce with. We're seeing it on almost every map for him. He's a beast, and this matchup is going to deliver today for sure. I can only hope that this might mean that Kong Kong finds himself on a Yoru or something. If we had the <laughs> Yoru CNED or the Kong Kong CNED uh, Yoru matchup, that'd be gold. But yeah, I think he's going to have his hands full, right? Because CNED has shown he's, we've seen it a couple times in this tournament already. You saw it in the stats just a few moments ago. The guy can take over a game. He seems so much more comfortable on the Ray's role, which is a conversation that we had leading up in the tournament, too. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to me, but uh, honestly, as a fan of Nami, I'm disappointed with the rest of them and not CNED, and yeah. I have to put as much importance on CNED's performance that we just put on Kong Kong's performance because I think he's the key to this team. I think he's the only guy who kept them energized in that first series that they played against NRG. I mean, this operator battle is going to be crazy. I cannot wait to see it. We've heard from EDG already. It's time to hear uh, from Na'Vi. Here's Doom Bros. Doom Bros, my friend, I need some good news for the EMEA boys. Now, you're playing against EDG. We don't get too many of those teams in EMEA. Uh, how much adjustments have you had to make to go from a team like NRG to EDG? EDG is a completely different playstyle from NRG. So I think for us, we've just been preparing the whole day, uh, preparing some protocols, and just uh, thinking about how we should deal with very push very playstyle. I feel confident. Yeah. We need that confidence. Thank you very much, Doom Bros, and good luck. I mean, this is such an interesting match. Uh, we heard from Atta Captain earlier. Uh, they tried to counter the Chinese playstyle. It didn't work, so they just went back to doing uh, what they usually do. Do you guys think that's the, uh, the the optimal game plan for Navi as well, just to do what they do? I think the two Chinese teams that we've seen so far at this tournament are night and day difference. I think EDG plays a completely different pace. Yes, ASC can throw that in there, but I think EDG is consistently going at you with these random set plays. I liken them to Paper X. And I think that Navi versus Paper X battle that we saw last year was yeah. very interesting. And I think they should be prepared, but it's about so many of their players stepping up to deal with it. Oh, and I think a lot of it too is how do you prepare for something like that, right? Like Two Bros was just saying, we're gonna be prepared. We know what we wanna do. We've been prepping for it all day. This isn't something that you study and you read the defaults and then kind of go around that. It's much more difficult. Yeah, and it's scary if you are a Navi fan because in every tournament they've gone to, this goes back even further, by the way, First Strike, the regional EMEA master, they have never finished outside of the top four. And today could be the first time that they don't even make it out of the groove stage, Doug. I cannot imagine a world uh, where it happens for this Na'Vi team. Yeah, it is insane to think about. The pedigree of success that this roster has had, you go back to their previous banner that they donned, they're good. They're historically very good. And these are situations in which they thrive. But again, this is a very chaotic beast that you're going up against. Yeah, it's crazy to me because this is like one of the first times that they've, I mean, they haven't played many group stages, but they often at least go up into that winner's match. They're down in the elimination and it's very unprecedented. Yeah, it is indeed. Uh, let's take a look at uh, map select now and see which map we're going to be going to. All right, let's get started. Match three, last match of the day. Um, so EDG, you are higher seed. Do you want team A or team B? Team B. Team B, okay. So Navi will be team A. And we will start with your first band. Haven, your band? Okay, uh, map number one. Pearl. Side on Pearl. Attack. Okay. Map number two. 
Pearl, 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 Pearl. Okay. Uh, side on mine. Okay. Defense. Hello? Wow. Oh. Udah gak ada yang nonton ya? Ya, udah gak ada yang nonton guys. Bro, dilepas bro. Wah. Nih ya, bahaya nih kangkang nih hati-hati guys ya. Enak tuh Ben, apa enak? Makan ya guys ya. Oh, kosong banget. Hmm. Asin. Ayo Suigetsu, kamu harus dewa. Aku yakin Sui bisa, guys. Bismillahim. Hmm. BTW adik-adik ya Ayam jati nangur Ternyata semakin mengecil But there were so many questions about how they chose to go about it, Bob. I think you were equally surprised. Yeah, that was one of the most emotive Matt Vito speeches. Yeah. Makasih yang gepember. Iya, gila. Makasih empat bulannya. Pearl, when they could have picked Fracture, and they also have Lotus as a third map, which yes, they won against NRG. But bro, you cannot tell me that that map looks good for Navi yet. I loved it as soon as EDG said bind. Eh, Navi, kamu tidak mungkin dong bodoh-bodoh. Yes, map satu meta Cina, guys. Map satu meta Cina. This is a map they actually they should have won. Let's be honest. Yeah, they should have won against T1. Honestly, I'm. Ingat map satu meta Cina. T1 and shows the reason why in this group that T1 has a big opportunity. After even after that loss against NRG, they look so good, and it speaks more to them than EDG in my mind. EDG still should have closed that map out, and I think it's a fierce pick to go for for Navi. They must have seen something. Meta Cina apaan ya? Ketahuan gak nonton tadi FUT ya? I freaking love the map. The matchup is going to be good for it too. Yeah, I am also a little bit worried because when it comes to reps, yes, Navi they're undefeated. But if you take a look at what they did in regular season, they played Giant, Thailand, Christina, Asin, Mantap, Team Heretics. This is not a map that good EMEA teams, the top level ones, even like to play. So I don't know why they win here, Bala. They must have a plan. And let's take a look at the Prime Gaming Asian Select. What do you think? Get so feel joy. With what they know, I guess it's so far away from other teams that are playing. It's the single controller with the Sova, the KJ. Oh, I really liked this in the past, but I think we've shifted in such a drastic direction away from it. And what it is is what EDG is playing. The Viper Harbor. That stuff is consistent. Yeah. So fast, the ang. The ability to control B using the utility of both of their controllers. We've seen how smothering it can be and North America has adopted it heavily in the Americas region, excuse me, and it just has not translated the same way in EMEA. I think the big problem for Navi on that map and trying to play for that comp is the role issue still and it's definitely a factor here. Well, this is going to be a crazy bloodbath. I can't wait to get into this and throw this over to your casters. It's Bren and Sideshow. Thank you, Yitsu. Yeah, I mean, you guys have set up this match perfectly. It's going to be a special one. Yeah. Edward Gaming versus Navi as well. The battle between China and EMEA, it continues. It stretches 
further beyond, and there's so much on the line as well. I mean, it's already been teamed up for us, hasn't it, Josh? It certainly has. I mean, the, the possibility of having to go through LCQ, as Yintu was saying, almost unthinkable for an RB squad that everyone was expecting to be a top two team in the EMEA. And that did not happen. They ended up being the fourth seed, and now they're the ones at risk. That's what's on the line for them today, not just being eliminated from Masters Tokyo, obviously, which both teams are playing to avoid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that first chance as well for Edward Gaming to really get that They nearly win. didn't have it. They I nearly mean, didn't have it. We watched Attacking Soul Esports just play this match against Foot, and I, I thought there was a chance there that Edward Gaming would come into this match not even able mm. to win China's first match, but they've still got that on the table. Still there to play for, and much more. It's an elimination game. The heat is being turned up. We set our sights as well over towards Pearl as our opening map between these two teams, and, and I am so yeah, Allah, you got it, it. Got it, got it, got it. That's the matchup. That I'm really looking forward to. Oh, Let's here it is. Right into me. Whoa, Kang Kang. Preordained is what it feels like. Kang Kang. Why did you get hit? One in the tally. Let's see how this fight gets taken. Not nah, taken care of. An attempt there from Sigetsu, but he's brought down, traded. Chichu now running down and getting the squeeze onto Angel. He's going to be able to hear all of this. He has to hold close to default, but he is being swamped from two different directions. Cove. Recall star, or at least a normal star, yeah, at least to great. get him back out and into safety. Really well done by Shao there, throwing help utility for Angel. Can he make anything? Let's regroup with the rest of his Ange, team. Ange, oh. Still, play it as advantage for now. Ah. Smoke fade. Ah. Ah. Equalizing a little bit though. Maybe they can make something from this. Haodong, low on HP. Nice gets a bit of information. That might tell him that Haodong is in back hall though. And he's not, he's tucked over a general. The bomb thing. Spamming onto that corner. Still weak enough. How long takes the fight? Yeah. Over with Chichu. That's going to be a pistol round. Going away of Edward Gaming. And Kang Kang starts it off by winning that aim duel against C Ned. You are going to see this jet head to head constantly on Pearl. And mostly from EDG. EDG's composition, the meta comp, is built around putting Kang Kang into those positions. He's going to be uh, opping a ton as well on the defense side. Navi's composition, it's really weird. I mean, we, we saw them play it at locking kind of before this Harbor Viper meta got established. It looked really good. In fact, all time, you might be surprised to know that Navi are eight and zero on this map. They've never lost on Pearl, That's despite crazy. the fact they don't play any Harbor Viper. They've also not really played against, listen, I don't want to rag on the EMEA teams too badly, <laughs> but they, they haven't played against any teams that are considered great yeah. on this map. So that might be one of the big reasons why they're undefeated still. Pearl tends to get avoided quite a bit in the EMEA. Huh? Or avoided entirely, so you are completely correct. For that point, you know, threat, you know, preparation and practice they might have against you know, some better teams out in the map. It should be quite clean, though. Assuming uh, you get the spike down, taking a time with it. And also, this this has got to be traumatic for EDG having to start on this map after it's been the heartbreaking, confidence-crushing way in which they've lost. Two of their best opportunities to secure the doang, mati, kang, kang. for China. You think back to Lockheed, EDG, hearts broken. 12 14 loss to 100 Thieves. <clears throat> and then we saw it again in this tournament to T1. The exact same thing 12 14 loss in the final map on Pearl. Just history keeps repeating itself in cycles for this team. They can't get it over the line on Pearl despite being a really good squad. So they're hoping for something different here. To bounce back from that mentally really what you need to perform at the highest level for these big international tournaments. I mean, the desk was talking about it. Kang Kang's tweet as well about him losing sleep over these losses. Don't blame him. Yeah. It's been hard fought. The guy certainly been doing his fair share of deadlifting for the team. But let's take a look at this round now. A couple of rifles in the hands of the EDG. So there is some danger here. Yeah, absolutely. So slightly. Their economy is excellent, in fact. So EDG are going to go and take a main control. Zipan's just jiggle peeking that. Hasn't seen anything just yet. There it is. Information for Zipan is going to be backing away almost immediately here. Stars still available to be activated. This fight has taken an art, though. That's an important one. So he wins it, pushing through the high tide. Again, just squeezing through the back. Angel's still alive. Mm, so again, the watchful eye on all of the extremities. The trade's been good, but Sugetsu, he's got past this nano. Sorry. Still smoggy. Bah. He's there. In his hands, a short one. Full He's already, already four kills for him. The lockdown placed. Cned. 
sees the spike, but he does have to vacate. He's got to get out of there. And he's trying not to give away any information either. He's just walking, narrowly avoiding detainment. But he know where he is. Cascade now pushed into mm, the space. This way, mm. Snake Bite avoided. Tap onto the spike. No one's watching. But wow, Smoggy set hey, up. Smoggy. For the ace. Smoggy, the highest rated player in the most recent tournament run that they had in China. Uh, not in t not the top of the turbulent in terms of the fragging because that's almost always going to be Kang Kang, but arguably one of the most impactful players that they have. He's gone from being that main duelist for the team while Kang Kang was playing the chamber back in the old days. Now just being a full time flex for the squad. He's playing initiator, he's sometimes playing duelist for them. You'll see him on Lotus later on. And now on Killjoy, showing you what he's capable of. EDG's one of their biggest win conditions is getting the other players that aren't Kang Kang online. Great start. Amazing start. I mean, this is Navi's map pick of Pearl. They went here after watching, you know, Edward Gaming have these incredibly close losses on the international stage most recently as well, maybe expecting that they could have an advantage here, but so far, so good. Yeah, now third round, man. They've knocked Navi down to the half by. This is going to be very difficult for Navi to hold on and avoid a, a 0 4 beginning. These bad starts to maps were plaguing Na'Vi. Their game against NRG, they started map one, two, six down. Map two, one, eight down. Tapi tolong penatik istri lo tahu, ah. One, eight down. Ambil, I mean, the beginning of the map were just diabolical, but that's maybe an opening for Zipan's foul. Actually a great one, but, well, Sina just can't quite claim it. Gila, one sama si Kang Kang, bro. It's even doubt. Four versus four. Dipik terus ini, berasa liat Olil. Gaming in, look how they're playing. They stumbled up towards the back of Horse. It's a stun at the feet of Howard on, but swings out. He claims his just before it's said and done. Well, Shao is really not quite making a mess of this. He's really just yeah, going back into it, because suddenly... Yeah, kocak. You cannot count a team like that. Nge-throw a small smile there on Zipan's face. Chichu made an absolute mess of that one in the duel against Angel. But Navi were also getting some blind shots off. Shao in particular, on the Astro with a Sheriff in hand. And you're right, you can never count a team like this out. Even when they're playing a little sloppily or they're in a slump, <laughs> the individual ability on players like Shao to get to, the mechanics, the aim, is just sublime. Yeah. I'll play him with a point to prove. Might have seen my top 10 list, I'm not too sure, but <laughs> those shots were quite good. And look at what that's done for the economy. CNED gets an operator in round five. Watching towards mid. It's interesting, I mean, Edward Gaming, when they've been playing Pearl, not too much nuance in terms of their play on this map of the attack side. It's heavy emphasis placed towards A and B, the far, other side of the map in terms of those extremities. Middle, they don't really put too much play into, but uh, Cena chooses to watch it. Here we go. High tide ripped across, is having to really shove him off mm. that angle because again, holds his ground, dashes back. Great opener. Nice timing from Cena finding the opening kill there. Kang Kang's looking to see if he can equalize things over towards A. It's so interesting hearing the desk and Doom Bros discuss EDG as being a very aggressive team. Actually, in my opinion, one of the least aggressive of all the Pacific squads that we have at this tournament. Or at least, they're the team that knows when to slow it down. Yeah. I'm saying in the content piece as well, Kang Kang himself. Oh my. Agile with the movements he gets it though, does not evade going down. Yeah, that's opened things up on the other side. So it's a 4v4, but now Navi have lost control of B. The Seekers will tell them everything. Out of the way for a safe plan, Angel. Kenapa bukan Shao yang pakai sofa? Soalnya si Angel cuma bisa omen. Setahu gua ya, cuma bisa omen untuk semua orang. Buh, gila nobody. Dapat dua nih situ. Absolutely ludicrous. It's a bad plant though. This Astro Wall is going to be really important here. Yeah, it's committed. It's going to force Edward Gaming to play in front of this now, or at least to try and pick and choose a timing past it. Can anyone hear the diffuse noise? It looks like Smoggy might be able Yo, to. Yo, ulas si Kang Kang. Lo mau apa? Timing there. The misplay potentially. Here's the tap. She's just going to be able to hear that back and forth through the wall. And there we have it. Navigating. Where did Diverting that was a bit of a chaotic 
crisis, but uh, no. But the big reason, the win. I mean, Brent, the big reason they lose it is because nobody just jumps through their own Viper Wall and gets two. This was great from Tichu to start this off, but this is the play that gets it, and it's just oh. a new game that's ridiculous. How he kills CNED, I've no idea. I don't think that's intentional. But do you remember back to Na'Vi playing against NRG? They were giving up 2Ks all over the map. Yeah. They were swinging out on Ascent A Heaven, losing player after player to 2Ks, 3Ks from Crashy. Spacing from. not being good. The spacing was awful. They were also getting collated on split constantly. This Na'Vi team, their spacing is causing them massive issues. Just how they group up together needs to be a focus for them. Say that the economy is a little bit mm. up here. Victor Ross! With the rifle in his hands, yeah. maybe just going for a bit of a play, hoping to catch one player. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, pays for it though. Still a minute 10 in the round as well. So potential for them to really slow this down. Take the B site in waves. Don't have to rush mm. into too much if you are EDG. Nobody udah wadu belum belum nih, masih aman deh. Giwangi points in this round is going to be to try and figure out if Navi have stacked the site. That's the IGL for the team. They're scared of a push through eight. Yeah, you can see them pinging it in the spawn. They flash spawn as well with the sky to try and get a, any sense of noise cues that somebody might have been pushed, but no. They're going to choose to commit into this. There's a smoke in their face. Trailblazer. That flash you areas. Nice flash, start. The flash behind gives them good confidence, but now nobody doesn't have one up to actually push forward. 30 yeah. seconds left. We're going to have that utility now. We're getting to 27 seconds. Navi, pretty much the entirety of their team as well, grouped up towards this area, trying to force out a bait out. Mm. One of these big tools, there it is. Hunter's Fury. Oh, Blomadu, yeah. Had a plan with 17 seconds left. Time running so damn short. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Skipping and hopping all the way across. He's going to be falling. Mm. Abang, abang. He claims two, but the spike was planted. It was indeed. wasn't denied. Common angles. Bullets raining down onto them. Nobody is weak. Angel, five health. Dark gonna be used to clear close. Into Link. A rifle picked up, but overextends his body just. Bisa kuat nih orang. And it's left Shao to do the most. Tapi nggak punya star. Moment where they line up here. Time pressure though, and they were watching for it. The smoke, the push. Five to one. That's gonna be that score line. EDG off to a fantastic beginning. What an excellent start for the Chinese team that are hunting. Net dari mana? First Asen. win for them across three international appearances. And also the first win for Chinese Valorant. They've been hunting for this all, all throughout. Their history as being the number one team in China. And they've forced out a tactical timeout here as Doombros gets a chance to talk with the rest of the squad. You heard about how Doombros, it was actually one of the best. Uh, uh, Eta Cina, bro, pieces, satu. He said that they'd spent the prep work. The thing that he pointed out was building specific protocols within the team to deal with EDG's aggression. Now, if you're unfamiliar with top-level Valorant gameplay, that means, you know, if EDG do X, then we reply with Y. So maybe it's if EDG smoke in specific places, we're going to have somebody watching because they like to push through. <laughs> or it's... You know, if they use this little piece of utility, we're going to expect them to go extremely aggressive and we're going to drop back and give them more respect than we would to other teams. You know, small adjustments like that. But actually, EDG are playing this really slowly, very patiently. And that's what I noticed watching them in China. They're about the only team in Chinese Valorant that will slow the round down in the middle. And Haodong, one of the hallmarks of how he likes to call the game, <laughs> is applying pressure in one area of the <laughs> <map> <laughs> and then slowing down in the mid round and trying bait it, try to bait a reaction out of the other team. And now Navi themselves are actually quite slow too. Yeah. So this could end up being a really, like brain intensive um, yeah, low a, action game. I mean a nuanced game of Valorant, which you might surprising. not really expect too much, right? I mean very surprising when you're thinking about Kang Kang CNED on this map. Operator for CNED though. Oh, that I'm Deep dark broken. As the dash is going to activate, you know somebody's here. Does he choose to take the fight? Orb in his face. Still has the dash. Meanwhile, pressure being applied over towards A right now. EDG are like faking an entrance, trying to burn it out. No, they're just Bacon, going straight man. in. They're just barreling forwards. Okay. Yeah, no subterfuge around this one. Spike starting to get planted now with the brem uh, breaking out of that utility. Fragment Nate to the side is a little bit late there. It's delayed. They got in very quickly into A. Chishu is miles away at this point. 
He's going to be out of the action, honestly. This is a big map as well. He might have to get a bit of a move on. Oh, good we saw Vipers have those Nano Swarm lineups, Mako specifically, from mid. <coughs> big group up here towards the back of the side here. No command. Ripped off. Whoa, it's gang, gang, mati. Gang, gang falls. Finds it. Locked down as well. They're rapid. This is really difficult. They're going to have to try and wrap around and break this one, but they're all just falling to it. It's watched. Wah, Iya ketarik, gila bang Cinet. Kedua doi. Itu dong ritenya. The null command to make sure that EDG didn't really have any counter utility to throw, and then the lockdown to secure the space for them. So that's a combination that you're not often gonna see from teams on this map. But clearly, Navi very comfortable in their own game. Tapi Navinya sih all in parah ya. EDG was scrambling for an answer. Lockdown sama null command. So now we're going to see an extremely weird situation. I mean, once we head back into the game here, you'll see that the economy, it's a little awkward for EDG. It's not too bad because there's a Blade Storm online, but Haldong does have a Stinger. That's just it, yo. Massive ult. So EDG need to win this one. Very important for the momentum. The fact that Kang Kang hasn't bought a rifle for Haldong, I think, implies that he wants to try and get the ult for next round. Here we go, moving across the side, T-Neds. Wide out mm. in the open. There's really no support for him there. He's been punished for it. It was Smoggy taking a straight up aim duel as well. Chishu had the free kill and Smoggy just takes him out. So that's the arm, maybe saving a bit of pocket change for Kang Kang if he was trying to opt into saving it, but still holds his ground and position Trailblazer. Pushing forwards, it does spot out a lot of that Killjoy utility. You can see the pings on the map there. No A up, that's spammable, gotta be careful. But slowed down again, you are saying Josh. This EGG team, they've definitely learned from these international appearances. Absolutely. Oh, the timing. Wow, is that is brutal. I mean, oh, mm. right click doesn't land. Zipani wins the fight. Don't know how, he was pushed up right into Zipan's face. It's the Seekers, though. Finally, the tempo is increased. They take the side, though. 30 seconds. Lockdown's going to be used to try and clear them back. Seconds. Angel still holding his ground there. Bit of spam onto the corner. Gets tagged ever so slightly, but has to respect this one. Still, the spike's not going down, and it's an opportunity for Navi to really flood back into this one, but well, spike planted. Here's the Viper's pit as well. I think escapes it ever so slightly on the edge. That is not a good pit for yeah. the position. Not planning for it. Shout. Rips off the head of nobody, trying to hold towards the back of Hall to tap onto the spike. A bit of smoke. Oh, bagus, 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 bagus. Bagus, well. bagus, bagus tapi mati. Too smoky. He cannot withstand that. Trouble face the Navi players. Excellency on display. Bagus sih, bagus tapi mati. For EDG because their economy relied on it. They had so many ults too. They absolutely fumbled those ultimates. I mean, the Viper's pit was literally just missed where the spike plant was, and that's a very you know, something you can just go over in server time should never bagus, be missed bagus, in a situation like that. And then also, might have missed it, but Haodong sent his record oh, miles away. Oh, yeah, I mean, that. he just sent it into spawn when EDG had no chance of being able to follow up on it. Navi just flooded into sight. So a big fumble from EDG after an excellent start on this map has allowed Navi to get back into things. You can't offer a team like Navi opportunities. They're gonna take them. Steadily clawing their way back in terms of the rounds. Emphasis placed from Navi into mid. Taking this one together again and seeing it holding with the op towards double doors. Oh, and his angle is Chichu. He heard the footsteps. Mm. He was hoping to catch a cheeky timing. Seen it though, too wise for that. Doesn't give up that space and positioning. The rest of Edward Gaming also now grouped up. On a bit of a weaker buy, Kang Kang does have the rifle though. Mm. Oh, nobody as well with the Guardian. For the elite, so Daniel. Some serious damage already dashing forwards towards the back of the site. How does he want to play this one? Well, with pure disrespect, that's what he's got in mind. Just walking right through the high tide, slow down, not a care in the world. He's going for it again, man. Yeah. Look at this. This time holding a closer position towards the back. He's got the rest of his team as well to help him out. Maybe. Nobody potentially getting a flash online at some point to help him out. Navi are taking a long time setting up this retake. The side flip like this, it could be in a bit of trouble. Moving the way through, yeah, that's seen it taking care of through to Art now. These players need to be keeping this one together. Otherwise, it's going to be falling to pieces very, very quickly. Hold on. Edward Gaming still Buh. with the Sheriffs. With the rifles in Buh. the hands. It's a one-point. Yeah, very smart reposition from them in a moment. 
What a great adjustment. EDG have been playing these post ban situations so strangely, sometimes with players miles away, sometimes pushed up extremely close, and that time flipping the map. Kankan's not gonna play with disrespect like that all the time, but this was such a great round to do so. He's the only player with a rifle. He's got to make a play, otherwise the Navi retake is probably gonna work, and he chooses his timing perfectly. CNED was all alone on that side Navi of the map. Ukraine, Kankan, yeah. once again, winning that jet head-to-head, -head. although, frankly, hasn't really been the story of the match so far. See the way that this Pearl map has played as well as a breath of fresh air. <laughs> it's been really no semblance of trying to play for the post plant util. It's just been these fights being taken. Util to set them up. Yeah, different style for sure. Yeah, EDG. Set the sides towards R, break the util. And then slow the pace down. Now, Navi aren't the kind of team that's going to make an aggressive move on the other side of the map most of the time. You know, Angel's on Sova. He's not going to be pushing up and allowing Chichu a free pick. This style works fantastically in China. But. It's not really finding the openings that Hardong's looking for. Well, they do force out the dash from CNED. Yeah. Which is quite nice. It means that he can't play as aggressively now with this operator. And also because they haven't given away any sound cues, CNED isn't here to meet them mm. on B if they do intend to get no. Here we go. What did I have had it in the way down, Chow. Inside of his own star, yeah, playing around it. Let's claim Kang Kang. Jet player falling. Smoggy was attempting something there. A kick to a lurk all the way through into art. So it's left them at a massive player disadvantage. Now mm. you see it firing <coughs> through. Mm. The sidelines are theirs. I know exactly what well, I'm where making, I guess. Convergence on his position. So Plaulus. Navi really are just collecting these rounds up. Yeah, they are. Certainly back into this half. It's a prime game in flawless for them. Not an anti-eco or anything, just Xiao, choosing the right time to make the play. <laughs> 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 it's a anjir. Look at this play though. He blooms this smoke, and it's the kind of smoke that he can, you know, he, he can throw that at any point. Whether he's there on the site or whether he isn't. It's just a good smoke to have. We saw him throwing it as help utility for Angel previously too. And he dips inside of it at that point. Catches the EDG players completely off guard. EDG have <laughs> <still> <laughs> the holes in their game for sure. And you can make plays like that that Bang exploit it. I think one of the most challenging things for EDG when they come to global tournaments like this is that they dominate China so easily, it feels, that even the plays that have holes in them, the plays that aren't tactically, fundamentally sound, they still win. And so trying to pick those apart from the good strats is difficult when they come to an event like this. Yeah, trying you to make those improvements ahead of time. You don't know which ones are going to work globally because you don't have that level of experience. That's where the learning comes from from champs, from lock-in, but trying to pick out and select the right plays and discard the, the bad ones without playing scared is difficult. It's a real challenge for these inexperienced squads. Here they stand, approaching the halfway mark of Pearl. Two rounds away from that, but that as you can see from the timeline, Navi making it more respectable. Let's see if EDG can. Well, it's a bad economy for them. The last two underneath their belt, yeah. But they have got that operator in Kang Kang's hand. And this is the round to go for something crazy if you're EDG. Like we saw before. Navi fighting for a main control this time. Not something that they've done too much of. It's a dart on a flash to reclear. And a drone as well is used on top of it. Very heavy commitment. And, uh, this tells you that Angel's moved away from his normal position over towards back B. And he swapped with the operator. Can EDG get a read on oh, that? This is a very deep angle as if to be playing in. The op misses onto the corner. Smoke blooms. It's a bit of a one way for Zipan. It's, it's a very awkward space to maneuver. Yeah, it's a very awkward smoke to get through as an attacker. You feel unsafe constantly there if you're trying to scale. Chungu knew it. Another star placed down. 45 seconds. That's what we're looking at. In terms of the right right right. exploration, it looks like with the direction of the spike, so we're gonna have soon. Oh, yeah. in it to get a small battle in art, but also the jet point <laughs> over towards B. Shao wins that one against Smoggy, so no opening there for the attackers. Yeah, Smoggy just out of the way. Like that. Hmm? There is an op battle over here, but the spike's going back over to A. Yeah, this is all over the place. What a joke! Oh, he holds his crown both of the shots. I'm at a doom, but I'm a male like you, Macan. Oh, this has pulled the A players away. Oh yeah, it's faked it. Ini menunya nasi ayam. Ama kailan crispy. Ayam lah dulu. We'll go down. We'll see the extension of play. 
in this round, but there needs to be some risks taken. Nobody oh, gets sensor to get to As he goes to clear close, it's cross replacement. Just wasn't locked on to the right place. Give Shao. We're going to have to pack M3, M3, M3. Oke, miss sekali ya. Ya, Hao Dong. Hampir, bro. Dapat mulu dia kolat. Gak nih, ini kameramen rada anjing nih. Cuma itu sampai mata aja. I thought everything that he did there was immaculate and I'm amazed that they had the awareness to still be looking out for Haodong. Really, that's the play that ends up losing it for him there. Haodong si kocak tadi. Possibly could, including this. I mean, that is insane. But it's such incredible awareness to still be checking flowers for that second player. Yeah, it really is. Kang's providing that much pressure. Great stuff from Na'Vi to shut that down because that looked superb. That's the quality of play you can expect. In case you haven't been watching Edward Game in flight. Kang Kang, it feels like he pulls out moments like that at any point in time when he's got that operator. Which he still has. Yeah. And so final round of this first half. Trailblazer used. But after the tank. drone, yeah, the drone does spot the two of them, doesn't it? They know the oh boy. Hunter's Fury mm, all grouped up. It's tagged. Hmm, kena dua. Hmm. It's Angel. Rips it away, the first kill for him. See, this is a bit of a scramble for EDG. It's offset. The player disadvantage. Smoggy. He earns his towards R. Again, the tempo just been dropped to tad, isn't it? Slow down the pace, cut noise. Wait to see what Navi will do because it's re-exploration for me. Stop It's watched. Yep, Kayan's got it. The off angle. It's there. With Angel falling now, they want to try and go into this. But Semoga Al Hai tam pulang, ha? Masih kau memeu. Semoga kamu dapat ya. Oh my god. Dapat beneran. Semoga kamu dapat kak memeu. Aku doain. Still not top ranked. It's Shao that was part of that big comeback from Navi. Navi started the half desperately poorly. I think it was Jum terus. At some point, but they get themselves back up to a respectable half for both teams. Ooh. There's a lot of danger in a map like this, isn't it? Navi's map pick, sitting at that round deficit. It's a hard one for them, but let's send it down to the desk to break it all down so far. What a half that was. I got Doug and Bala with me again. We wanted to see Nick versus Kong Kong, not so much against each other, uh, but they both have had their moments. Yeah, absolutely. Ini kayaknya Anpa Aspas mulai insecure, guys. The guys come alive. It's been crazy to watch. I think the battle uh, for this composition against this Viper Harbor has been very interesting, though, for Navi, because a lot of their ideas are still working. Those aim aim reclears still working quite well. You saw the last two rounds. But I think one way back when is this retake that they attempted. Obviously, EDG did a great job pushing through that Viper Wall, but this Astro Wall for me misses the mark. It's so interesting because you can play around it like Smoggy does so well. So EDG capitalizing there immensely. I think they fix those issues much, much later in the half, and you'll actually see it way later. The Astro Wall that they used, look at it, completely different. Oms dia mati satu, mati dua, menang bang, anjir. It's much better handled, right? Up. And yes, it did take Kong Kong getting, what was it, eight kills in the last two rounds, right? All off of the op, that's when it really felt like he came online. It was really able to... Masih keras aspas sih, Ben, kayaknya. OP-nya ya. Just to keep that up. Then back to the heroics, just to stay at that point. Yeah, and I thought maybe that they might get some PTSD from having to play Pearl again uh, this soon. But Doug, they're handling it well. But what about Navi? What would si you Kang -Kang like to see second half? Because this yeah, be tembakan ini pandang nggak terlalu keras. Yeah, yeah, Tapi OP tuh kuat banget gitu. Right again, 
he has to be able to match up with the firepower that Kong Kong has just put out. Oh, they're OP. Oh, they're right. the Kong Kong firepower is only going to get better. The guy started to attack yeah, side hopping. Yep. He's now on defense without <laughs> playing against the double wall. Right? There's only a sh uh, Astra in the hands of Shao, and Shao's playing great. But that defensive side off is going to rip them apart if they don't do something and do something fast. I mean, I just hope Kong Kong sticks to that all because when he didn't the last time we saw him against T1, it was a little bit uh, disastrous. But Josh and Bren, this is going to be a great second half. I can already feel it. Over to you guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just been explosive so far. None of that double wall, post plat, Molly's being sent over. Up, yes. No, I mean, this is now be playing something quite unorthodox in terms of what we've been uh, used to over in the Americas, but Edward Gaming, can they carry on at this pace with the way Kang Kang is as well? Got to be prioritizing, like Yinsu was saying, that operator in his hands ASAP. Absolutely, yeah, and I think the desk has some great points. Kang Kang should find it easier to have an op on defense. He's got to worry about different pieces of utility, though, like the drone and the recon dart. Where is that landing? That's a recon just to clear out that close area, the same way that a Cascade Flash would usually do it for the Harbor Viper comp. And it's very difficult to break whilst not being committed. Two players contacting an either way. Turret taken out. They expect what? it. Someone close. Two of them. And Kang Kang does not shy away from the fight, but he's taken out. Why is Kang Kang? Shao and Sugetsu stand like pillars in mid. Still in <coughs> a bit of an attempt from Chu Chu. Oh, Agile with the movement. Smoky still looking as well. Minumnya ST manis guys ya. Eh, ST blackaran gua. rush into things. They get the kills. They back away. They slow it down. They've got a minute left in this pistol round. They don't need to jump into anything. Okay, okay, yeah. to try and make a move here. Kalau pistol ada kekerannya juga dipakai itu pistol. Try and make something happen. Chichu can hear it. Oh, wow. Almost, almost catching that timing. I mean, he's also only got a classic there, so very difficult to land the kill. Now the swarm's gonna be dead. Alhamdulillah. Dart does tag towards the back onto the players. Smoggy, he's gonna hold it Why? towards that angle, but... Yang punya map mulai ngamuk, adik-adik, hati-hati, hati-hati. Before, now if you're able to get the ball rolling, but that's a pistol round for them. And when you have players that are as incredibly mechanically skilled as Na'Vi, where their aim is so precise, people like Shigetsu and Xiao, for example, these ghosts just look ultimately deadly in their hands. The small taps, precise tapping aim onto the head. Ah, mantap. Xiao and Shigetsu are going to be a deadly force whenever they're playing together for mid control or B control. Yeah. Important one to win for Na'Vi as well. Deny any chance for EDG to get the money rolling. <coughs> Kang actually opting into a bit of a marshal. Whoop. Grouped up. Cena's now got a phantom as well. So extra bullets in the clip for him to spray through. Farming up the orbs. Bit of priority here. Now if you're going for that classic buy of theirs as well, with two of the ghosts. Looking for a clean, flawless round from them. Hopefully get the economy going. An EDG cannot afford to let a game of Pearl slip through their hands again. Like we were talking about earlier, there have been two matches lost this year that ended on Pearl in 12-14, heartbreaking, confidence-crushing, morale-melting fashion. Si Sui, mana ini? Masih turu, si Sui ini. Udah pake Cyper, dia. Nobody swinging to break the drone. Everybody walking <coughs> towards Art. Cyper, Viper, masih gitu. Timing, ya Allah. And they collapse, they collide. Head to head, face to face. High tide mm. on the bit of that one, but not too much left to withstand it. Also, the guy kill. <coughs> Some of the harm, but as well, that knife will spot. At least him. Mmm, guy yeah, That's a bit Zim warship me. Zim Jijaka. On the open. Zim, Zim Jijaka. <laughs> fair fight. Uh, splintered the EDG ship to pieces there. No good robot, that's it. Yeah, the slim lead that they had at the half is now going to get equalized. And 7 7. Uh, timing. Kankaran to get some value done. That's a prime game in flawless for Na'Vi. Score seven seven. Yeah. And this composition is gonna really force EDG to think on their feet. It's the Soviet utility in particular that's difficult to anticipate. You see the way that Com plays it on Fracture, for example. It's it's about anticipating where the darts are going to land most of the time. Well, making sure you're not playing one of the positions head. against the drone. But when Sova's never played on a map as well, you're not really pre-aiming it. Yeah, it's you very hard when know. The, You don't know when the darts are coming towards you, so that's what makes it so yeah. yeah. It's also just good for being able to get information behind these high tides and viper walls. Yeah, certainly. Really important beginning for Na'Vi. 
So again, reiterating the same points, it's forced Kang Hang to go into the half armor and the rifle. Enough the money flowing enough to buy an Gatoh, old tadi gue udah ngomong di awal lah mundurin aja streaming ya. Zipan's looking to pre-aim it. It's only a bulldog. But now he's trying to take out any alarm going to be in that area. No such luck. Nobody. He's so far ahead. I mean, Kang Kang's not the one taking contact there. It's the sky. Yeah. It's unusual. And so much later, look at Kang Kang right behind. They're not going to anticipate this. The recon dial got bad information. Angel thinks this area is clear, but Kankan can't afford to go quickly because he'll make footsteps. He is going to get behind them, though, and meet an alarm bot at some point. And he did get information. It's, it's hard for him, really, to influence the round, though, without giving away his positioning to Sugetsu, who's ready to pounce. He has called alarm bot. Wait, wait. Over towards B. That's Look, why EDG is stacking it. Yet Sugetsu yeah, I'm going to check there. So that was a sweet. With that. Not onto the flag. Spam onto the high tide corner. Chichu falls close to default. Round aside, how dog Smoggy? They pounce out. The woodwork. And Smoggy has maybe made this one winnable. Mengjangkar. Seconds. Spike drop down. His favorite. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That screens the reload. Fight. Oh my god! Dua belas SP, bro. Incredible stuff. Pas battery load itu si Xiao. That's just insane. How has he managed that? He was getting spammed in the corner. He hears the reload on the player that invested those bullets to do such significant damage, and he chooses his timing to pounce. He doesn't lose his cool when the bullets start raining through that wall. He hears the reload. He swings off of it, hoping for a freebie, and he pulls it out against Sugetsu and Shao as well. What a monster! That is just disgusting. That's two rounds now where Smoggy's won it for them. I needed it. Deep wall cutting across towards A. Take a look at the economy here, just for a moment. Chishu only has a ghost, and Kang Kang has not dropped for him because Kang Kang wants to get an op online. Yeah. The economy management here, a little awkward for EDG. And Chishu is the player that's hard anchoring B, so this could get really weird. The scene mm -hmm. has decided to opt into the that. operator of his own. He has worked himself onto that TP angle. There's a fight that you know, potentially you might see the <laughs> roll He still doesn't land the shot onto the jump peak. I don't use it as high tide. <coughs> Interesting one. It's a bizarre one. Like an abstract art piece on the minimap. I mean, it's also a question mark, so it really is a piece <laughs> of poetry. <laughs> yeah, I'm often left with questions sometimes watching... Uh, can cast ketahuan. In this case, it's been a delight. Opesinet jatuh ke tangan Kang Kang sih berbahaya nih guys untuk Navi. Okay, terperan dulu guys. Sugiet tu megang OP. Rifle and Cena turns now. There's a snake bite at his feet. It's gonna stave off that aggression as well. The Viper Orb will fall though. Kang Kang still towards the back of Halls. What timing does he take? There's a smoke drop. Aduh. The shots, the bullets. Nice call, Percy Dipan. Down as well, and the smoke still watched for. Seen it. Is there a G two flicks to the side with the ghost? Huh? Okay. The ghost, bah. Wins that one, doesn't he? Everyone from Navi back in a way, though. They want to try and play this one from a post plant position because Angel does have the hunter's fury. Shao is about as far away as he could possibly get. Yeah. He'll still have a pull on the spike. That's like global presence and utility. Really does apply that time pressure. EDG hoping that they can at least stick onto it on top of the angle. Swinging through into the high tide. And now really is all on Angel. The heart. Okay, Hunter's Fury. It's ripped across over the top as well. Shao is still in the Shao is still in the back. Shao right behind. He's in his heart. Under the Fury. Nobody is miles away. He realizes it's not winnable. Eh, dapat AWP nggak sih? It was there for Shao. It was always the potential AWP. that he ended up missing it, but oh my God, that was strained. AWP is sweet. Yeah, but Navi showcasing how they're going to play that long-range post-plant game with this composition, with the pull and Shao going on an extraordinary lurk. Shao is never in danger there. There you see the pull on the spike. Both teams actually with very good protocols in this round. You saw Navi holding the smokes, knowing EDG anjing. wanted to push through them. And then EDG themselves with the high tide pushing through it. I think both teams played that nicely. But eh, it's, it's, ada ya, it's, dibuang, apa? it's so weird, isn't it? Because they win that prior round, it resets the loss bonus. They can't save for the op still. Yep. And they've been sacrificing their economy this entire time to j try and get Kang Kang this op. It's going to take another miracle. Nobody. 
Yes, lah. What? Dapat panda lah, bah. Absolutely robbery. He's just mugged Nervy. It's unbelievable. Question is whether he can make anything of it though, because there's still at a player disadvantage here. It's a three v four. Eh, ngapris? Here we have it. Cosmic divide. Tangan maling ini cepat banget. Smokes, Nana swarms, dropping it. Nobody can push up and play off of this one, backing around. Back of the site still contained. This cosmic divide is really difficult to get through. And you can see how good Navi are at playing around their own con. Not ready yet. They know what they're doing. Yeah, the dark <coughs> behind the wall. Any chance of EDG trying to play as the wall was going down tonight? They back away. Looking to do some damage here. Is the round really still winnable? Time is ticking. Further and further. There's a pull on the spike. It's just no way it is. I'd like to see Kang Kang save the. Van oh, well, if he saves the Vandal, he might not have enough money actually <laughs> by the operator. So, never mind. Okay. All right, so OP ini si Kang Kang nih. We will finally have Kang Kang op online. Oh, Kang Kang op, guys. One cloud versus one updraft with his op and his light armor. But it's we're already six rounds into the half. Yeah, this is Navi that. I mean, at this point they equalize. They now have the lead in the rounds. It's nine to eight. So, is it going to be too little, too late? We'll have to find out. I'd love to see if Navi have got any <coughs> fast rounds planned to make <coughs> different. Kayaknya gue mau sakit aja. Assuming they get the read on Kang Kang potentially having an op. Sudah terasa, yes. Kang Kang, obviously he's playing all the way over towards B, deep. Player at his side, and now pressure mounting onto Howdon. Can he anchor? Gonna be any sort of explosive presence. Well, smoke goes down, nobody. He lands, nobody. The dash, seen heads towards the back with a dart as well. Mm. Kill the pressures there, Smoggy. Did well to try and watch for that one. Covered one angle. Still I want no Smoggy. Has to lock down Angel. He knows he's there. E. Way to the side, adjust the aim ever so slightly. Gets away with it. Left on 56 health. Complete avoidance of Kang Kang. Really well done by Na'Vi. They realize that Kang Kang is not going to be opping over towards A as soon as they take A main control. They pivot into an A hit. Nobody caught out in the open. And... They yeah, stopped Smoggy from being able to safely put down that lockdown. No chance of a retake. Two players with massive ults there. Haldong had Reckoning, Smoggy had lockdown. Neither of them able to play in this. Na'Vi just applying the squeeze onto EDG and perfectly timed with when Kang Kang finally had enough money to get the AWP online. Uh, Alhamdulillah. We're still only just yeah, beginning to enter the final quarter of Pearl. In Allah, man. It feels like Na'Vi have gone from Looking shaky at the start to now being completely in control. They're controlling EDG's Mangga, economy. Their A and B hits have both been excellent. People are getting caught out left, right, and center on EDG by the social <coughs> utility, by the, the timings of things. And, and it honestly feels like the same kind of story that we've seen twice this year already, where EDG let a pearl slip through their fingers. Oh, your heartbreak. <laughs> Tragic series of events. So many chances for. EDG to get a win here and there at these international events and now this match right here elimination it's the last chance for Masters Tokyo to make their stand <coughs> now if you've got so much to play for I mean listen we'd be saying that normally with any elimination game but there really is just that extra bit of pressure on both of these teams Navi trying to fight not to fly five six thousand miles to play an LCQ that is just insane I mean yeah that's that's one of the scariest <laughs> Wouldn't want to be sitting next to that person. <laughs> EDG going to take a timeout. I think even more so than anything tactical, now is a good opportunity for the EDG. EDG Red order, bentar. Gue belum kasih bintang satu nih. Eh, maaf ya, mas. The fact that you're letting it slip away, the more it becomes a self-fulfilling yeah. prophecy. If you start worrying, if you lose the confidence, you start doubting your teammates. Lebih dua belas sih kang kang. Going to hero plays, all of these things can be a swift path to defeat. Maintain that composure. But his half is uh, yeah, it's slipping away from them. It's all being <coughs> Navi. It's also just excellent work by Navi. Yeah. They're identifying where the operator is. Mana Kang Kang? OP Kang Kang. EDG don't know where Pasti to look. Pasti malas kebeng Navi, sumpah dah. I've ever played against a composition like this, or at least not recently. People used to run solo Astro comps on this map, but not for a long while. Look at how good it is. I mean, the deep knife that's delayed. Anjir, 3B. First 10 seconds of the round. Nobody's pushed up close. 
Gak jadi, gak jadi. Deep out, deep out. This guy is so good with the OP. Langsung juga si Kangkang muter lah kagak. Udah di respect guys. Navi running away from Kangkang. Nobody's baiting for Haodong here. The problem is he's only got it. Well, he just right. cascaded from the corner. He's, just, know giving he's, he's just giving away where he is. Yeah, all good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he only had a sheriff anyway. It's not like you can spray everyone down. He uses a three position updraft on top of the box. Kang okay, si Kang Kang. No command as well. Kang Kang! It <laughs> oh, it's That's the one. I see Ned. I want to catch those hands as well. Not in a straight up gunfight. Takes out the opposition. Shout. Really being swept, just trying to buy time for the rest of his team as well because nobody in Howdong You being be squeezed. Try me. Very good help Seconds. by Cnet and Tugetsu. Nobody got Zipan up. Two versus three. Chichu Chichu taking risks. Wider play, shots not really landing onto the target there. Rattled off with the share, still the lockdown. Opting to use Going it. For it. Opting to use it. They have the guns for the job as well. The fight okay. is washed out. It's so damn consistent. The rifle will change hands here. Picked up towards main, but really have to get a move on. They don't have art control. There's nana swarms. There's a pull. Really just does not feel winnable for Smoggy. Way too much against him. Tap onto the spike, baiting out the next level towards it. But you can hear it. The spike is ticking. Rapidly approaching the demise of the round. Baiting mm. it out. There's oh. one almost grabbing the second, but again. Lu udah OP OP OP. Wah, enggak jadi deh. He was hoping to get that into the next round. But Navi, they just got a choke hold. They know exactly what's going on. Yeah, their control of the game is excellent. Remember though that that was an anti eco round. EDG are going to be going into this one with rifles. This now becomes the most important round of the round so far. Round 20 could well define whether or not Navi win or EDG are able to get back into things. And a moment to talk about Shao. Lagi basa kipak, his his Astrid puts him in kipak. position to take smart fights so often. And his aim is superb. 25 kills. Unbelievably consistent. <clears throat> Just insanity with this level of play. He's like the Grim Reaper. He's utterly inevitable. Exactly right. That role that's playing <coughs> the Astrid. It's usually going to be that final line of defense if it's even necessary. But it's been ripping <laughs> apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lombok close here, contact play, but grouped up with Na'Vi. They remove a lot of this Killjoy utility. Flash over the top as well. Reckoning is a choice to fight this. Ebo Gaming, they want to take it to them. The spike's been dropped. Na'Vi, okay, okay, all the way, this way, that way. Oh, Kang Kang. Gonna be the dash to disengage for Cnet. Behind the box as well, wants to try and oh. take the clean fight. Jet diff, jet diff. So, Kang Kang will fall. Spike is still dropped in the middle of nowhere, but Aduh, anjing, massive jatuh. play at disadvantage. What a oh, reaction sakit. from Na'Vi. Yeah, so good. Those are the kind of protocols that they'll have been working on. Satu, dua, satu lagi. Karat. Masa Ange kalah ya kan si Ange ini? Smoky has the read. He's holding this angle. Not a care in the world. Not a worry. Can he land the shot with the reaction? Kalah si Ange guys. Smoky has been the savior for this team. We talked about how important the round was going to be, and Smoky bails him out. Dari hot angle. But the grit. To go for two aggressive reclears of art, the first one supported by the reckoning and the seekers didn't work out. But here, Chichu and Smoggy decide to refight that area yeah. again, and they catch a player reloading and another one not quite ready for the timing. And then what a read at the end from Smoggy. There are two players, one on each team, really stepping up, and I thought it was going to be Cnet Kanka. It's not. It's those supportive players. The Aduh, last, gua bengkak lagi sakit anjing kena meja. Chow and Smoggy. Having their own private hmm, battle to see how many nih. rounds they can win. And that was one hell of a lifeline that has been offered. It's got the op back into Kang Kang's hand. It's renewed. Sense of hope maybe that the map could still be theirs. It's only two rounds to stand between them and being able to bring it to even against what Na'Vi's running. The drone didn't see anything. And that's more scary for Na'Vi. If you don't see anything, Kang Kang might have just been dodging it and getting ready to post back up. <laughs> Kangkangnya tapi di A ah, iya guys ya enggak ketemu lagi. Oh, anyway. yeah. oh ada yang don't get in my way. Kind of timing not too short. It works though. Yeah, play it down here. Knife broken. Cnet is inside the pit. He's got the dash active. Looks like he wants to make a play. Spamming that is so damn dangerous. The 
the K kicking in. There's a lockdown. Let's clear this one all the way out. Choo Choo can't afford to play into this one. They're still watching double doors because they knew that Sagetsu was lurking. Dog did spot him. Get a commit in Avinia. Towards the back here of Hawes. Oh, commit, commit, danger. He catches it. Maybe not the player is anticipating. Choo Choo finds it. Muru Kanka. It's four versus four retaking with the operator plan. Denied. Spam through. Hold on, bringing this one down. Angel now forced to try and plant this, but as the smoke fades away, Sagetsu is massive. It's two kills. Here. Bidu. Both sides looking for an advantage with the operator. Kang Kang down. Angle there. Back of Hall. Smoke. Seen Ed. In towards it. Gar! Anjing! Do they know where he is? Do they know where he is? Dashes back. Pings towards it. Wah, nggak dapat guys. Sui ini King of Prelude. King Prelude. Iu. One tap. Doesn't open himself wide. He knows he's not on it. He gets the info. Another tap. Smoggy desperate to bait the peak. Does he know he's not in it now with the tag onto the defuse? Smoggy. Iu. Sugetsu. Sui. Di wang tap gitu bro. Div itu dapat aja. An absolute pleasure to watch them play these kind of situations. The way that Sagetsu's won this round is unreal. And these tiny, tiny little peaks are perfect to just draw the player off the spike. Chilla. After Smoggy's been so immaculate in the end of these rounds as well. That is icy. Beautifully played. In prelude. That once again knocks the EDG economy down. This is going to be the most difficult round for them to win if there's any chance. Si Sui mah killnya nggak perlu banyak banyak. Ada aja momen dah guys. Navi, one more round will do it. Yang punya 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 prelude. First map in this series will be under their belt. Walls on walls. It's a cascade and a high tide. Sent flying near the beginning. Navi grouping up. Three of their players. Really too much. Aduh, bangsa titit gua kejepit. Just a drone while the rest of them actually back away. It's a good break though because it stops them from seeing nobody tucked around the corner, and he's at a close distance to maximize value from his stinger. Again, it's gonna have to take so much. Kang Kang falls, going for the reclear towards A main. Forces out a high tide, rips his way through. Smoggy doesn't land his shot. Nana Swarm activated. More there. Hunter's Fury now. It's in the corner. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. The first time. An attempt by Sagetsu still kills going slightly. Wah, kalau masih gini guys. Map satu. Can nobody do it? Dua kosong kan? Flashes there. Does connect all the way around. And okay. What a play. Earned himself an upgrade. He's the player that was holding close towards A main at the beginning. Managed to finesse everybody. It's been flipped towards the back. Trailblazer. Okay. Doesn't actually choose to tag it on to the player planting five HP. Smoggy. Bah. Smoke. Smoggy lagi. I mean, he's looking the wrong way. Lockdown committed. It has to be. Mereka nggak tahu di mana, co. Pushing round. Charles doesn't choose to kill. Okay. Now destroying it. It's alerted him to his position. The jiggle peak. Smoggy wants to take first. Bah. Five health. He has been. Anjay. Smoggy ngepick mulu lima HP ya. Gak usah dihil di orang. EDG are going to live to fight another day here on Pearl. The last two times we've seen them play it at an international event. It's been a 12-14 loss. It's always gone OT, but they've never been able to drag it through. It's going to have to go OT again today if they want to win it. Smoggy was under outrageous pressure this round. He got solo Sova ulted and then ran around to deal with Sugetsu, who was pushing him from B-Link. I can't believe it. What he's been able to achieve is Unreal in this game. I mean, he's been that beacon of hope for them. Mogi kalah darah menang mental. Ia anjing masih berani dia ngepik. Gas terus. Economy still not good enough for Kang Kang to be able to pick up an operator. Might be a good thing, honestly, with the way that Navi have just been avoiding him like the plague. Drone. Tag onto the corner, clears through into A mid. It's being explored. Yeah, I mean, actually, I was taking a look at the economy. Kang Kang could have bought an op here, and he chose to go for the rifle instead. Doubled up. E behind the box flash anti spam terkena set up art they know that navi you've been pressuring towards baru nih match kagak ngantuk they decide to go for that beautiful stuff spike drop down and edg are not looking to fight over it it's just gonna waste more time as navi tried to win a 2v5 edg are doing this how i'm not quite sure it has taken miracles and gutsy plays the decision to go for an all-in piece like that. Take it too. Take it too. Can I say? Heroics on display. 
But unless Angel and Togetsu can do something superb here, it looks like we're going to be heading to the final round of regulation. Yo, 12, 11, yo, 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 yo. Udah lah. Sapingnya dulu lah, Bang Napi. Just seems so improbable right now for Navi. I mean, they're still lurking away around. Yeah, OT bisa ini, OT. Keep any operator. Lampu saya sudah mati adik-adik ya, sudah tujuh jam lebih, ini mau delapan jam. We were anticipating this battle between CNED and Kang Kang, who, in their opening games in the tournament, put on such a masterclass display with the operators. <sighs> and now this has been much more slow, patient, disciplined, to be honest. But with those flares and flashes of aggression and set plays, the hero moments from individuals. <laughs> I miss him. He's still here. He's still at the event. He is. He is. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you were missing him yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, Na'Vi are going to take another time out here. Try and cool themselves. EDG on Pearl just seemed destined to go to OT. Is history going to repeat itself again? Surely not for the third time running. They're Surely not. Man. Everything to prevent it. Let's see, though. Na'Vi taking this time out. <coughs> round of regulation. One chance. <coughs> to close it out before it can really get to OT. And at this point, you're so deep into this half. It's the final. Tidak ada kedip kenapa yang nggak tahu. Kayaknya like nya setak deh. The economy here though, it's a guardian and a blade storm being used for Shaw and. Beres kapan nanti pas playoff? On the other side of things, Chishu does upgrade that guardian into a phantom, which makes perfect sense. They've got the economy for it. And I've seen Haldon have these reckonings a lot on this map. And Ini masih grup stack bang. Not a huge amount of value being gained from them. If he can find a good spot to use that ultimate to reclear up, <coughs> play the retake, it could be game changing. It could push them over. But here we go. A knife and a dart used together. Clears out towards eight very fast now. Navi, they're not wasting time. The blade storm all picked up. That's going to be the old command. I mean, there's a massive rotation happening between the EDG players. Nobody in Haldong ran, ran immediately over to B, anticipating that Na'Vi were going to make this swap. Alhamdulillah. What kind of read is this? This is, this is incredible. Read, I mean, not only this as well, they've got Kang Kang playing close with the operator. He's not going to show himself. The drone's still in the back pocket of Angel, but it's a job of nobody to try and break it. He's, he's pushing something. up. He's pushing up. Nobody's got his teammate close to the corner. He's going to break it. Wait, they didn't break the drone. They didn't break it because nobody wants to try and hold. For any sort of kill, swarmed onto the angle oh. here, and there it is. Oh, Angel, number two. Yes. Ah, Kang Kang. Oh my goodness, bullets landing towards the back of the head. He's wow, the kematian Kang Kang. Through the smoke and damage, not enough done to bring down the player. Closing, come on, is. Oh. Trying to bait something out, and again, Chichu will be the one to fall. Reckoning, everything being expended is desperation. PDG. Oh. And how long? He might just be the man to do it. Uh, one more. Landing. And Zipan, a sliver of health. Turret in his face, not planted for him. Wired to the side, a cove as well. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. We are going to miracle play. Selamat si kangkung nih. Two v four. With pulses at the feet of the Navi players and catches them in stumbling retreat. How has EDG pulled that one out? Three in a row to take us to overtime. They lost at lock in 100 Thieves 12 14. They lost just here in Masters Tokyo to T1 12 14. So Criminally close to be unable to take their first match win at an international event and the first oh, match win for China. Mulu, iya. Not quite Dapat timing, the timing, apa namanya? Reload lah ya, timing abis ngapain lah. Reverse the fate. Jemaah mah kadenya iya. Hari ini sih lagi gila nih semogi so nih. Manobadi. 
Anjing sakit eh goblok. Pengen nunjukin orang. Of course. No armor. Of course. One smoke between them each. Drone doesn't see much. Big dart. That's all the silver util really being used now. Oh, orang orang kan. Minute ten into it. And EDG look like they made an adjustment here based off a timeout or a discussion internally to try and deny Angel good information with this and play around those silver timings. You know, they they anticipated the rotate, had like a fake play with the drone in round 24. Spek visinya biasanya apa? Spek visi apa tuh? Yang turnamen. Yang turnamen gue gak tau. Xiao in the smoke. Yeah, smoke up close again. This time Trailblazer used a bit further back. Xiao catches the timing. Nana Swan vulnerable. Si snake bite. It's all used together to try and clear out the common core. Let's hold on. Cove, it's in his face. The bag of horse still not cleared though. It's watch nobody adjusts the aim. Four versus four. And a reflank attempt to smoke. He just misses the timing. Recall. There it is. Lands a shot but instantly traded. 3v3. To get to watch him for it. Flash over the top as well. CNED struggling to get a handle on it but yet adjusting okay. it nevertheless. Who can gang brought down? EDG. How long and nobody? They've got to do okay. so much. Oh, the wall wing. Up to just how long? One v two. Oh, good thing. White face, a white swing. Shao. Here's the footsteps. Start there. Force the fight in the astral form. Tap tap with the rifles. It's a game of chicken. Does he choose the push? Hey, 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 hey. Still time on his side. Gila, how long, bro, bro? Thirteen to twelve. A twist and turn. Masa aku cair. <laughs> and Hao Dong has been unbelievable for them. Normally, I think you would consider him, the IGL of the team, to be one of their weaker players. <laughs> but that two K he got in order to drag them to overtime, and then a one v two here. He is just saving this map for EDG. Ah. He He's the twist in the tail. Woo! Grill. But can EDG close it out? That round took everything from them. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Amin. How do you really? So smart the way he played it. He's given them a chance. Mana ni kangka ngopi lu lah. One round. Tu men hari ini miss misan guys ya. Eh, kocak kata. Makasih nggak di semua kamu si cicu anjir. Kocak anjir. Lah. Pound for pound, Chow has just been such a ridiculous player. Man, see, you're not throwing it. Oh, 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 He's got the operator, 61 health. He wants an easy fight. He hears the footsteps as he chooses to take the repeat down. Oh, shit! The Anjuri do it, too! He's tired of it. Turret, broken. Still so much to watch. Flash over the top. Oh, my God, what's he dapat? And he's untung, aje. Oh, my. But it's Chow again. Four kills in the round, controlling EDG, putting them out. And EDG, that's been the problem when they've come to global tournaments before. That's another one. That map point there. That's squandered it with nobody getting. Udah mati baru di semua emang si Cico di atas. Pait, pait. We saw him tuck pillar. We've seen him tucked A main, pushing A main, caught out in the open a few times. They are really abusing this guy, who's trying to play it as almost a quasi duelist role. Yeah. Time a timeout earned. Timeout taken. Both of the teams are given an additional timeout when we go into overtime. Navi make use of theirs. Xiao is currently sat at 33. Drama didn't ask This is a level of performance that. Listen, the EMEA fans are be hammered against the wall saying. We told you so. Absolutely. He's capable of this on the big stage. And of course We've seen it are. before. Of course they are. It's you'd be a fool to doubt Navi. Sure, they have slumps, but they're a team where you just say to yourself, okay, but if they play like they've done in the past, anything's possible. These are <coughs> the trophies. I mean, everybody on the team, even after bringing in CNET, he of course has won. Man, Navi, I'm on the cover again. Yeah. FPX. And just <coughs> the individual form. Astra, nevertheless. Yeah, he's, he's Astra theory is Mali, guys? crazy good. He's known as a big initiator player, but I think he just gets such smart fights when he plays Astra. Theory Pamali. It, it's somewhat similar. Wah, like yes, attack di tujuh ribu adik adik. Obvious. Up. Once more. And thirteen, thirteen. Now a swarm and snake bite. That's him gliding. You can hear it right through the air. 
meant to punish anybody who's playing. I believe towards Link. Forced the dash out of CNED now with the operator again. EDG haven't been able to get to round 27 previously. He's always been shut out before that. One pearl. The trouble is used and broken. EDG want nothing to do with it. I like this alarm bot that Sketsu's put down in A main. It just gives them such confidence, but he's actually facing it as well. He's looking for a fight over here. So Kang Kang's slowly taking space over in this area. I think Zipan's got a flash off the alarm bot. The full OP is Kang Kang, Anjir. Pero... Surely, Sugetsu would almost take Pero. contact first. Let's see what he chooses to do. But Sprayed through! How Sprayed through! Again! He's not messing around, <clears> is he? An instant stun from Shao to try and slow down the inevitable, but at this point they have already barreled through. They have the sight. Three there's Dart. Reveal. Eh. Adjustment to the movement. You're looking agile with it. Yeah, but they haven't done any damage. Who does it cough them? Potentially because the cone was up, but as it falls down, Tiki Nugget. Tiki Nugget. Oh my God. Tiki Nugget claims two. Tiki Nugget. Looking for the third. Turret removed for him. Shao. He's got his back towards the corner. Kang Kang. Close. It's a two v one. Woo! See that's got the knives. And this is it. Beef. A fourth kill. To turn the round in his favor, he's hunting for the target. Oi! Clear the corner. Chichu. Hampir bro, si net bro. Kesel tu betul lagi. Hmm, kalau si net tu biasa ya tu kalau dah kesel. Hmm, meja kena. He should have cleared that corner, and after he done so incredibly well in the round, it just feels like you're throwing it away. But pas banget. Dia mau jumpi ke arah si itu karah. Gue tau banget. Nah kan, kan digeprek apa gue bilang? Jadi sekarang siapa yang dia guys? What a crazy situation that's it. I asked some of the teams at the press conference. Dia si Net. Dia Alex mempunyai saingan anjing. Of course it does. Of course it does. We can't even, you know, just focus on Tokyo. We're thinking about champs as well. Very difficult. What the fuck? Position for Navi for foot for. Trying not to be the first one eliminated, especially for Navi because they're the lowest seed. Drian anjing, Drian. Position as foot, they end up. Head into LCQ. Yeah, that's right. A tough spot for them. Tough spot. Even if they lose here, there's chances for them to pull it back on Bind and Lotus. <laughs> the Lotus attack side looked very good against NRG, and their Bind has been solid. But if you want to win your map pick. That's what this is. Fajar. <laughs> 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 Edward Gaming. ASE were denied the chance to get the first win for China on the international stage just earlier today. They were eliminated. So they're the last one standing. <laughs> the defenders. The pride of their entire nation. Let's see if they can do it. Can they claim the first chance here on map number one? They only need the one round. There's a drone used very early on. It's deep. EDG have not been getting any value out of players stuck in back halls here. Normally, a player in Smoggy's position has just been flushed out. They've got Astra stuns, they've got recon darts, they've got KO flashes, a lot to get you out of this. Knife was close to the corner. Smoggy could actually break that one. Maybe <coughs> a bit of a misplay. Clear towards the back here. Now trying ah. to use. There was an attempt Take to punish. Sugetsu tried to run up towards it. They know that nobody has been sloppy with his positioning. So that makes sense there to try and punish this guy. But he was behind the corner. At least this time. 50 seconds. No player advantage. And no player in B link, which is where Navi are headed. Angel's pre-aiming for the jump spot. Smoggy was playing there. <clears throat> they drop down into the smoke now. Working their way through into B-Link. It's going to be that 4-1 split. Somebody holding towards the back side of this one. Haodong is there on to heaven. Feeling it now towards the back of Halls. What can Smoggy okay. do? Pushing right through into the smoke. Smoggy, still alive. Takes the first fight. Oh, yeah. See it. It. He wrangles control of the rifle. Maintains and holds. Nampaknya masih belum ada yang bisa closing ini kali. Tapi. Always getting flushed. Atau. Ah. Atau. Not futile to really do it here. Some of the rifles. Look at this crossfire setup. It's brutal. Two players and link one towards the back of Hors. Crossfirenya anjing. Managed to work his way into the back of Hors here, but what can he really do? He's dashed right. Yeah. 
So three match <coughs> points given away by Navi to send this to overtime. And now two match points failed to capitalize on for EDG. Neither team able to get over the line here. It's both of them struggling when it gets Bob to those yeah, points. Bob We're putting on a show. Yeah. Eh, yeah, I think this I is the first time that Kang Kang has not yeah. bought attacking op in OT. Just going for the rifle. Seen it thinking otherwise though. Heavy group up. It's up to him to do something about it. And spam onto Whoop. the corner. Catches Whoop. Kang Kang. Adjustments. It was there with the aim. Reposition with the dash close to pillar. Is there anything to clear him? How he wants to take number bite of the apple? Wide swing as well. Wide oh swing. my god, Sinet! Sinos go baja ni! Iya, 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 Sinet udah iya. He's hoping for the second kill there. Maybe to just refresh the dash. I don't think Navi will be mad about that one though. They're in a 4v2 to get themselves another one. Apa itu? Wup, wup, di play gitu. Wup, 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 wup. Spike was picked up. Side by side, Smoggy at his back. PDG pivot. They've got Shaw at their back. Kepanasan, kepanasan, sudah nggak bisa kemana mana itu. Right, so now we've got a really clear idea of what's happening here. They can play off any one of these players' contacts. Zipan, really good with the move. Ya, nampaknya kita melihat match point lagi. Apakah Navi bisa kelosing? Kelosing, kelosing. Udah lapan jam nih. Gue pengen berak. Tiar, sih enak betul noskop. Pulling off amazing moments, and now, udah enam belas empat belas, bang iya. Masalahnya baru semap nih kalau tiga map tiga tiganya OT ini namanya saya meninggoy di tempat. Not been clean with it so far. Can EDG pull out the impossible once more? Operator again. What? Oki anjir. Si Keng Keng. Uh, dapat langsung des di bangkong ya ke depan. Kang Kang, when you watch him, you just know he's not gonna miss. The aim is just so calm. Jadi dia tahu dah menang, Nafi. Okay. Kalau misalnya bohong, time out. All the way over towards A, Nafi. Feel like they've got a bit of a read on this. They've left Shao in a forward position here towards A main because they took that space earlier. And the rest of them now grouping out. They have to be careful though. Kang Kang, he does not miss. Why is that flick? It's insane. The reaction times of this guy. Si Kang 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 Kang. OT lagi OT. Masa iya, guys. Yeah. Andai di si Kram, pedipu. Trying to get this plan down, sit pants there. Got a clean fight. Chichu. Chichu, he was ready for it, anticipated it. Spike's been dropped into the back. Oh, Jean, really? Oh, Benong Las. Boom. Make it four, why not? And another one in the collection of multi-kills. This guy is a phenom. Terus, terus, bro. Tiga puluh ron. Aku masih semangat soalnya dulu menangnya harus enam belas ron. Tapi kita tidak bisa menyebutkan game tersebut. Yeah, ludicrous. Yeah, yeah. 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 Si baton gratis, minimal donat untuk kebutuhan akademik adik-adik. He's exhausting the list of superlatives, isn't it? But that's why people consider him the the best player in China. What he can do, these kind of things. He's going to pick up the attacking op again. So it's on the op on EDG's attack side. They've done this almost all the time. We saw a slight difference in round 29. Which of these teams is going to be able to get it across the line, though? This looks like it could be the longest game that we've. Ever had on a three-match day? <laughs> no one wants to go home. Yeah, in every sense of the term. Maybe production, but <laughs> keep them trapped. Listen, I'm here. I'm here for it. Keep the game going. 15 to 15. Extension of play in map number one. Bang, bang, bang. The camera shot. 
And how do you bring out new ideas? Mama! So deep into this, both teams have already used the time. Gaming para bang. So it's all just down to the players. The players have to be constantly thinking, generating ideas, ways of spicing stuff up. Kang Kang. And the swarms. They'll be popped off here. There's 27 seconds in this round. Mmm. Broken. They're just spamming down the spam. Walls in their face. No really knows. Mmm. Kang Kang dapat lagi. Mmm. Just pulling brilliance out of thin air. Flash over the top. Right mm. over the top. And time is running so damn short. Buta, buta, buta. Spike in the hands of Chichu. He chooses the planet wide out into the corner. Spam by Zip. Did you? Oh, no. Nah, I'm on. Onto it. Close to the corner. That's Smoggy. That spam would have won them the round. Thought it was brave. Chichu planting out in the open there, but it works out. Two versus two. Nana Swarm. The delay, yeah. Close to the corner is Smoggy. Chichu knows all the whole Yo, Olo. Ih, gila, bro. EDG. EDG. But it gets them up to 16. And map point again. Si Samugi bisa hidup aja itu si Samugi. Okay. I mean, how dong gets a kill on Cnet. I'm sure he's just aiming for the turret there. Maybe he's pre-firing. Maybe he's got a glimpse of something. But he pulls out the Nautilus A desperate situation for EDG. Yeah, I we, we've seen amazing stuff from Kang Kang's opening, Smoggy's insane multi-frag rounds where he just straight up wins it for the team and how dong's clutch 2Ks. This team is desperate not to lose here. You gotta get it over the line. They can't have the repeat. On the international stage. It's the best chance they've had. Yes. Kang Kang. Good Kang Kang. Oh, the consistency is off the charts. <coughs> Puts his team in a 5v4 to win on Pearl. Can they do it? Can they get it over that line? Lambos can be broken. Yeah, he activated the dash. Good win, Kalah. Good win. Oh, map. Of how slow this is being played. Trailblazers getting a bit of information there, spotting Xiao. It's enough to indicate or at least force the rotation. Yeah, Kang Kang just comes sprinting over. Not wasting any time. Turret's broken. Watching towards Ard. It's up to nobody to hold this main angle because look at Kang Kang. Again. Lagi, lagi, again. Lagi, lagi, ku lewati. Hanya sendiri. Wah. Wah. Mantap dia resort. Let's go. Woo. Ye, aku cair guys. Berapa persen nih lihat? Wah, tiga puluh delapan persen. Mantap sekali. Ah 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 ah. Ege ya, kan tu gue bilang. Map satu meta China bro. Ya gue buat opening asli. Wah dua ratus enam puluh empat. Tuan ku kembali. Alhamdulillah. Seratus persennya pecah asli, seratus persennya Navi pecah bro. Eh map dua tadi apa guys? Fraktur apa ini guys? Apa Heaven tadi guys? Eh Bain ya Bain salah kok kok Heaven goblok. Let's go. Spectacular rounds with his operator in particular, but we also saw Smoggy basically hard carrying them, deadlifting them through the early portions of this map. And how long was the only reason? Very parasy Smoggy, see us. The only reason that they were still in that. Out on Smoggy. Ridiculous two Ks. Yeah. Just everybody pulling up the bootstraps as well, stepping up when it was needed. Spare a thought for Shao, who ends the map with more kills than the bottom two players on EDG combined. Or first bloods as well than anybody else on the rest of his team. Uh, Shao was doing everything he possibly could there. 
Lord Dai, makasih udah join member, welcome. Oke, berarti kita sekarang kita ajarin adik-adik di di live chat ya, cara pakai OP yang benar ya. Nah, kita ajarin ajarin. OP-nya samain dulu biar nggak ada alasan. Deg-degan. TWT Mas Ilya, wah ada berita up tuh. Ntar kita lihat ya. Aduh bentar guys. Eh, pala gua. Match foul. Masih ada puyangnya dari kemarin nih. Babi. Skip dulu nggak butuh lah. Bukan buat lu. Lu mah gua main ranked juga nggak ada lu di live chat. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ya nggak dapat prel guys. Ini mah split susah nih. Oke, demen kurang kalau bukan jet. Iya sih. Chamber sih kalau OP tuh. Sebenarnya ya. Aduh, anjing. Tuh, kepala gua yang jet anjing. Gak dapet anjing Iya ayolah kaki 120 bah Itu cara main OP bang apa? Ah mati. Ini nggak kena bang shot, penjok. Terlalu geser gue ya Buset dah Ye gak kena Ye gak kena juga Ih, patah-patah mulu anjing Spectre-capture-nya Ih, gak mati guys Jeng, God Ares, eh buset buset, buset, dulu kangkang opnya kayak kamu kalau sekarang beda, hah? Bat lagi ya, babi Ih, 
Wah anjing Mini freeze nya jelek banget Ih. Kena anjing Hmm. Botak nih Ben coba apa? Yah elah. Yah elah. Yah elah. Makasih Anjing gak kenal loh Mana sih? Ya, timingnya babi banget. Five kills remaining. Duh, gak kena. Eh bang mau ngeheal dulu bang Ih, Aduh lah setelahnya one kill Ah enak aja lu one kill remaining Oh lagi aja Eh berapa menit lagi guys When they have gone one map down, not many times. I mean, I think it's around seven, uh, six times that they've 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 done this. Okay. When they're one map down, they've only ever managed to come back and win the series twice. Huh. Once against Fnatic and Masters oh. Copenhagen, and they went on to win the tournament, and once against Exit in the uh, "Thou shall Thou shall not be spoken" incident. But th that's not what's interesting. That is not what's interesting about my stat bomb. The interesting thing is, okay. both of those times where they did make did manage to make the comeback, they made it on bind. They started up by losing map one, winning bind, and then going on to win the entire series. So you're telling me match that bound the first game doesn't matter because we're going to bind next? Yes. I mean, they beat Fnatic and Exit. I don't know. By doing this. I don't know. I, I'm honestly, uh, this is crazy for me to EDG to pull out that pearl after. Remember, they were down 12 to nine in that series. I think they showed a lot of heart in that game. That's something really, you know, stupid to say, whatever. It's very basic, but I didn't see it from Navi. And, and yeah. Death I, I match. Think when you're looking War at this, <coughs> I think the question was in the regular season about how these teams were, or how Navi was actually going to change up the meta, whatever, all that sort of thing about their play style and the trolling that they're doing. I don't think that question is getting answered in a possible way. I'm loving what you're saying, Abola, but I want to hear what Doug thinks. Coach, an insanely tested affair there on Pearl, going all the way to I lost count on how many rounds. What was the biggest thing that went wrong for you there? Uh, I feel
think we stressed in some situation where we should be much calmer and just play together. And we have su such good aim that we're gonna get Blah. these multi frags that shouldn't be happening, you know? We should just be able to. Belum, be anjay! A bit more calmer and just refrag. Ah, good di tepu. Belum ya? Apa ini tadi? Otherwise, ini tadi kali ya? Simple. Game. simple. You're insane. Best of luck to you in the rest of the series. Good luck. Nah, ini tadi kayaknya dah. Tadi persen udah di. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> hey yo. Ya, ngikutin orang udah pada rungkat ya oke oke geko Gekko Harbor Viper Oke okay. Sui The Viper aman lah udah ini guys Aman 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 Si Kangkung menjadi apa namanya Menjadi Gekko nya Apakah kita akan melihat Gekko OP guys Ya yo, eh yang baru masuk jangan lupa di like adik adik ya. Well, uh, Bala, he believes in destiny, which means Josh and Brand, Navi are gonna win this and start the comeback. Yet to be seen, honestly, yet to be seen because yeah, heading into bind, Navi again. Dropping and changing a bit of compositions. We're looking at their bind. They're not going to be running the cipher. So another one. Desk was touching on, and yeah, instead uh, incorporating a bit of the KO as well. I mean, I can't have a course of EDG as well, but yeah. yeah, yeah, I can't really think why they'd run a KO specifically against uh, EDG. Like the the knife doesn't seem like it's going to be extremely good against you know the gecko. Maybe it's just designed. But listen, the way that EDG's composition works, they have a lot of utility that they're going to want to use in order to take map control. Not that Kung Kung particularly does it from the gecko <laughs> like that. Normally, he just plays passively outside showers on the yeah, attack. Yeah, but does. in theory, a zero point could stop high tides, cascades, you know, trailblazer, wingman, all of that kind of stuff. Here we <coughs> go. Pass off the rim. That's a double face as well. Crouch down. Oh, set. And the shots are there. Connecting for EDG Smoggy. He's in the fight. Smoggy on the other end. Yeah, that's damage done to Angel. He's got to back all the way. Ini kenapa gambarnya makin aneh sih? Woi. Makin sore makin aneh nih gambar. Hmm. Sui. 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 Simbah Big piss around. That is going to be helpful. Ya terus aja cobain terus. Match udah mulai cobain aja terus ya. Semangat semangat bro. Give a bit of space as well. You can see them farming up the orbs. Zipan's one step closer to his own ult. Bit of priority, but you know we've been joking around a lot, Josh, as well about EDG with his comp that they're running. Semangat semangat. You know you see the gecko, you think okay, a lot of utility, really powerful stuff. Combine it together, get a lot of value. Kangkang doesn't really have those ideas often as well. I mean, you'll see him buy an operator and stuff. Areas of the map when he is playing. Kangkang, the wingman. Here we go. 
no time wasted. One or two players spotted. Wingman. Get that plan down. Wade right into it. Lots of players backing up yet. The weapons carrying him through without any casualties. One enemy remaining. And compared to T1, who we saw previously running the same composition, uh, EDG are going to save a lot of that gecko utility for the actual exec onto the site. Aus. Which is an unusual way of playing the composition, as you were saying, Bren, because it is refreshable. You can pick it up off the floor. But Kang Kang prefers to have his rifle out at all times, or his op out at all times on attack site. And really, when you see how skilled he is, it's difficult to argue against the fact that he should mostly be trying to, you know, prep himself to take the fight. This is, this round very clean. Wingman in. Harvey to be <coughs> decent. Although it did offer a little bit of a spot towards the back of the site for Navi to play. Keep an eye on that later on. Yeah, no, interesting to note as well. I mean, sheriffs across the board, with Navi being on that defensive side, it means that they've had to go for half armor and not all of them have been able to buy all util. Charles missing a molly. There's no heal online. Yeah, it's a good point. I don't know if it'll make a difference, but we'll we'll try and keep an eye on it. I mean, the half armor, not usually that important, but against Spectres, it could change the outcome of a couple of fights. All over the top. Chichi is going to be trying to use that one as well to maybe get some low timings. This is Kang Kang's classic position when yeah. they attack. This is where he controls on the default. He's just going to be making okay, it seem like there's one over here. Kalau bumbot dulu ketahuan tuh anjir. Late into the round, going into showers. I think that's abusable if Sinead wants to take fights over there a little bit with Angel. <coughs> Otherwise, EDG are just contacting around the place. The zero point is quite good actually though. It's used around a minute 10 mark because now it forces the rotation out from Angel. It's going to be there. Fragment nade. Lost in. Another lost showers control. Oh, flash. Panic dikit. Rebounds. Pokes in their face as well, snake bites. Drop down to prevent any aggression going through into lamps as well. Still a chance for a teleport pivot. Is that what they're gonna try and do? They wanna try and fight. Buset, buset, right buset. Up close, got the rifle now, moving forward. Whoa. Exchange as well, bullets just raining down into lamps. And already the rest of the team collapsing through. Meanwhile, Smoggy uh, is making his presence. Tele, tele, tele. He's got the entirety of the site. He's like, guys, let's TP. Why not Whoa. escape it? But he might be walking around. Right 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 any second guesses? Over this one, smoke still dropped down here as well. Wingman with the spike, get that plant down. Okay. Zipan grouped up together. Eee, oh. 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 Goodness me, that is close. With a crash to avoid getting sprayed by that. He took a headshot, but it was kind of yeah, through the tube, through the metal. So he ended up not taking as much damage, I think. Alternatively, it might have just been a 140, and then he dodged the second shot entirely. Yeah, he takes a 40 and then he dodges the second. I mean, that is crazy. But EDG are able to take that round. They were taking fights in lamps in order to maximize the value of their... You spun ...in the bonus. And Na'Vi were happy to try and duel them in there. It does not seem like a great area of the map to heavily fight over as the defenders. And then, yeah, watch out for those smoggy lurks. They don't necessarily Ring need Smoggy to be able to entry on Bind. There's not really any dashes right to break crossfires that are super important if you take the fight over towards Avis Shower's control. Yeah. Well, focus on the extremities here towards B-Long and Showers early on. They've only kept on to B-Long, holding that, firing up the orbs once more. Oops, I like a bit of false information, or Zipan should see that with a jump spot. Presence there, drops down the smoke. Molly used as well, but 50 seconds left in the round, lots of time to work with. Our EDG. Without a raise, EDG do not fight over hookah control very often. So Navi's focus on B-Long seems like a decent idea, but they have got the rotate entirely wrong here. This looks like it's going to be a very simple round left. for EDG to wrap up. It's only Shao here with the Sheriff. This could have gone wrong for EDG if Navi chose to gamble and stack onto this site, but instead it is, like you said, just Shao. TP's now to try it as well. Mm. Oh, the angles oh. there, watched. Good one. But traded, Smoggy's there, tied. It's running short onto the angles. High tide coming through, gonna be able to watch this one. Seekers are committed. We don't put this we get to right through the wall, but nobody's through into the back of Elbow. Zero point. Castles out the blade storm. But they know where the last two players in RV are. Jumping wide. Oh, trying to take the fight as well. This precision. 
really doing the most here. That's Cena, headshot. that's lovely damage, and maybe a chance. Satchel, oh, he's beefed the movement. Oke, okay. kodok momen. Oi! Oh, pampir bro. Berikan anjing sini. That is close. The presence of mine of Sinead in that instance to get the kill. Satchel pocong dilakukan. Lining up for the headshot. Yeah, yeah. He almost gets that done. He took a moment. I really thought that was going to be an easy round for EDG to convert. They, they only had that single player on site, but again the sheriffs just look so good. Hmm. Hampir tuh hampir. Udah gini tuh si. Hmm. Si Sinead. His team across the line, but it's Navi with another horrible start to a match. I brought it up before how Masa gak apa-apa tiga ya sudahlah kalau misalnya so memang EDG sekuat itu Ini berarti titik terendah Navi ini Biasanya Navi itu kalah keempat Ya top empat lah Navi baru kalah Ada chances but Now it's EDG with a four round lead Leading in the series elimination match Sui Su, Sui, kabur Sui, kamu ke detail nanti. Iya, 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 lihat nyebrang. Iya, ih, gila anjing selamat. Ih, Sui, aduh satu lagi tuh kalau kau flash ya. Kalah pulang ya. He salvage it. Can he pick up the pieces? He takes the TP now into showers. Doesn't know where anybody really is here. Shao close to the corner. He's ready to meet him. This corner's not going to be cleared. Wow, wow. wow. Big round from Sigetsu. Exactly what his team needed. But how he, how he quite managed it, I'm not sure. EDG didn't look like they had enough of a plan on the follow-up to the thrash there. They didn't just use it to try and secure who can control. And then commit the site with it. They properly did. Bang, mau ngebet bang. Lah ngebet kawin. Ya minta laki lu lah kawinin. Navi have massive elements to work with here on the defense side. They're gonna try something extremely aggressive in sand at the beginning of the round. This looks like a flash and a potentially some kind of show stopper play. Bang lapar. Lah lapar bukannya lagi libur. Ntar besok baru main lapar. Kalau Navi masuk playoff dapat tiket champion tak? Kayaknya sih gitu ya. Controlling showers, and then he'll group up with the rest of the team. But of course, you know, with most players, you'd say, what is this strategy? Yeah, what are you doing? But when it's Kang Kang, wait. Sundul. Body block. Nice one, son. Yeah. Okay. Still gonna be able to get them into into short. Ideally, never snake by drop down. Anong has his own reckoning, but there's plenty more ults where that came from. Navi can offset that advantage at any point in time. Here's the reckoning. Are they going to use anything? Yeah, Viper's Pit into Lamps. Denies it. Ange! Uy, Sinet dapet ultinya, bro. Berangkui. Sinet happy to let it rip, but a Viper's Pit of their own. Honestly, just meeting them. Buset dah, bareng tu ulti. Gekko Operator. Jeye. Be aware of this. Any sort of attempt to push through. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're all broken. Yeah, and it could come. I mean, really, down to any semblance of just timing. Watching smoke. Outside of the Viper's pit, though. Together, smoke. There was a gap. Angle there. Our beams down. Kang Kang. How dong? Hoping, praying. Molly at his feet. The reposition. Thirty-one health. Flash doesn't see it. He's tucked. To the corner, surely you get clear so we can hear the footsteps, the boots rumbling beneath him. He doesn't know where they are right now. Yeah, I was watching for it, aware of it. Tapping onto the fuse, trying to bait out the spam. Oh, he's gonna spray it. Gila, Tichu, bro. Oh, my God. That round was anybody's. He could have flipped on any point based on spamming into a situation. But Tichu wins it in the most unlikely way possible. Getting that. 1v3 towards the end. He's the player that ended up being masterful in the clutch. If you think that's a good game. Go on, son. Love that idea from Sigetsu. Not that it particularly had an impact in the round. It's all the way on the other side of things. 
it's a major clutch to pull things out in favor of Sulit nih kalau lagi menyala gini guys economy back down into a weird position for Navi they're gonna take a time out here part of this might be just to discuss whether or not they want to force up around the three rifles that they can afford whether they want to save for Cena to get an operator Both of these teams have unconventional ops to be honest. Yeah, Navi Nation pakai baju paperback, Bang. Oi. EDG and it's going to be the Reds who sometimes pick up Navi on the defense. It's really quite difficult. That prior round for Navi, I mean, can't stress enough how brutal it was to lose it. Yeah. Out of Holster invested into that Josh and how it breaks their economy here. Again, the losers bonus is reset because they won round five. Yeah, it's catastrophic. Catastrophic. So they're in a really dire straits right now. It's looking like the first half of binds is going to snowball out of their control. EDG gonna be happy with that, though, aren't they? I mean, this is a team that <laughs> playing with elimination on the line, playing with a chance to get the first win for China on that global stage. Most down. Fighting over B-Long, fighting over showers. That's an RV game plan in this half by round, even though they've got three rifles. And a contact push out of showers. Two players together. Quite like this call from Navi. If they've been watching the VODs, EDG love to play really passive containment of showers. Pretty far back. And they've realized it. Nobody oh, is here. Yeah. Such a timing. I really do like this idea. And it could be brutal right now for EDG. Because they left Kang Kang push forward. E. The classic will do the job. See now, be like, oh, right, I'm to collect that. Thank you for the gun. EDG need to accelerate into B if they're going to push this area. No, Shao, he had you still out. Is watched. Dipan, it's a high low setup. What a return of fire. Mm. Hold on. He oversteps himself, though, doesn't he? Tries to take a little bit ah. more out, Shao. Oh, my. The hero for Navi. Dua, 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 dua. Steps up again. She shoot. He won the 1v3 last time, but this is a very, very different situation. Navi have done enough here. Strangely, EDG actually looking more uncomfortable in the slow pace. You know, they were asked to turn up the tempo there after they lost all of their control over towards A, and they just fumbled it a bit. Didn't wait for the seekers to come out of nobody. How Dong still. Kalau kelas lagi sih nggak ngerti gue ya. Aneh si Napi aja. Okay, aman, 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 aman. Well, that's a bit bizarre because. If he'd kept that, they would have actually been able to get a couple of rifles on board. Apakah Navi salah dengan mengambil Sinet dan membuang Ardis? Kalau kata gue, mas Sinet lebih bagus dari Ardis. Oh masih 90, reloadannya ini kan pakai patch sebelumnya kalau turnamen. Beautiful stuff. I mean, it's the same kind of thing that we've seen from Navi all time. I think empat enam empat empat. What the fuck? Navi struggling to get a start. Lu nggak mau rugi beli tiket itu namanya, guys. They win some major rounds. Sui. Okay. Sui. Take a reaction time test after that one. How? Empat enam empat empat. Entah tu peminggu depan. Very often get you results. Massive from Sagetsu. No danger now being placed this way, but there's a lot of contact plays and close to the corner. Shao, lucky they didn't end up falling. Yeah, that could have gone dangerous. And still could. Still could. With the sheriff, he's there. Angel forced to let loose the ult now. He's like, okay, got to push him back somehow. But again, the tempo has been cut. EDG, they slow it all the way down. Abilities. Through, oh, tap. There's damage done. It's a crossfire setup all the way through with the right force vulnerable straight down. Sagetsu can't land the final few bullets necessary. Bisa dihidupin nggak sih? Oh, close. A res, very far back position. Hidup. Okay, hidup si Ange nih. Get Angel back into the fight here, but can hold on to even more. Close to triple. Okay, sweet. The movement. And Sagetsu gliding across the ground, but the plant's still down. Chichu has to pull off the impossible with a ghost. Quite how the util for it, yeah. I mean, that's snake. Okay, man, absolutely. Sorry, no way. I'm sure he was aiming for Sugetsu. Yeah, oh, point. Gua kagak ngurang. Huh? Despite a little bit of danger, and now they're starting to get a little bit of bad. Navi, it and that's all my bad way. But momentum in their favor, and they've shown an ability to be able to read what you're doing. Yeah, bad. Bad Navi. Kang Kang without enough. Yeah, emang masih banyak tiga setengah juta kan? 
I think Haldon could have dropped for him had they wanted to go in that direction. He's gonna go into the next round with five rifles. Match sebelumnya, oh nggak tahu kalau match sebelumnya ya, gua nggak ngertiin. And so far, Navi are putting a premium on fighting for the outsides of the map. It's a game plan that is working actually. They're just walking up behind Cnet's op. Like I said, the raise operator, a feature of Navi's defense. Apa gua bet EDG? Oh, goblok. Cnet's gonna hold the left. Shao. Ya kalau bet EDG kan jadi cuan, belaan. Bisa bisa lupa kocak. Yeah, lu ya DG mer, no. Yang ingat malah yang lain. Lah belok tu. Gives up the high ground position. Now the reckoning as well starts to be used. Pushing him back into the corner. Still, a couple of areas you can play quite safely. Cnet making his way over towards Lamps, barreling through with a rifle. Kacang merah, makasih dari jen member. Welcome back. Unable to stand tall. Whoop. Ange, ange. Angel. Quick to capitalize. Nice flash, ange, ange. Here we go. Let's go. Still watching for these angles. It's really just scattered approaches. Team fights. Aim jewels all over the place. A dodge towards the side. Nobody. I mean that was just all over the place. And EDT are able to take it. Okay. All the complimentary angles. Ah, I'm pretty sure. What just happened? EDG killed there while utterly full blind. I mean nobody did dodge the first flash. Wow. Oh no, guys, guys. I think that is just incredibly fast reactions, but I felt like. I mean, that was just a return as well to almost like the domestic Valorant we've been we've watching of EDG. There it is. That's the one I'm talking about. Chishu, yeah. full blind runs. Da, put full Grabs blind, Anjir. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're right. That was a bit of the chaos that we've seen from EDG where they are in a situation like that. And provide Use help. me, Anjir. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd waiting to be go nuts usage. for a wingman play. Yeah, uh, Kang Kang's been getting usage out of it to... He's been using it to plan. Yeah, to, to plan, basically. He's, he's mostly been saving his utility for when they actually get to the site. Using Dizzy a couple of times just to take a, a little bit of map control. Well, I'm sure they're going to go nuts for the first wingman defuse. By the time we get to the sides being flipped, though, it's possible that Na'Vi might be seriously facing elimination and having to go to LCQ. And Barla was talking about it a little bit, how ridiculous that situation is. Na'Vi's win rate in elimination games is bonkers. Did you see TWT Demon 1? No. I didn't see TWT Mas Ilya, he said there's Ingpo. But also because they're a stellar team, a phenomenal team, that's currently in a bit of a slump, but still expected to be able to take out EDG, I would say. They're slim favorites in this game, even in their current form. And at the moment, that is not the way the series is going. EDG, especially at the beginning of these maps, is tossing them around. Kang Kang with another thrash. Tiba-tiba sembilan tiga, guys. Wow. How does he want to use it? Oh, okay. Pak, kalau dua kosong sih, sudah lucu nih. Still has it. Will anybody be able to play off of this? Okay, now he's going to be using it. Cascade. Usually, this would just be for a little bit of control, and then. Yeah. Ambil lagi. Yes, he grabs it back. Gas. Ulti lagi bang Geko. Okay, he's got it for some kind of sight control. You would expect Haldong to just stay here and then call a bit of a pause in the round. They're looking to bait a reaction on the other side of the map. And Cned has reacted, but only to tuck himself into a corner, Eey. not to actually explore into Smoggy's crosshair. Spike handed over. Ready a plan, any guys? A thrash in the hands. Maybe waiting as well. Trailblazers use anything to break it. Got one get caught. Two players, not three. His. Thrash being used again. There's a knife. Mm. Does cancel it. Almost mm. strikes. A couple of ideas behind this one. Now we're really seeking to try and disrupt this one. Hoping that they were up close towards it. They through the TP. Showers. Nobody's here. He's got the Seekers as well. Clears through. And Cena's going to be caught into that corner. Still wants to take the fight though. Flash wasn't good. It was dodged. Amazing dodge. You hear that other TP through Showers. Now this is the adjustment that's really necessary. Viper's Pit has been dropped. Wing man for the plan. Gonna take bait. Yeah, I'm sure. Grab that one back. Vulnerable up. There's only 13 seconds left. This is getting more than dicey. Poor tick. Looking not really quite doable. Poor tick. Smoggy takes the fight towards the back of the side. The gap says she shoot also. Oh, couple ends already. Oh, sweet. Throughout the smoke as well. Oh, skated yet. Navi still looking to maintain. Nidia, angka empat. Napi. Kangkang, she shoot. Managed to get the spike down in the middle of all of it. Shishu might be asked to get another 1v3 here inside his pit. But how can they do it when it is slow? The Na'Vi players are so healthy. The Molly as well. 
Doesn't work for him. What? That one was into Hooker. Yep. Gun was into Lampen. Needed. Tap onto it. Kang Kang forced the swing. Oh, yeah. But it's watched. Too much mounting against EDG to really. Pacak dikit, tapi ya udah. So unfortunate though for Shishu. He's just there. Kamu kayak gitu, iya. Pit alive, and the molly is just stopping him from swinging back lamps as Navi focus forwards on the front of the site, and it actually bleeds through the wall to tickle Shishu's ankles and take him down. That's so unfortunate from him. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. He's on the other side of the wall here. Yeah. Allah. Delighted when he got a kill out of that one. Terbakar asmara. Ripnapi, ripnapi. Terkadang ku ragu. Deep flash, good info for Zipan. But EDG have been playing the slowest for a default most of the rounds as well, so doesn't really give them a good indicator. This will though. It's a contact push out through showers. To get two, you're holding your all out in the yeah. open. He's just holding a crack there for information. The ulti, bro. Takes contact, pops off. He's locked off the entirety of Hooker. Uh, not broken. Nade at the feet. Nobody can walk past that. Yeah. The point is theirs. Now you two are being used as well in kind. This Navi just trying to again lock them off, slow them down. EDG, can anything going for them? They push all the way mm. through here. What's the call? 50 seconds. <coughs> such a deep flank. All the information is theirs. They're not going to expect Zine. Apakah si Zine akan mendapatkan bokongnya? Tidak, ternyata, guys. Oh, it's Kang Kang hitting that. He's got a sheriff. And now you see it. A TP coming through there. There's nobody. Ya, namanya ya. By his side, Smoggy also going to be following suit. The rest of his team making their way through into cave. 30 seconds remaining. Shao's in such a weird spot. He might be able to cut off the spike, kind of weirdly predicting their rotate through cave. He needs to be dealt with. 60 seconds, waits it. Final Ma! moment, all the way. Ciao, Nima. At its best. Ciao, Nima. Mantap. Ciao, being a difference maker. What a decision from Ciao there. Just talking himself up to the rest of the team, I think. He is having a series. Yeah, that's an anti eco, but it's one that could have very easily gone sour for them. And he had already heard two people go through the teleporter to site. There's a good chance that those guys have the spike, and Xiao is just left top short with nothing to do. Yeah. And instead, picks the perfect timing. And like you said, amazing patience. Uh -huh. Nami, one round away from tying things up at the half. Xiao is fight. All the way. Deep nade, mosh pit. Combining all this util, but it's used just one singular molly. It's enough to push them back. Dah, peta aja lu cinep. Why not? Gak ada lu di patch baru begitu tu, abis pelor lu. Corners, it earns that first kill. Big advantage for Nami. Forces Shishu to make something of it. Risks taken. He goes down. Show stopper was ripped. Cinep's like always. The rest of you. Dash to avoid it. Nade around the back. Trying to get the punch out onto him. That is such a wide swing from both of them. Oh my goodness. EDG will take that one. Yeah, okay. It opens up the round just a little bit at the minute mark. Smoke's down. They're going to try and re-explore showers. They know that this is the area CNED was playing in before. So with him pushing short, they think, okay, showers is probably clear. Nobody caught with a knife. This smoke, close. Bisa aja tuh main-main layangannya Bani. Breaking it. Scrap the Phantom. Slight gap again. This has been getting cleared by Na'Vi. Gotta suspect this one. Cove. Thirty seconds left. It's dropped, but immediately broken. How long? Still gonna be sticking this to get this plant down as well. An extension in the round. Time being bought. Seekers all the way through. That's a fight taken by Howard. You just swing okay. to the back of the side. Okay, Ange. Ange, Ange, oh, Ange. Eight bullets left. One tap. Oh, tap or the rifle. Okay, my tap. Precision. Enam enam guys, Napi masih possible. Do bring it six to six, equalized in the half. They are going to be so pleased with themselves with that. Yeah, after going down zero four to begin this one, this is a major recovery. Navi's game plan ended up working really nicely. They were just focused on controlling the outsides of the map. Showers be long, and it paid dividends for them. When EDG pushed down short, they had good positions to be able to collapse onto the site, and otherwise they were winning the fights. EDG kind of missing the utility there. 
six to six. That's where we find ourselves. The first half of Bind. I mean, really drawn all the way back from Navi. Let's send it down to the desk as well to break it so far. Thank you very much, Josh and the brand. Abala, it was a great start for EG, but Edward but Gaming seratus buset. Really got Navi back into the game. Yeah, a couple rounds. Udah telat salah. Even on the anti eco, you could tell that they were keep willing up, keep that up. game back into existence because Shaun Sugetsu, those are the guys I think that you remember from last year as being the players. Jika Navi anak Navi, buat post plan ya, betul. Brought them a championship. The stellan permainan nerd ini ya. Line up, line up, gaming. So I think they're favored now. Woo! Pulang, pulang. I do think it's been fun to watch both of these teams playing chaos, right? We were just talking about challenge to get to, and I think about that round where he's pushed up, catching the rotates over on the go as they were trying to hit showers. It's chaos moments like that that feel like it's a bit reminiscent of what we just saw in Pearl. Those overtime rounds where everything was just chaotic, and I can't help but lean towards like EDG thriving in some of that space. Yeah, I think in the last game it was EDG just capitalizing on those moments. Here it. Shao finding these crazy timing two rounds ago, like you mentioned. And when you listen to Doom Bros talk about between maps, how it's important for the two player for all the players to be playing together, I'm wondering how much you have to rely actually on individual form instead of really relying on some of these trades and positioning, all these different things. Because honestly, that's not something you can fix overnight. So to see them step up is really, really important if you want Navi to stay in this. Yeah, Ntar copyright gak ya? Berapa jam Ben hari ini Ben? Sembilan. Ini ending lama bet. Subaton gratis. Igal napi siapa si Angel? Ange 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 oh. On binds, they not want to be playing the last chance qualifier for EMEA. Any any chance ahead of them, really? They got to win this map to avoid that fate. Flying all the way back, prepping for that as well. Navi have straight up just been like top two in EMEA since forever. Igal dulu dia di tengah biasa begitu. So already finding themselves in weird situations. Where's that point going? Is it going to make it feel like oh, the garden? Yeah. Whereas instead, Angels on the other side of the map. Sails all the way across. Where's this one going? So that's just like a backwards flash that you throw, so that it's primed by the time it bounces off the wall. It looks like landing away from him. Okay, dash is active now. Flash as well off of the contact. Nobody. Adjustment is there. Game. Precision to bring down to get to, and the showers plays. They don't want anything to do with it. They look like they wanted a pop through. That's a lovely idea. Comboing the dizzy with the flash there to ensure that a player gets blinded, and you can take a fight and prime it all off Smoggy's contact. Oh, he pushed up position. Didn't hear any footsteps. Just hold that space. Re-exploration from Navi, though. Jumping around, B hopping. Gets the info. Nice to Jake, Thierry's on Jake now. So Jake. Navi, <laughs> looking to potentially commit. <laughs> High ground angle is watched. Angel's ah. close. Wind ties fight out. Still with the classic out on. <coughs> Here's the Ooh, step. Nobody. With these flicks, these micro adjustments, just being so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nah, ini tuh warga Palembang. Extra element with that deep push out. He was always going to be lurking as well. The backstab. Lo doang Malmer. G, they managed to stop the bleeding. As Navi, prior to that, had won five out of the last six rounds, and like Bala said, it felt like the momentum was thoroughly in their favor heading into this half. EDG are going to start out well. They want both pistols in this map now. And showcasing a trap play that's really cool. I wonder if they've got that elsewhere on the map. You see, I can't play with nobody again over towards B long. So it's quite possible they're going to really focus on comboing. Where, hello? Where oh are you my, going? You are so close. Side by side, shoulder to shoulder. Yo, Olo, it's this blood. On a, a round where you have uh, such an advantage. I mean, Kang Hang as well was holding a deep angle. Angels ripped his head off of the Sheriff, meanwhile, towards B Long. Very risky behavior in this round for EDG. One that teams are normally going to win about 90% of the time. Yeah. Udah tadi tidur sih. Tidur lagi. Uff, angin. Tidur lagi. 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 Tidur lagi.
close again. This time, yeah. Force Thanks, Blade, Dangerous, Trailblazer. It's yeah. broken. Good bait, though, for yep. Smoggy, potentially. And Smoggy now. He doesn't have dash, though. Hit. Some value out of it. Well, Smoggy is going to get out of it. Forcing a fight out. No more smokes as well. Shao, who's through? Aware of it? Yes, still. Oh. Smoggy just can't win the fight out. These Sheriffs, the hands of the Na'Vi players, they are just demonic. Anjing, anjing, anjing si Na'Vi. Trip, trip, trip. Aduh, Sui! Sui! Ih, anjing, si Na'Vi. And they finish the round in the same kind of way. Dia pake Corsair apa sih? Si Getsu aneh banget dah. Tau, itu pake Corsair plus biasa gitu. Challenge and take a fight over towards B-Long and then That prompted a series of contact pushes. Anti Eco dapat. Just there actually before we went into the replay. Oh god, that's a pre-fire. That's pretty good from Angel. Everybody. Navi were just pinging out the fact that EGG went for a re-push in Sand. Re-pushing Sand or pushing Sand in general in the mid round. Something that how many teams are doing in the meta right now? Paper Rex are doing it a ton, and it's been working very nicely for them. Most attacking teams are going to leave a bit of a gap in their default over towards that area. Navi may have prepped specifically for this or adjust to it. Okay. EDG going to be kicking themselves that they did drop that prior round. Okay. Yeah, it, just went, it looked like they were going to be able to re-grasp control of the map. Slips through their fingers. They have stacked over towards the map. Navi is actually a pro player. If you play a series, you can play Almost lining up, they hear it. Oop. Yeah, I'll just spray through it. A little bit scrappy yet, okay. The weapons do carry them through, even time to pick up the orbs. Start prioritizing those ultimates. Yeah, yeah. They've had calls to the rest of the team. I'll let him through for you. Yeah. That one's for you, Sigetsu. Ang, ang, ang. And here we see a proper rifle round. Oh, si Nate jokesnya warga Palembang, gue ngerti baru join. Tadi ada yang bilang warga Palembang, banggang melihat si Nate. Nah, a slow playstyle may well bait out open <coughs> aggression from Edward Gaming. Looks like Navi are setting up for an A split here. Angel's position. Maybe some util over the top. Slow shower. Man, man, lion, your buddy, kan? That's gonna be the trailblazer. And this is definitely the weak side of the map for EDG. There's quite a bit. Don't spot a player on top of truck. Smoggy even feeling like he has to use a smoke to. Cover the showers angle because he doesn't know if it's compromises. And they got a lamp. Don't get any of you. Wave of utility. See that very clean movement with the satchels. Lands right on top of truck. Doesn't take a clean fight though. Nampi itu bro. CTRL. CTRL. The rifles teach you. Okay. Smoke. Oh, it's a charge. Finish tracks, but on top of bench to get some precision. You run the bullet. Charge. Shot to the cranium brings him down. It's two versus three. Kang Kang's retaken with the op. Aduh. Dapat nih kamu langsung petret aja nggak masuk gitu. Ih. Gila anjing. Petret jig. Lu telat ya? Tapi dia nyamperin crosshair sih, bukan si Gisin turun itu kan? Iya. Kalau belum si mati itu dia aja. Wah, gila anjing. Susah bet anjing ini ngentikan. Ope si Kang Kang, gak tau Disangkanya udah ke Yuho lah kali Jig ya Ngapain diperangin sebenernya mah Si Ange sih ikut-ikutan kocak You cannot give him. You cannot give him those chances. 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 Those He's hoping someone's going to explore there because CNED was playing hooker heavy at the beginning of this half. 
There's an old command though. All the way through at the back of triple. Smoggy is feeling really susceptible to a bit of spam. <laughs> Oh, he's just turning order yeah, yeah. strike now. Drop down at their feet, but fights a second. It gives him the timing. Shao returns the fire, brings out with yeah, oh, to get to. Also sweet. collapses and collides. Snake bite at his feet, trying to get the rest off. Mati lagi yang he. Eh, kriten. It is there. It is. Hands up. Kang Kang seeks to claim the kill. There's a rifle. Here's the flash. Why not take a fight? Anjing sweet, sweet. Ada dua kali tu jing. Anjing. Dia ganti lagi OP lo. Dia ngambil OP anjing Iya gak Udah pakai OP ganti Vandal Ngeflash ganti OP lagi anjing Gak jelas Sui lagi 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 perang ini nih anjing Astaga Ah 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 Yeah, it's not the left hand doing the work, it's the left frontal hope. Rent free. Teru banget nanti tadi kayaknya. Kenapa? Bilong has no way to really escape from this. Okay, flash. If he heard an audio cue or what, but he's already backed pretty far away. Dog. Liz either side. Still a chance. Angel holding the flash again. This is trying to set him up. It was right over the top, so yeah. And can't hold it. Does allow Navi to cross into this one, but it forces out this high tide. Never snake bite. Anjir. Down. Snake bite against you. A chance. That's it. Oh, oh, yeah. The wall of water. Oh, oh, itu. It is so strange. Tapi itu kalau yang di atas sama kayak kayu nggak sih? Dalam mana juga? Sama. Kena kan dalamnya? Yeah. And Kang pre-aiming where he thinks the player might be. Flash. He gets him back onto that angle, but the. Barrel, does it stick out? Suara burungnya udah ketahuan itu. The goal by the seekers, utilized on either side. Double dash, there we go to Satchel into the back. Seen it. He's cut it up. The crossover placement. He's fading it out. There it is. As soon as he hears the op shot, takes the wider face, takes the wider swing. He needs the rest of his team though. And finally, starting to make their way up through into B long. Thirty seconds. Plant. Nobody gets it. Denies the plant down, but it was traded. Seen it. Yang ngerti. Uh. Gila anjing. Bok. Hampir, hampir anjing. Wanter mau begitu ya? Dia tu asli dia dua hari siapa ini sih? Semogi emang dulu dua hari kan? Dulu dia dua hari kan? Semogi dulu kan ya? Dua hari sekarang kayak banyak banget aja. Jadi sekarang sekarang emang pada ini dah jik pada swap roll swap roll gitu dah. Harus ngeflex terus ya. Iya. But that this game is so tense. Finally we should get a bit of a reprieve as Navi are on an anti eco. That's a push out of sand. Oh no, of course. Hey, Gini, bu, mau menang ascension, anjing, wah, hah? Your breath, not quite. But it's just the tension in this game is unreal. Both teams happy to slow down the mid round. Oh. Abi, tiba-tiba, bu, anjing. Outrageous clutches. And I think the the tension that all the players are feeling is trickling into the game because there's so much on the line. EGG are desperate for this win. Dulu waktu kan dia champion udah ikut aja ya. Di EDG champion kemarin iya. Yang dia pakai chamber dah kalau salah. Semogi itu. Chamber, chamber, chamber sama jet apa dia? Ah mungkin nanti di playoff ganti mungkin sih. Playoff dia, tapi dia mungkin ini kali ya. Kalau pasti pada tahu kan tim-tim latihannya pakai pada pakai pecah sebelumnya pasti kan. Yeah. Mungkin dikasih pecah yang lama kali. Oh. Hmm. Sui mati. Bantai bantai panjang orang. Muset dah. Not enough resources at his disposal. Gg then. You can't catch a break in any of these rounds, including the thrifties. 
EDG just finds so many opportunities there. The push is malam push kan namanya? Inspired. That would be like that kind of timing. Malam push ke? But also, buset bunuh gue aja. Dah yang pengen kan? Yang push lah. Besok dah gue gue besok nge push. Kalau besok, eh bes, ya besok besok sukan cuma dua tu. Sekarang lah bang, wah. Ini tiga map, anjing. Mau tiga map ini? Tiga. Dua. Tiga map semua kan settingannya gitu. Mengitu skrip. Iya tadi ada yang pakai iPad dik. Navi EDG map dua empat enam empat empat skornya. Oh teh sampai empat enam. Baru gelap stage ya bang. Dua minggu baru beres kotor. Teo, makasih dari jen member. Kamu Teo. Setiap ada pelurun berapa bet? Dua lima kalau salah. TSM itu. Dua puluh itu tak ada anjing. Dua puluh lima. TSM dua tujuh kalau masih wardel kan? Iya. Mati kang kang anjing. Ya, meledak. Tuh baik saya tanda uhut di. Kena bom, kena bom. Kena di tengah-tengah berarti bom ya. Alhamdulillah. Bahaya ni. EDG kalau dikasih run run deng. Hari ini isoan bahaya ni menang anjing. Iya anjing. Trisi tristinya ane. Eh Discord tu bisa ganti nickname ini kan? Apa? Yang enggak pakai hashtag itu. Oh dah. Oh lu lihat eh? Lihat eh? Ada bangkong semua. Bangkong doang. Lu juga udah tuh magic doh. Iya. Gue belum ganti tapi. Ah, mana coba lu ke user setting terus account. Username pokoknya. Gue sih jujur pengen tidur Gue tidur tadi tadi Gue gak tau nih gue Toho main apa enggak Tapi tadi gak ada announcement anjir di sebelah Ose katanya ini Apa minggu depan Baton Ose Oh iya katanya Ose hari ini subaton mana Mana bang Baton di GH Ups Baaah yang mati, yang mati cicho, yang mati cicho ni, yang kabur si king king. Ih, disikat lagi si king. Ia di smoke kan jing? Ia hawlo kesian bet si ange mati mulu. Wah sui, sui moment ni. Ini si pusing si jing, bunuh op nya si jing. Gila ya, OP-nya terlalu ini ya Agak buat ini EDG are leaving I mean, the timing found It's just brutal for them It really is They've left to open the B site completely Asik, B-nya dikasih Played into the back of the spawn They're only gonna know Really when the spike gets tapped Tadi gak jelas buat ini Udah apa katanya? WK, WK, WK Ini dia kenapa sih? Oh, wak, wak, wak Dia baru tahu Wak, 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 wak Sudah baru tahu itu ketawa Indo Gara-gara itu Vlog Paper X Kayak apa? Mic check EDG will get the read. If they end up pushing into spawn, there's no way. I mean, how long isn't on an aggressive line? It's a contact double clear. They're hoping to catch somebody who was all the way back. How long is so far back? I mean, there's only 20 seconds. They have to end B. Yeah. They're hoping to catch somebody in the back. But this also means that they're not going to have too much time to reposition. Ten seconds left. And can they possibly get the read here that the site's utterly empty? Planted inside of tube. Aduh mereka ngelihat. Garden. Oke. Flash. Tahu dia. Tahu dia. Aduh. Eh. 
itu enggak itu enggak enak ke vandal itu kayak gitu anjing enggak bisa di surprise enggak bisa enggak bisa ini tahu masih Ben kayak misalnya nembak nembak dua peluru nih terus kalau mau nembak keduanya lagi tuh enggak enak anjing oh iya iya feelingnya aneh kayak burst jalan tembak gitu kan burst jalan nembak kalau phantom dapat tuh both teams feeling it aren't they felt that the deep breath taken Collectively by you gaming players, I mean celebrations, of course, in all the like This has brought you very I narrow think. margin. You're to 11 now versus now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tapi ya sih, dia lebih duluan daripada lu, Ben, anjing. Udah 10 jam deh, 10 setengah. Kan dia rengket dulu tadi. Rengket dulu, iya. Rengket dulu sebelum nobar. Tapi kok dia di sana pagi mulu dah. Apa? Kok pagi mulu ya? Kan tadi dia malam ya? Sekarang tuh baru sekarang tuh baru pagi. Berarti itu nanti streamingnya kayak malam sampai pagi gitu. Iya. Begadang deh begadang. Fantastic record in elimination games. Oh si Tarik tu biasanya streamingnya jam-jam ini jik. Jam-jam siang. Kalau misalnya normal ya. Sepagi-paginya kayak jam sepuluh dah di Amerika. Darpas champion kita terbalik tu. Champion di LA kan? I kita yang subuh. Tawan tu. Cikeng keng op. Op guys, gobi gobi gobi. Dia dindarin dek. Dindarin bro. Udah di spek ayo udah susah ni ngop ya. Ada di pearl kolat ayat kolat terus jik tadi di pearl. Trailblazer used a bit later here. Nade. That's gonna be for the back of the side there. Fragment snake by all of it. In conjunction, cascade. Ya Allah, the ban combo gitu. Jisoo, he's kept it that way. The ban combo banjing si net, the seal bot. Rata jek jek dua kosong kan? Dua kosong anjing. Ya, Emea yang pertama pulang. Yang pulang, 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 pulang. Berarti memang Navi diselamatin fanatik ya waktu di MEA. Ya Allah itu si Sinet. Lucu banget. Gak, ni si Kangkang jangan senang dulu. Lu tu menang ini lawan Tiwan lagi, bos. Sengaja jangan lagi Navi. Dilewat. Udah anti flash kata bulnya masuk. Entah. By the way, Zipan and Angel only working with sheriffs in this round. Moshpit's being thrown here. That one landing. Apa sih si Kang Kang? Tahu ngasal benar. Mana pakai feeling doang kan? Tidak ada orang dua di B anjing kagak dianggap B. Makanya. Belum juga di call tu kayaknya. Garden atu. Uff anjing. Hmm mati lo Kang Kang harus dikituin tu harus dipojokin. Sinet kenapa sih lu di ban tidak pakai jet aje? Kau yang tahu raja lu sumpah dah. Attack of the plant, and now we're seeing the ults really let loose. This could be it. The turning point. No connection on the flash, and nobody still takes the fight. Nobody lagi dapat juga nih hari ini. Time is of the essence. Shall shut down. Any chance for some counter? Aman, aman. Wah, berangkat, berangkat, berangkat. Ot lagi guys. Ot, ot. Navi dig deep and force things into a final round of regulation. 
Aduh, Jik, gue ingin menyelamatkan Navi. Tapi, ah, jangan dah. Nanti aja lah. Gue punya meta baru sekarang, Jik. Apa tuh? Turu. Teori Turu. Jangan diliatin, Rone. Menang, deh. Menang. Tadi udah dua kali terbukti. Gak, tidak. Tidak akan kukeluarkan jurus. Khusus buat Peperex. Tapi Jepang sih penontonnya siri sepe kayak Iya. Siapa pun yang menang ada pasti. Oh, oh. Gak kayak Brazil anjing. Diem anjing. Oh. Beruk kill satu. Oh. Iya satu doang loh. W crowd. Oh, ude. Ude aneh ni si kangkang. Ote ni mantap ni. Ote ni. Si kangkang. Nah itu ntar udah gak bisa tuh di batch baru kayak gitu Jik Eh bang ya Ya udah jelek aja spreadnya Jalan jongkok jalan jongkok gitu Udah kemana-mana itu Masa menang anjing Gak mungkin lah ya Dua lawan tiga Gak mungkin lah ini OT nih Gak mungkin lah ini OT nih Masih ada Mualli tapi kok dia dalam ya? Oh main ngetret, main ngetret. Hanya dia set, boleh dulu. Eh? Okey. Oti, oti. Navi looks so composed in these moments, and that's a major contrast to EDG in those final couple of rounds. Kang Kang had his thrash and was unable to use it in either of the rounds that could have sent them to the victory. He goes for a repush along with Smoky. It just feels antsy from EDG. They're relying on hero plays to be able to take them across the line instead of playing fundamentally well as a team. And it's offered Navi an opportunity back into this. Thank you, Margot, please. We saw Navi up 12-9. It ended a long time later, deep, deep into OT. This time, you know, EDG had a similar kind of advantage. Navi had to win two in a row even to get us to this point. Ops on both sides. Screw the regulation time. It comes down to OT. What you got? What is still remaining in the tank? EDG hoping now to pull it over the line here in map number two. Following the distance, Navi. I mean, obviously having different ideas on their approach into it. The deep Viper Orbs going to be placed down into short. Kangkang is also taking this attack up into Luka. To get to has been playing net frequently. Red Reed. Kang Kang changes up his position. Eki, Eki. Kang Kang, Kang Kang, bro. Pretty confident he's going to be playing that angle. Beautiful stuff. Now he can go for a reclear of Sam. Mau epeor situ sih. Is that what? Is that what Shao and Zip? Let me epeor biru ni. Use the trailblazer to shower up. Let me epeor biru ni. Because it's not a contact reclear, it's going to clue EDG in. This is going to be a brutal time. Eh, timing. Fights all over the place. Backing away. Hmm. Shao. Uh, di luar dia anjir. Oh, anjir. Pagi-pagi kehilangan dua smoker emang asik nih. Kita lihat di sini. Certified angel moment. Cove drop down. How long for the safe plant? Chishu pushed up close and DB hears it. Oi, oi, oi! Chishu also answers. Two versus two. Oh, you're a bit of a new one. Chishu is. Hey, do you look at that? He hit a drop down. Yeah! He's covered. From the wide swing, vulnerable up. CNED dropped down to 52 health, still with the operator. He'd love a rifle right now. City Lu? Doesn't want to make any noise. Mac? Any chance? Yeah, man, yeah, 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 yeah. Cutting all semblance, any idea where he could be? The minds of EDG, but they set this on up all the way. There it is. Halo takes the peak. 
Parah ya, CDG ya. Orang Cina disiplin banget mainnya aja. Once more, it's Edward Gaming granted a chance to close this out. And now pulses are gonna quicken, hands are gonna start to shake. Both on the verge. Momentous, historic situations. Not be eliminated this early in a tournament. Unthinkable. EDG, one round away from being able to have that glorious win that they're looking for. A historic moment in China. That's what they said in an interview before they even flew out here. That's what they were looking for. A historic. Wah, like a stuck guys. Winning a match, making it to playoffs. Jing, otai terus aja, kape berapa nih? Region, they've been playing catch up. Haven't had the many years that we've had so far in PCT history. Getting some sports. Exactly. These players are playing on the international stage. You know, people questioning even, you know. Decision to invite the Chinese teams, but listen, this is why you never count out any region. Give them the chance to shine, and my God, they will do so. Si Aning masih bawa laptop itu ya Allah niat banget. Bring it over the line to send home at Nabi. Send them packing. Buat dikitin doang atau ber? Iya orang mau bawa iPad bang. Laptop. Kemarin. Into overtime on the road. I mean, Nabi. Paling niat sih tu orang biar gede layarnya. Feel like a fool every time. Net orang mana Palembang? Because you look at the roster and what they've achieved in the past. And I still believe they're capable of being able to win this series, but they're going to have to prove it. Let's see how it goes. Good enough. Aduh, mandi ini. Kasar kasar. Tahu, mandi bobo enak ini. Aduh. Been in this spot before, that's for sure. Lagi mandinya air anget. See if they can ramp it up now. Bring it even once more. Mandi, minum coklat panas. Play going on by. Bobo. Tucked close to the corner. This is a double up play into showers. This is very different. Usually, Edward Gaming, they were playing heavy towards B long. Oh, Smoky, he's looking at his wife. Yeah, Dash, though, backs away. Satu dua puluh gaming. This one, Nate, Trailblazer. This might just be setting them up. Showers control still there. An angel seeking to reclear. Yeah, nampaknya. Exit Master Enter Airport. Yeah, Emi. Into the series to stay in the action. Contact plays. Fifty-five seconds. A chance to teleport to evacuate to get into a different direction. Look at the double clear onto the flank through short. Navi, they're still sticking around, and they are paying for Edward Gaming. Sui, Sui Buta. Dana. Pulang lah, Navi ya. Welcome, LCQ. Ah. Bye. Gila si Keke ini betul. Monumental victory. And what a scalp to take. Yeah. Navi of all teams. Orijua. The EG was so close at locking, of being able to upset us. Not the airport pincere, Anji. Terima kasih Napal. NT Natus Airport pincere. NT NT Natus. Makasih sebera bu ya. Wah si Suwi sedih ni mabra. Bocah ke? Ali bocah. Tapi dia nggak sama apa juga sebenarnya sih bukan virus bukan indikator aja mau ngapain sih? Iya. Ya tu kangkang anjing. Gayanya sih udah kayak superhero banget deh. Iya, udah kayak Superman anjing deh. Dapat berapa gue ya? No. Idg, idg. Oh orang Jepang gara-gara gak ada Jepang jadi dukung Cina kali ya? Agak emang banyak orang Cina nya ini datang. Oh ya. Foto bang, foto bang. Bak bak bro. Bak bak benek. Joi. Take a breather. Take a load off. You deserve it. Yeah, thank you. Apa? Lepas ya dulu jik. Lepas ya dulu. Lepas ya dulu. Gua mau dulu gin. That also means that the EMEA teams are locked in for champs. It's going to be Liquid Fanatic. And foot 
Harus gue pengen liat TWT dulu Oke. Okay. Ini ini foto kapan tahu anjing? Gue udah tahu banget. Uh, tadi udah ada di FPP padahal. Oh, oh iya. Foto lama, foto lama itu, foto lama. Lihat komennya. Eh, bodoh. Pasti pilihannya coy. Kalau prensi nggak lucu tuh. Foto lama ini, ribut ibu. Oh ya, udah sudah melihat kan? Oh kagak tiga maaf kagak jadi katanya uh, di bangkok tidur aja kamu udah 10 jam jadi kayak besok kan jam 10 lagi ya. Jadi klarifikasi sama owner paper ya oh iya. Besok kita kan jam 10 kalau gue mau habis so, kita jam 10 pagi lagi ya terakhir ya DRX FUT P1 EDG ya semoga aja lah ya guys ya ini ini aduh udah, udah dua harapan nih supaya apa ada temennya guys ya kesian ini tuh kesian sendiri sendiri guys tuh ini udah bertiga ini berdua masa sendiri ya kan Minimal temenin lah dua orang gitu ya. Temenin bisa lah dua-duanya nih. Ya udah adik kita udah dulu untuk streaming hari ini ya. Kita lanjut lagi besok di jam 10, ga, eh, 10 pagi. Terima kasih yang udah berpartisipasi di live streaming hari ini. Kita lanjut lagi besok ya pagi yang masih mau nonton. Ada ada siapa guys yang masih live? Ada siapa? Oh. oh Oh ada magic yang mau lab Nanti ditunggu aja magic ya Makasih yang udah join member Makasih yang udah like Yang udah baru subscribe juga Jangan lupa tanda seru discord Buat masuk discord ya Biar gak ketinggalan Notif labnya Ditunggu aja besok jam 10 pagi Semoga kita tidak telat ya Kalau misalnya saya telat Tolong dibangunin Oke okay? Tungguin Kak Magic Lab Gue kayaknya pengen istirahat dulu Oke adik-adik pengen mandi TTD Kemut Lopez Sampai jumpa besok pagi Terima kasih semuanya Dadah